Yep, yep. Welcome in. Eight minutes past the hour. It's a brand new day together. Kickoff hour is here and rolling. Good time, gang, settling in. In studio, and thank you so much for being with us today. Don't forget, live at noon central, it's uh, the Bible study today with Rick. I know a lot of you schedule that each and every week, and that's today. Uh, Just a reminder. Uh, We have a lot to discuss, a lot to break down. Uh, Hopefully get an update from Bubba as well. He had to uh, leave mid-show yesterday to... Uh, finalize some things is that's that you know the the uh, uh, tornado relief recovery I forget the name of it anyway it's in its last stages and so he can kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel and so uh, we'll hopefully get an update from him and uh, and maybe it's some good news as things are progressing. Over to my left is Mr. Greg Burgess, and to my right it is Michael Helms. What's up, boys? How are y'all? Hey, hey. Was it was it true? Tornado relief update? Maybe that's it. Tornado relief update? I can't. I couldn't remember. I can't either. But I think that's yeah. what it was. Yeah. So because I remember hearing true. Yeah, and I know that so things true. are progressing, and hopefully, uh, I think uh, electrical and and yesterday was some other stuff, and they were getting <clears throat> uh, a lot of stuff set. And ready to go where maybe things are looking looking up. Uh, and uh, hopefully that can be put behind them and they can get in that thing. Um, so how, how are y'all? Everybody good? Yeah. Yep. Good. Um, Got a lot of rain on the way in boy. this morning. Hey. One point. That? I hate when I'm on the interstate in the dark and it's raining so hard. You just go, okay, I hope I, I don't hit anything because yeah. I can't see nothing. Just can't see a thing. No. I, I got to get my windshield wipers fixed. Do you? Yeah, I'll, I'll let mine and go. And no, you had to let them go like I've let mine go. Greg, I got rubber flipping oh, yeah. and flopping oh, all that's over the place. I, mean, you I might know need, it is. You might I know need it to is. address it. Well, he's just treating it like he does his tire. When yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> Speaking gracious. of that, I saw you yesterday with yeah, losing I gotta, air. Yeah, I have an update on that. That was, You know, sometimes your day can change on mm-hmm. a dime. I walk out the door, he's out there, and he stopped in the middle of the parking lot, and he's at the back tire back there fooling with something, and I walk up, and oh. Well, I got in my truck, and, you know. Did you hear this? No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't hear anything. I, I just saw a notification alert, alert, fifteen no. psi back left tire. Mm-hmm. I went, ooh, that's not good. Mm-mm. So I get back, and sure enough, she's she's going down. Mm-hmm. And uh, oh, you could see what and, was in it, like a there, big staple or something. Yeah, well, it was a. It was an. After looking a little further, it did look like two staples, but it was a long nail that had kind of bent oh. and appeared that way. But it went in. And so yeah, that was my that was my day yesterday. Did I did, I did. I was he was able. He was in a in a spot where they could patch it up. Yeah. Luckily, it was I don't know because nowadays you know they won't do hardly any of that. Yeah. Uh, it has to be in exactly a, a, the right throughout. spot and everything else. So. You know, it's funny. We've <laughs> talked about that for years and how people have gotten away from it. And I took Braden's car the other day because it had a it had a low tire and I put air in it for a couple of weeks. He's just <clears> going back and forth to school. And so we had an open weekend, and I said, I'm going to go I'm gonna go get him a new tire. And so I went in, mm-hmm. and I'll tell you, I'll fare where I went. And we used to go there a lot, by the way. Mm-hmm. We'd drop our cars on. Oh, got to know, know exactly where it is. And I said, hey, I need the cheapest tire you have to go on this vehicle that looks somewhat like the ones that are on it. Right. Um, he goes back and forth to school, back and forth to practice. And he called, me, he's like, he called me. He was like, hey, I'll just patch this up. It was his idea. Like, I didn't even bring it up. Oh, that's good. And I thought, okay, there's still good Americans out here patching up tires. Yeah. Well, you know, I guess it, the lawyers and, and, and lawsuits and all that has ru- have ruined it for everybody. If it's, if it depends on where it is on the tire, if it's in a good position to where they can do it. But if it's not, they won't do it. And it's, they've done away with the plug, and that was the greatest thing ever. You mm-hmm. can do it yourself. Oh, uh, yeah. If you, know, if you get it, you get in there good, and you just plug that thing. I yeah. had a little kid on my truck. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they, uh, there's still some places What's wrong with the plug. There's still yeah. some places that will, you know, you pull up. Oh, I've plugged them in the last, you know, forever. Yeah. Yeah. Heard but, nothing. but, but getting a sure enough, good, reputable place to do it. It's, it's tough. Oh, yeah. it's and gotta, that's what caught me off guard. This is a good reputable yeah, place. Yeah, I know. Brand name. And I yeah. thought, oh, okay. Yeah. Speedy, you know, the one we've talked about in Jacksonville that would do mm-hmm. it. They've shut down. They're out of what? business. Yeah. They're hey. not there anymore. Yeah, said, Greg it, sent me over there and they were closed up. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> Tyler Tyler used know. them multiple times when he was at JSU. Oh, yeah. Five dollars. Uh-huh. Get on in here. We'll Ba-boom. plug. Hey, we'll plug that thing. We'll plug her. And and uh, and you'll just move right on. Well, maybe um, they should charge more because right. But, hey, and, and I was going to hey, I was going to meet Terry too for lunch <laughs> when, when when that happened. Mm-hmm. I was we were supposed to have like lunch together, yeah, whatever. And uh honey, I'll be a little delayed. Uh, I've got losing air. I mean, it's and it's losing quick, and and I and she has the little air compressor that's so good uh, in her car, 
And I'm thinking, man, I don't have it in mind. So I, I limped around here, put air in it. Mm-hmm. And uh, by the time I got to her, it had lost from like 35 down to 31. Yeah. And then I hit it. Then I got the air compressor back and kept hitting it until I could get somewhere and fix it, get it fixed. But yeah, that was that was a yeah. little different part of the day there. That I wasn't well, expecting. Back to the windshield wipers. I'm going to take care of the net. I got to get. Rubber it. I got to get. It. I know it's a big. Uh, you, know, you can pull up to any place and they'll well, change them out. I've got to get my oil changed too. But it's Just time for that. Oh, so I'm gonna on, I'm yeah. gonna have them do it. Or uh, I'm in. I got to go to. A, well, I got to go in Walmart at some point in the next couple of days. I might grab some while I'm yeah, there. Yeah, or any advanced auto parts, yeah, O'Reilly Walmart, auto parts, right something like that. Oh. Um, they'll they'll um, they'll they'll do it for you. Yeah, that's funny though. You oh, and, just, you and your little stuff on just your truck. Ru- rubber flying everywhere. <laughs> you know, which tells me because they get bad and won't clean the window away before the rubber breaks loose. Uh, mm-hmm. So they've been bad a long time. They yeah. have. They sure have. You know, because yeah. it gets where yeah. it don't do any oh, yeah. good. Yeah. And you're yeah. like, well, I need to change these. Well, right. then you just let them ride. Well, we yeah. had a dry spell there for a little while. I don't yeah. drive in the rain that much. Yeah. I really don't. Lately, yeah. it's been. But more. because I'm on the raid, uh, the wrong, the road more. Yeah, you might I, I, I come you into sure a storm every yeah, once in a while. Yeah. Last night I, I hit you're one. You're looking at nothing. <laughs> uh, so Reese drove down from Huntsville to Birmingham, where his school is, once a week. And that, that was test. last night, and he had a big test last night. And um, anyway, he needed a few things that we all just forgot that, that we have, and, and he needed for work. So the thought was, hey, at, you know, after your class, you're in, you're in town. I'll just meet you. And give give you what you need, and you'll head on out. Man, it was the biggest storm <laughs> right when we went oh. to meet. Hey, buddy, it was one of those good you ones. You got to get out here and get oh, soaking yeah, wet. Yeah. How, you, how you doing, son? Wish we could talk longer. <laughs> See you. Be careful. <laughs> I, I'm drenched. Hope your wipers are better than helmets. <laughs> he wasn't tired at all. Nah, nah. Hour, get back, get back up. His ten morning. hour day, hour and a half drive, test, hour and a half back, mm, back yeah, right back up. This yeah, morning. still in his work clothes. I said, son, you can take your boots off. You know, you're still in them. Right. He's like, well, I'm just trying to get here. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, it, hey, the rain, guys. I, we were soaking wet. That's miserable. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. If you owe back taxes, fair warning, the IRS is mailing millions of pay-up letters. Then it's up to the new IRS enforcement agents to find you. Tax Network USA has war room strategies to solve your IRS problems quickly, like a preferred direct line to the IRS. Tax Network USA learned of a limited-time offer, an IRS offer. Schedule your free confidential consultation to see if you qualify for this limited-time IRS penalty-canceling offer. Call 1-800-245-6000 or visit TNUSA.com. Slash Bubba. Winter weather has a way of making you crave comfort food, so HelloFresh is here to help you do the chilly season right. Check out their largest menu yet that has something for everyone, including meals that are quicker than restaurant delivery and 25% cheaper than takeout. Join today and get free breakfast for the life with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba. That's one free breakfast item per box with active subscription with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba or find a link at RickandBubba.com under the sponsors but you might disagree, but things aren't as dismal as they seem. Now, there's a point, your family, their future, your future, you all deserve a chance. You all deserve the protection. Turn to self-reliance with My Patriot Supply. Start with four-week emergency food kits by Ready Hour. These meals last up to 25 years in storage. Stock up on all the food kits your family needs at preparewithbubba.com. Get each Ready Hour four-week food kit for $60 off and free shipping. That's preparewithbubba.com. Also, find the link at rickandbubba.com under Sponsors. Resolving to eat healthier this year was easy. Actually doing it, not so easy. Well, Field of Greens is our healthy super fruit and vegetable habit in my house. Each super fruit and vegetable in Field of Greens was doctor selected for a specific health benefit. Some support your heart, lungs, and kidneys. Others support metabolism for healthy energy and weight loss. If you resolve to get healthier in 2024, it starts with Field of Greens. Get 15% off your first order with free rush shipping at fieldofgreens.com. Use the promo code Bubba or go to rickandbubba.com. There's a popular saying out there, health is wealth. And, folks, I couldn't agree more. If you're dealing with everyday aches and pains, I want to tell you about Relief Factor, a daily drug-free supplement developed by doctors. It's not just a pill that masks pain. Relief Factor uses a unique formula of natural ingredients that work together to help reduce or eliminate pain. Try their three-week quick start kit for only $19.95. Go to relieffactor.com or call 1-800-4-RELIEF. You can also find the link at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. The 
best thing to bring with me wherever I go, my Raycon Everyday Earbuds. Raycons offer amazing audio quality at half the price of other premium audio brands with noise isolation, three customizable sound profiles, and a 32-hour battery life. They're perfect for listening to anything, anytime. That explains the tens of thousands of five-star reviews. Get 20% off plus free shipping at buyraycon.com slash bubba. That's buyraycon.com slash bubba or find the link at rickandbubba.com under sponsors. Debt keeps you tossing and turning at night. You can't get away from it. Insanely high interest credit cards and loans make it nearly impossible to pay off your debt. There's a new way out of the debt trap, Pivotal Debt Solutions. Pivotal Debt Solutions can cut or even eliminate interest. They can find programs to write off your balances. They find every solution possible to end your debt. Before you do anything, contact Pivotal Debt Solutions first. Talk to them for free. Find out how fast they can help you get out of debt. Just visit zapmydebt.com. That's zapmydebt.com. Hey, folks, when you love someone, you protect them the best way you can. That's why we recommend home security from simplysafebubba.com. Simply Safe is an advanced system that protects every inch of your home. Plus, it's backed by 24 7 with professional monitoring for fast emergency response for less than $1 a day. Order now and get 20% off any new Simply Safe system with fast protect monitoring. Visit simplysafebubba.com. That's simplysafebubba.com or find a link at rickandbubba.com under sponsors. There's no safe like Simply Safe. When was the last time you checked your home's title? Is it still in your name? Fox News reported on a growing, devastating crime called house stealing. The titles to all our homes are easily found online. A criminal, a renter, or even a family member simply forges your signature on a home cell form and refiles as the new owner. Bam! Your home is not in your name. Has some criminal taken over your title? Find out with a free comprehensive scan of your home's title and 30 days of legendary home title lock protection when you go to hometitlelock.com and use the promo code Bubba. You know how you go into stores and the towels can feel super soft but then when you get home they don't dry you? Not my towels from my pillow. They're really soft but they really work too. What a concept. They're made with a special ring spun cotton making them softer and more absorbent than other towels that are out there. Get a six piece set for an introductory sale price of $29.98 and you get the designer premium line for just $20 more. Either way, you save 50% right now on all my towels. So head to MyPillow.com slash Bubba or find the link at RickandBubba.com. Rick and Bubba's in Ohio! Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I can't start another. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Day. All right, thank you so much for tuning in. It's about 21 minutes past the hour. Kickoff hours live. Don't forget uh, Bible study noon central today. Uh, we have got a lot to discuss, a bunch of things to update. We'll look back at some Super Tuesday results. There's a lot there. Uh, this one here is something that we bring up time, from time to time, and we don't focus on it like every single year. But anytime the Iditarod is in the news, we seem to kind of find it. And I kind of like that. And it's in, the, it's in the news today. Them, them dogs getting after yeah. uh, Apparently, there is a five-time Iditarod champion named Dallas. Uh, and uh, is it, Oh, five-timer. Uh, yeah, CV, 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 I believe is his last name. Mm-hmm. Anyway, he told race officials that he was forced to kill a moose in self-defense yesterday or day before during the race after it injured one of his dogs during this year's race now again he's a five-time champion and a veteran uh musher uh he shot the dog he shot the moose with a handgun around 2 a.m monday morning after it became entangled with the dogs oh my and can you imagine that mess so he had the dogs all tied up. Yes. And he got all in the ropes, slinging dogs. Apparently, and I know Alaska has rules about if you shoot an animal, what you have to do with it. Oh, yeah. Uh, it is a requirement inside the Iditarod rules that if you kill an animal in self-defense or whatever, you have to gut it, field dress it, before you can continue on in the race. Dang. And he said that uh, it wasn't a pretty job. that's kind of He said it wasn't a pretty job. But I got it, <laughs> I got it done as quick as I could. Uh, but he did gut the animal and reported it uh, to officials so here's at the guy next uh, uh, checkpoint. Who basically had a hand to hand fight against a moose. Yes, killed the moose. Tangled up. Oh, with his and by dog. the way, before you leave, you must field dress it. Yeah, I mean, I hate that you've been through all that, but this better be done. Come if, on, I think there's exceptions. How about this? If uh, if you're moving along in the Iditarod, uh, <laughs> and 
and you co- you have a situation like he had, if another musher is coming in behind you, they're required to stop and help uh, gut the animal. Or um, you do like I wouldn't act like I didn't see him. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I want to win. You know? Alaska state troopers were informed of the situation and efforts were being made to salvage the animal's meat. But um, he said it fell on my sled. It was, uh, <laughs> and he said it was, uh, it was a, it was quite a little episode. Uh, and he, you know, it injured one of his dogs. It got all tangled up. I want to know how that affected his, his place in the race. How, how many spots uh, yeah, did you he know? Lose? I'm sitting he had little, to be at way behind. Yeah. It, One, it, you it, got a gimped up <clears throat> dog, right? Mm-hmm, what happens right. then? Do you have spares you can bring in, or you had to go with what you got? Uh, it says Don't race. Don't know a lot of that dinner on rules. Apparently, no. Jesse Holmes is leading the race. He also said he encountered a moose at a similar point in the race and said he had to punch a moose in the nose <laughs> to get it out, uh, get it out of there. Uh, back to Dallas, he's not the first musher to kill a moose in oh, the history wow. of the Iditarod, which is a thousand mile dog sledding race across Alaska. Thousand miles? In, I didn't realize that. In 1985, uh, we have a I had a four time champion had to defend herself with an axe from a moose before another musher came along and killed the animal, uh, though not before it killed two of their dogs and injured 13 more during so during, the, during the battle. Um, <laughs> Dallas's one of Dallas's dogs was injured and was transported to the uh, Anchorage veterinarian, um, but it did get hurt pretty bad to where it can't I continue. Like in the NFL, then put it on the cart and rolling it out. Yeah, of course. In this case, it had to put him on a sled. Right, but I mean, think of the elements. So you, you're a thousand mile race across Alaska. Mm. Uh, you're it's just you and your dogs, and and then I guess wild animals that can be in the middle of the track. And wow. Where you got to go, and all of a sudden, That's you know, a it. moose is not a small animal. No, it's not. Uh, I have never seen one up close in person, but mm-hmm. I've seen them plenty on TV. Yeah, what is big. what's his name again? Dallas, and then last name is S E A V E Y. Is this one Speedy going using their first name because so they got a bad last well, name? Well, I, I, I tried his last name Sevy. in the segment. It, right. He did. It, it looks one. like Sevy, but it, he's in eleventh place. Okay. Okay. Wonder how many miles left. Uh, uh, I don't know. Thousand miles. He's got fifteen dogs. Yeah, it's I funny to see stages. the thirteen yeah, dogs, course, sixteen but... dogs, fourteen dogs. So I guess you got you can have up to sixteen. Mm, wow. But for some reason he's going with fifteen. <laughs> this mm. is interesting. He said it was sprawled uh it was sprawled out on the trail. I had to gut it and I did the best I could. It wasn't pretty, it was ugly. <laughs> he uh There it is. And so you then, know why I got places to be. And then he got up and I guess they moved on and then at the next checkpoint he had to report it to officials. He's at the McGrath checkpoint right now, in okay. case you're wondering. Okay. And there's several guys already at Takotna checkpoint. Ooh. How about them mush dogs? Mm. Mush dog. This is uh Wow, a lot of information here. Yeah, yeah. Fifteen dogs pulling you—that's a lot of dogs. That—that's always intrigued us. Uh, you know, the idea to ride. It's oh yeah. It's um, it's, and speaking of Alaskans, uh, Alaska state troopers that uh, are in the in an effort to retrieve the meat, uh, it'll st- hey, it'll stay frozen. <laughs> you ain't got to worry about no that. Doubt. Um, I don't know how much will be left, but you know, those any Alaskan show I'm drawn to. Oh. Uh, and any, you know. any game, there's one, is it Yellowstone Game Wardens? I don't oh, know. I all of look. that. The Yellowstone Game Wardens. Some uh, of the Alaskan rules. State Troopers is a show. Um, uh, what is it? Uh, Ala- the Alaskan Airport. They just have one on that. Oh, really? Yes, just just the airport and what it's like to, for it to, uh, you know, all of uh, them life good. below zero, yes. all that stuff. That weird family that talks with that weird accent. What was yes. That? Yeah, um, that, that was Bush yeah. people. Uh, yeah, something like something that. Like that. Yeah. Uh, that's a weird bunch. It, it is. Um, it is. But I'm drawn to all that. Oh, listen, yeah. I got to go on the game warden one the other day, and it's just amazing some of the rules and mm-hmm. violations yeah. that you go, well, that's a little much. Yeah, like in Yellowstone, uh, the, the Yellowstone game warden deal that I saw, if you it, – it's, it's crazy on how – you know, I guess growing up in an area when it's whitetail deer season, you know, you're – you know, here you're limited to three bucks, uh, antler deer a year and all this kind of stuff. But, man, they're very detailed. If if you kill anything there, I mean, they have checkpoints. It, it has to meet certain specifications or you're fined. The I mean, part that I found intriguing is the private landowners agree to let people hunt during the certain time. Mm-hmm. But they make the rules on their property, that what, what they want you to do or whatever. 
but they just basically donate their land to let it be during during the season. Cause I think the season's pretty short. Mm-hmm. But but like I said, you may be on this land, you got one set of rules on what they want you to kill, and then on another one, you got different ones. So you got to know all that. You have a special. Oh man, you're talking about some paperwork. Every, every time he stopped somebody, we had to get paperwork out, and I uh, wouldn't do well in that mm-hmm. situation. Um, to answer your question on how much did this hold him up? I can't answer that specifically, but I will tell you this. He would be in the top five and at the next checkpoint at this point. Just and he's a based multi-time off, winner, so you know he'd be sitting right where he wanted to well, be. Well, just off his speeds alone, like it gives you the miles per hour that he's averaging, mm-hmm. and he is in third there. And if you look at all the other guys that are around him, they're in the sixes, six miles per hour, where yeah. he's at like 7.38, and the two that are winning – or 7.55, 7.45, and nobody else is there. there So he would be right there in that Mm. top three Mm. to Mm. five spots. Hadn't been for that moose. If it hadn't been for that moose. How quick, I mean, how quick do you think he could gut a moose? I know. And it'd be be up to qualifications to where he doesn't get fined or or penalized. It's a big animal to gut. It is, it is. Because everybody else around him, from him, well, even even from six on, they don't have speeds nowhere near close to him. So he... This, so he this may hurt pass him a lot, people, but, yeah. he, but catching them other ones. And if a dog tough. is injured, can he replace it with another one? Are they down a dog? Mm. I don't know the answer to that. Hmm. Yeah, do you have a backup dog? Right. <laughs> Probably like, not. Well, you like, know, he like bat, bat, backup batting gloves. So, you yeah. know, you can't yeah. just bring a dog out of the woods no. and go, "Hey, jump on." Exactly. <laughs> Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. Like everyone else, I'm always on the go. And you know what's the best thing to bring with me wherever I go? My Raycon Everyday Earbuds. Raycons offer amazing audio quality at half the price of other premium audio brands. Their optimized gel tips are designed to fit comfortably in your ears and to actually stay there, whether you're working out at the gym or just doing chores around the house. My Raycons come with me everywhere so I can listen at any time. With eight hours of playtime and a 32-hour battery life, I don't have to worry about whether they're up for the task. Raycons also come with three customizable sound profiles, noise isolation, and awareness mode, so they're perfect for listening to anything. That explains the tens of thousands of five-star reviews right now. Get 20% off your Raycon order, plus free shipping, when you go to buyraycon.com slash bubba. That's buyraycon.com slash bubba. You can also find that link by just simply going to rickandbubba.com and looking under the sponsors. But if you owe back taxes, fair warning, you're not going to like this. The IRS is mailing millions of pay-up letters. Then it's over to the 20,000 new IRS enforcement agents to find you. Why the IRS targets you and not millionaires? Because millionaires have tax lawyers you don't. You'll pay up plus interest and penalties. You need Tax Network USA, and you need them now. Tax Network USA has brilliant war room strategies to solve your IRS problems quickly and in your favor, like a preferred direct line to the IRS. They know which agents to deal with and who to avoid. It's not all bad news, folks, because Tax Network USA learned of a special limited-time IRS offer. They're willing to waive $1 billion in penalties if you qualify. Schedule your free confidential consultation to see if you qualify for this limited-time IRS penalty canceling offer. Call 1-800-245-6000. That's 1-800-245-6000. Or visit at TNUSA.com slash Bubba today. TNUSA.com slash Bubba. You also can find the number and website at rickandbubba.com. Just look under the sponsors. Have you tried the Innovatives Helix Sleep Mattress yet? Well, nothing beats a great night's sleep, the kind you get with Helix. So we love them, and Helix has over 12,000 five-star reviews with customized mattresses that fit your sleep needs because they know everyone is unique. They even have big and tall mattresses and mattresses for the kids. But how do you know which mattress is right for you? Well, Helix has you covered. Just take the Helix Sleep Quiz and find the perfect mattress in under two minutes. Place your order and your mattress will be delivered right to the door free of charge. And the best part, Helix knows there's no better way to try a mattress than by sleeping on it in your own home. That's why they offer a 100-night trial for you and a 10- to 15-year warranty. Right now, Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders at helixsleep.com slash Bubba. Best offer yet, by the way, and it won't last long. 
So if you've been waiting to try a Helix mattress, here it is. Now's the time. Head to helixsleep.com slash Bubba for 20% off your mattress order. Resolving to eat healthier this year? That was easy. Actually doing it? Not so easy. That's where Field of Greens comes in. Better nutrition is a key to health and longevity, and a healthy diet could even help you avoid health risks that run in your family. Field of Greens is your healthy superfruit and vegetable habit. It's the only fruit and vegetable product that literally promises better health at your next checkup. Your doctor will notice your improved health or your money back. Do your vitamins or green drinks promise better health? No. I love this stuff and definitely feel healthier taking it. Each superfruit and vegetable in Field of Greens was doctor selected for a specific health benefit. Some support your heart, lungs, and kidneys. Others support metabolism for healthy energy and weight loss. If you're resolved to get healthier in 2024, it starts with Field of Greens. And we got you a 15% off first order with free rush shipping. Visit fieldofgreens.com. Use the promo code Bubba for 15% off. Or go to rickandbubba.com. Find the link under sponsors. Cold winter mornings are perfect for staying under the cover and having breakfast in bed. HelloFresh supports that dream because they're giving a away one free breakfast item with every single HelloFresh delivery for life. That means while you are a HelloFresh subscriber, not only will you enjoy the pick of the tasty dinner recipes they're known for, you'll also enjoy breakfast for free. HelloFresh actually has you covered for every mealtime occasion with a delicious array of quick lunches, sides, snacks, apps, dessert, and more. And not only does HelloFresh help you cut back on extra trips to the grocery store, but their pre-portioned ingredients help eliminate excess food waste. This new year, make eating better and saving money a priority and make it easy with America's number one meal kit. Join HelloFresh today and get free breakfast for life with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba. That's one free breakfast item per box while subscription is active with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba or find a link at RickandBubba.com under the sponsors. The gravy, please. 25 minutes until top of the hour. Thank you so much for tuning in to the kickoff hour here on the Rick and Bubba Show. We start another edition, and we thank you for making us part of your day. We'll look back on Super Tuesday, uh, get an update from Bubba uh, on True. Uh, and what was it, uh, Helmsy, uh, Tornado Relief Update? Is, oh, am I, I correct? That, yeah, I think that's okay. what it was, True. We're going to stick with that. Uh, and so we'll uh, we'll get uh, hopefully an update from him. Uh, Bible study live today, noon central. Uh, we just discussed the Iditarod, uh, a um, uh, what did I say four or five time champion. I can't remember. Uh, he had to kill a moose on the uh, on the race, and part of it is you have to uh, field dress it or gut it uh, before you can continue. Uh, injured a dog, so we got all into that. Uh, and if he can win this thing, yeah. you're talking about a story. Yeah, I mean, go, hey, not like, only did I win, I had to. Right, kill and gut a moose. Yeah, I had to catch up with everybody. I do have an update for y'all. Not a not a long one here, but do you remember the uh, uh, Six Flags shooting that we talked about the other day? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, you talking fi- about uh, the happiest place on earth? Right. I, in my world. Right. I know um, that's supposed to be Disney. And apparently there was a big crowd, and they got in a shootout with the cops, and a fifteen year old was shot. I don't know that's if y'all great. remember that. Yeah, I remember. Uh, um, can't, the, even, uh, can't even ride the mind. There's a quick update on this. Uh, the boy fifteen that was shot by the cops at Six Flags. Uh, on opening night, was also shot two weeks ago in, oh. in a drive-by. Time out. I, I don't know. He's if either he, the he, most if unluckiest to... <laughs> guy or he's really made a lot of people mad. I, I'm, I'm going to tell him, at, you know, at 15, let's change who you hang out with. Yeah, you. when you're let's... shot twice within two weeks, mm-hmm. I mean, normally that means, I mean, I don't know if they were stray bullets, like I said, unless you're just unlucky or you're just that guy that people are not happy mm-hmm. with. He, uh, 15, was shot by police Saturday. We discussed that. Oh, okay. Right. And Police then, and then uh, was shot in a drive-by on February 17th. Uh, Recently recovered. I <laughs> right. Uh, multiple fights erupted inside the amusement park before gunfire was exchanged outside as teens ran for their lives. That's the Six Flags story. Mm. The other story, it was unclear if there is a connection between both incidents or not. If there was, you know, that fight and, and everything, what happened, but... Apparently, there was like 500 to 600 teens running around the park. Uh, 500 to 600? 500 to 600 teens running around the park. He was one of them. God and man. Uh, he suffered minor injuries, and nobody was had been a, has uh, been arrested in connection uh, to the incident. Mm. Um, but that uh, that was the uh, the first shot on February 17th. 
So that was minor, nothing major, but it's still shot. And there's your update. Um, speaking of updates, I'm seeing that Nikki Haley is dropping out. Yeah, that's what uh, no, that's what it's looking state. like. No, it's 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 it is true. It's breaking news right now. Um, she yeah. only she, she won Vermont, uh, and that was it. She is to suspend presidential campaign. Won't endorse Trump just yet. Okay. Yeah. Is the even statement though, that's out? Even though she agreed to, I felt like that was coming because you know Trump hadn't mentioned. Well, it always the comes after the the Super Tuesday. Yeah. He mopped up, so yeah, yeah. it's going to be Trump. Hems, I wish again. I had my breaking yeah, news theme. This just in. Breaking Do we not have news. that anymore. No, I had to get rid of it to to get well, to make room for hey, thing. That ought to be a heck of a fight between the geriatrics. Yeah, yeah. That's it's there. It is. It's coming. Mm. Your rematch. That. <laughs> So we got one guy that seems to have lost his cognitive skills, and mm-hmm. then we have another guy. And they're both is he, is Trump eighty? He's close. Yeah, he will be if he's not. So yeah, he's in the, he's upper seventies now. We got, they're both in that category. Trump I'll give him this. So he, he don't act eighty. I don't. I no, don't really. Don't. Trump doesn't. I, but I'm just saying. 60. I don't like when people just throw the age. I don't care about the age. I really don't. I care about the cognitive, mm-hmm. and and because Trump is Facts. clearly looks different. Yep. Cognitively. Than Biden. Well, I get that, yeah. but I'm just saying, I don't want to. I don't want an 80 year old president either. But if I had to have one, they didn't. They need to have their cognitive skills. Yep. Yeah, that would intact. be step one. Yeah. I give you that. So uh, I'm, no, I'm, I'm the not. same. Um, uh, yeah. I saw where but when uh, people with the Democrats, oh, what they're going to do is when you talk about Biden, they're not going to talk about cognitive skills. They're going to talk yeah, about yeah. age. Yeah. And they're going to go, yeah, but your guy's the same age. Yeah, mm-hmm. but that's that's no, not no, what that, I'm talking that's about. Not, that's yeah. a dumb argument. Yeah, right. That, that makes no sense. So but Nikki I'm Haley's saying, out. We, we, I mean, you've been just thinking at this time of the world that we would have some people that maybe were in their 60s that yeah. would want to be president, yeah. you know, yeah. and qualified. Maybe by now. Yeah. I don't know. 50s. Yeah. Heck, 40s. I mean, I thought 60s was high. I mean, <laughs> did too. There was a time <laughs> where I, should, I, I was just hoping – that's twenty years less than what you got now. I know. <laughs> mm. um, some uh, some good news here for all of you March Madness uh, fans. It looks like Wendy's has announced in honor of March Madness they're selling their cheeseburgers for one dollar all month long. That's madness. That is what madness. That is. Uh, a one dollar cheese. You know, I like Wendy's uh, cheeseburgers. Yeah, of course they shut the one down where I live. If, if it was still there, I'd like it. Right, right. I wish. Uh, Why did they? Was it just no traffic? The, the last few times I went through there, they they had no help. Yeah. You the drive through took forever, and you look there were like two people in there. I don't know if that had something to do with it. I think Chick Fil A had a little bit to do with mm-hmm. it. They're killing well, everything over there. Yeah, but you would think you you would want you right. know, a different option. Right. Well, and the I Burger know. King did, had the same fate. Yeah, yeah. Well, you had. Well, the McDonald's is still going. It's still yeah. <laughs> Jack's is still going. <laughs> yeah. And Chick Fil A, and mm-hmm. outside of that, they're, they're building something new, and I'm not sure. You know, the rumor was a Whataburger was coming, but then they I heard really? later that it wasn't. But across from Starbucks, they're building something. Oh yeah. There's a car wash, but they're building something beside. I don't know what. Okay. It is. It looks yeah, I've like. heard Whataburger too. But then I heard that it wasn't coming. So, but they're building something right there by Jacks between Jacks and the new car wash. This is where Speedy gets mad at us for talking about. Yeah, yeah, our that day, and, our day and trips. I like for y'all to say Whataburger, not Whataburger. What I say? Whataburger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a kilowatt. <laughs> I was told by somebody they was the greatest burger in the world, and I'm, nah, I'm not hey, impressed. Hey, it's not nothing y'all. special. Hey, it's no. not very yeah. thick. Yeah. It ain't no Freddy's. No, Freddy's is a walking dog. I'm telling you, Freddy's got a good burger. They do. Took the girls there this weekend. Mm, I like mm-hmm. a jalapeno burger. That's what I get every time. Yeah. Every oh, time I, oh. I every time I hear Whataburger, I, I think about the match game that we play at, at the football. I, I host a, a, oh, a, a deal. It's, it's nothing like you know the little links or anything, but mm. um, you have to match uh, four menu items, and you have like forty five seconds to do so. And so, like uh, you could you could scream, you know, one and four, and when they and when they the tents flip. From just their logo, behind it is a menu item. So it could be a chicken sandwich and a shake. Yeah. But that doesn't match up. So they flip back, and then you go, okay, two and six. And they flip, and they might be two hamburgers. So, okay, I got two of them. And you have to do that until you match all, mention, or match all four items. And if you do, you win, like, you know, a gift card. and uh, You hyping it up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's always fun. Because you go to the student section, they're all, oh, yeah. they're all, uh, all in it. Uh, so that's always fun. But I, I think about that. But the last one I was at... You know, I was like, eh. I mean, 
mean, it's not bad. It's but, I mean, it was built up to me. Yeah. Like, I mean, it was the yeah. end. Yeah. Sorry, Speedy. Where are you at on seven, bro? Oh, my gosh. Uh, I'll tell you this. J.C. Wilburn, <laughs> you can talk to me about this because I Is went. Is it uncomfortable when they stand there and talk to <laughs> Yes, it is. Yeah. But I love, they got some good coffee. They, have a, uh, they do have good coffee. I like how they, they, they run their, their drive through line and all that. Yeah. Uh, but. That was one of uh, J.C. Wilburn's requests for Christmas was a gift Is card. You buy him a franchise of Seven Brew? No, no I, I had to go buy and get a gift card, though, for him because there's I, one close to UAH that he loves. Yeah. I had never heard of him or seen him until that one was mm-hmm. built. And it's right by Starbucks. I mean, it's right there beside it. Yeah, there's yeah. one uh, south of Birmingham. I, that's the one I went to. Yeah. But they obviously had encourage their employees because you're sitting there awkwardly waiting to have conversation with yeah. you. They'll ask you little trivia questions and all this stuff. And I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm getting some on earth. Well, I, I'll yeah. tell you this, too. Yeah. Kind of like the playlist they're playing, too. Whatever music they got yeah. going is yeah. always yeah. – I, I, I nearly asked them yesterday, hey, what pl- where are you getting this playlist? Like, I'd like to – because every time I go by there, I'm like, oh, that's a good song. I like that. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Anyway. 50, $50 gift card didn't last long. Um. Yeah. That's what I had to get him. Anyway, uh, oh, yeah, that was part, that was part right of it. That. But in honor of March Madness, back to the Wendy's deal. Yeah. They're selling cheeseburgers. So you can get a Dave single for one buck and a Dave double for two dollars. Now, the, here's the only thing you have to get the Wendy's app, okay, and order through the app. But if you do, um, you uh, you get the uh, those special pricing for their March Madness. Uh, deals all you uh, all uh, March long, so I, I think it lasts till mid April. All right, April little college basketball like last night. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, Florida and Alabama w- was on, and yeah. and uh, both of those teams, I think, you know, trying to get in their twenty wins, and yeah, uh, Florida put it on them. I don't think that was supposed. Yeah, was to Was it happen. at Florida? Yeah, that that goes back to that stat. Yeah. Of them playing at home, it, it's crazy. And now it's, I heard uh, when Auburn got blown out by them down there, Bruce Pearl was like. I don't think we've ever – he gave some ridiculous stat of the last time they've won down there. And uh, he said, of course, I thought we could be at least competitive, and we weren't. Um, but, yeah, Alabama ha- had, has has had a heck of a year. They but have. They're, they're, they'll be um, fine getting in. But, but last um, night, buddy, it, you got – it was close early. Braden was watching it upstairs. Amanda and I were – it was funny because – we have our, our little room that we'll go in and watch in Gilded Age, and that's what our show we're watching together right mm-hmm. now. And so we kind of looked at each other like, Gilded Age? And she's like, yeah, let's do it. So we went in there. Hmm. Brain's in there, propped up, watching the game, and I didn't want to run him off because he never comes upstairs. Right. So I thought, well, we got to utilize this time because yeah. he's watching Alabama and Florida. <laughs> and so we, I sat there and watched it with him, and um, it was close. And then Florida just started, I mean, it was ugly. Really? <laughs> I mean, ugly. Golly, and tough, the, the coach for them, there, for some reason, I I didn't know that that he's he looks like he's fifteen. <laughs> um, Todd Golden maybe, but I thought Michael White was still there, and he's coaching Georgia, so it gave me an opportunity to Google some things about college basketball, <laughs> kind of get in the know, <laughs> get up to speed on. But it. I didn't know that about Florida being so dominant at home. But dominant, I tell you this, dominant. they added to it last night because it got ugly. They scored over a hundred. Yeah. All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back. We're just hopping around, skimming some of the stories and the headlines, and we'll dive into them a little deeper during the main show. That starts at top of the hour. Rick, Bubba, Adler will all join us. Don't go anywhere. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Imagine it's the final game of the season, but your symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome with constipation or IBSC are making a comeback. What should you do? Keep managing your constipation with belly pain the same old way? Or try getting ahead of your symptoms by talking to your doctor about Linzess, linaclotide. Linzess is a prescription medicine that treats IBSC in adults. It's not a laxative. It's a once-daily pill that helps you get ahead of your symptoms. It's proven to help you have more frequent and complete bowel movements and helps relieve overall abdominal symptoms, belly pain, discomfort, and bloating. These symptoms were studied in combination, not individually. Do not give Linzess to children less than two. It may harm them. Do not take Linzess if you have a bowel blockage. Get immediate help if you develop unusual or severe stomach pain, especially with bloody or black stools. The most common side effect is diarrhea, sometimes severe. If it's severe, stop taking Linzess and call your doctor right away. Other side effects include gas, stomach area pain, and swelling. Imagine, what could relief from IBSC mean for you? Talk to your doctor and say yes to Linzess. Learn more at Linzess.com or call 1-800-L-I-N-Z-E-S-S. What's holding you back from learning the language you've always wanted to know? Too hard. Takes too long. Not with Babbel. Babbel's lessons take just 15 minutes a day. 15 minutes isn't long. Nope, and they're fun. 
Fun isn't hard. Right. Babbel's interactive lessons, podcasts, games, and more make it fun and engaging, so you don't realize you're learning a language, but you are. And Babbel's lessons are built around real life. You can choose from topics like travel, business, relationships, and more. You'll learn what matters most to you. Plus, Babbel's lessons are designed to get you speaking right away. In three weeks, you're able to start having conversations. Just three weeks? Even better. Since Babbel's lessons are designed by language experts and voiced by real native speakers, you'll get the accents just right and be able to carry on conversations with confidence. Learning a language with Babbel doesn't take long. And with Babbel, it isn't hard. It's, It's perfect. perfect. And now, try Babbel free at Babbel.com. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Babbel.com. At Lowe's, save big every day when you buy in bulk. Save 15% when you buy 10 or more select primed finger joint boards. And there's more. Save 10% on your choice of any five or more Reliabilt lock sets. Visit us in-store or online for low prices on the materials you need. Because Lowe's knows savings. Lowe's knows pros. Selection varies by location while supplies last. Discount taken in time of purchase. See sales associate for details. Taco Bell just dropped the new Cravings Value menu. Now you can get 10 items for $3 or less, which means you can get the food you want for the price you want. It's almost like you can have your cake and eat it too. But in this case, it's a double stack taco from the new Cravings Value menu. So basically, you can have your double stack taco and eat it too, which is a lot crunchier than cake. The new Cravings Value menu is here. Get it at Taco Bell today. At participating U.S. Taco Bell locations while supplies last. Contact store for price and participation which vary. Tax extra. There's a popular saying out there, health is wealth, and folks, I couldn't agree more. Some of you may be living with everyday pain. Now, this can affect so many parts of your daily life. I mean, it can affect the mood, uh, your sleep. What about missing out on activities? Our friends at Relief Factor offer a natural way to relieve that pain. It's 100% drug-free. Developed by doctors, Relief Factor uses a unique formula of natural ingredients to help reduce or eliminate everyday aches and pains. Now, unlike pills that just mask the pain for a short time, Relief Factor Factor helps support your body's natural response to inflammation. So you feel better all day, every day. Over 1 million people have tried Relief Factor. And here on our team, several of us have tried it. So let's get you a special deal, and let's see if we can help you too. Go right now and see if Relief Factor can work with you with their three-week quick start kit that's only $19.95. Now, this is a great price to try it out for three weeks. You'll know in three weeks. You will feel the difference and know it works. You can also find the link at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. Debt woo, keeps you tossing and turning at night. You can't get away from it. But the truth is the system is designed to trap you in debt. Insanely high interest credit cards and loans make it nearly impossible to pay off your debt. There's a new way out of the debt trap, Pivotal Debt Solutions. Pivotal Debt Solutions isn't like the old school debt relief companies that string your debt out for years. They have new aggressive strategies that can end your debt faster and easier than you thought possible. Pivotal Debt Solutions can cut or even eliminate interest. They find programs to write off your balances so you owe less. Pivotal Debt Solutions can stop those threatening phone calls without bankruptcy and without a loan. The bottom line, they find every solution possible to end your debt permanently. Before you do anything, contact Pivotal Debt Solutions first. Talk to them for free. Find out how fast they can help you get out of debt. Just visit zapmydebt.com. That's zapmydebt.com, zapmydebt.com, or rickandbubba.com under the Sponsors button. Rick and Bubba's in Ohio! Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. It is uh, nine minutes until top of the hour. This portion of the show is sponsored by one of our new partners, Tax Network USA. Did you know it's just 39 days until tax day? I'm sure many of uh, you hearing my voice never expected to have tax problems, and I hope, man, I really do, uh, that it's not causing too much stress. Uh, some, you know, it's, um, it's, it's pretty bad. You're in deep. Uh, the one thing I can say with certainty is we all know uh, if it's a problem, it's only going to get bigger. Uh, they don't let you out. It's, you feel like you're drowning, and it's tax, tax problems just won't go away, it seems. 
Uh, the IRS is currently mailing millions of pay-up letters. They've added nearly 20,000 new IRS enforcement agents to find you. Um, and uh, why target you and not the millionaires is because the millionaires have tax lawyers, and they know uh, what they're dealing with and how to get out of it. Uh, but you're in a different boat. Uh, you need Tax Network USA at tnusa.com slash Bubba, uh, and you need to contact them. Now, you can call them if you prefer to do that. Uh, you can go 800-245-6000. Again, that's 1-800-245-6000, or simply go to tnusa.com slash Bubba. Uh, they have uh, agents uh, to deal with this, uh, and so they can get you out of the problems that you feel like you're in. Uh, and they have a, um, a limited-time IRS offer right now to get you out of your problem. Uh, so call them and uh, discuss that with them, 1-800-245-6000 or tnusa.com slash Bubba. All right, so we've given lots of updates uh, and discussed a few stories. And now, uh, Helms, you said we have a unique oh, yeah. uh, email on um, – on a question that comes oh, from a female. Oh boy! Well, you know, and y'all, y'all be scared of a couple of these. I think probably maybe say out loud, but I just want you to know the mind of a female on mm-hmm. these. Yeah. Okay. The email from Christine. You probably don't get a ton of QFTA emails from women, probably but here not. are some questions women oh, wow. want to know. Oh, all right. That's funny. Number Great. one. Don't just spit at her. Number one. Oh, I was laughing. Do you pee in the shower? Uh uh-uh, uh no. No, I, I have. That's, a, that's I have, a, uh, but that was like when I was in college. Yeah. I have, don't get in the habit of it. No, but I'm, in a I'm tight I will. It never happened, but it's not a mm-hmm. I don't practice that on a continuous basis by no means. Now that I'm reading all of these questions, I feel like these are all the things her s- husband either does or she does in front of her husband and mm-hmm. so she's like not that, but you're going to see what yeah, I'm talking right, about in a minute. Right. Um and she's wanting to know where we're at on this. Number 2. Do you find it weird when your wife passes gas in front of you? Weird? Doesn't um, happen. Yeah, it, huh? I, it, it doesn't happen. Terry yeah. doesn't do My, that. Amanda doesn't. I don't either. know how they that she pulls that off. Yeah, for the I longest time, I didn't think women used the. And bathroom. I try. No, I, and I'm I not, try I'm not, not to do it, it around her. Yeah, I'm the same way. I honestly, and I know this is hilarious. But I, 35 years, I, I, I'm waiting for it to explode. <laughs> Greg, I'm with you on that. I don't know what I, I don't know I don't how they know. do that. I don't know. They control it, I guess, but um, I don't know how. And I try to, as well. Yeah. Like I just feel mm-hmm. like that's just something we Absolutely. should do as human mm-hmm. beings. Yeah. yeah. Number three. How often do men want to be hugged? Mm. Hugged? Yeah. Uh, Greg. I like a good hug. Comes in every day and goes, "Come here." Yeah. That's but, about, um, I'm not anti-hug. You know those people that are weird and they're anti-hug. They're like, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm not like right. that. Yeah. yeah. But I don't run around just yeah. dying for a hug. I give Amanda a hug once or twice well, a day. Yeah, my wife. Oh, yeah, well, that's wife. what they're talking oh, about. Oh, but, okay. You know. I'm all up in oh, there. Okay. Yeah. I was just thinking hugs in general. Well, yeah, yeah. In, in general. I think the reason she's asking, though, is like, how often should she be hugged? Yeah, her? that's oh, true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, daily. Oh, man. We snuggled last night. Yeah. I like getting a little As hug. As Terry says, I like being cozy. <laughs> I got me a hug in the kitchen last night. I was looking at that Taco Mama I was about to hammer. Oh, buddy. Hug and tacos. Hug and taco. How are you going to beat that? <laughs> well, <laughs> scared you, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. I just heard mama in there. <laughs> um, <laughs> number four. So okay. so give, put a number on hug. How often you will be uh, hugged? But well, uh, now put a this number is, this on is, it. This is, are we wife uh, or just like a, spouse just, or just anybody? Just um, anybody. Um, I'd like, is there a limit? I'd like Every three, other three, day, about I'd, three times. I like, I was, I'm thinking three days, <laughs> three times a day. Just good old yeah. hug. Okay. Mm-hmm. Number four, <laughs> how do you deal with a family member of your wife's that you don't like? Ooh, I like think. them all. Let me think. I fake don't, it. I, I don't dislike anybody. I don't either, but if I did, yeah. I'd just fake it. Yeah. Because I'm, you know, and now, if I got to be around them a long time, man, right. I'd get a different plan. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna, I, honestly, know, I, and think, I know we're going. I, it sounds like we're just being safe, but I really can't think of. Anybody. I don't. I can't either. Uh, yeah, I don't. I can't I don't either. <coughs> Atta boy. Sorry. And, but now that, I'm wondering. To use that cough. Button. I'm wondering who fakes it with me mm-hmm. in our family. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean. Am right. I that guy? Am yeah. I the guy? Yeah. 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 Um, probably. But I don't. I don't know. Like there was <laughs> probably. probably a time in my life where somebody got on my nerves. Yeah. But right now, everybody's in a good place. Yeah. Yeah, we're in a good place. Mm-hmm. I, I can't think of anybody that pull up and I go, oh, are they coming? You know? yeah. yeah. What a bip. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there you are, Christine. There's your four. Oh, wow. Okay. That's it. There's your four uh, 
Women want to know. Eddie Doty checked in. He wants to know if we've ever been on a cruise. Yes. Uh, I have, and I hated it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, just, just Amanda and I went on one. I, I actually crowded. enjoyed it, but I was young and didn't really know any better or different. It was a first time experience. It was. I know y'all. Know. I know y'all gonna y'all gonna laugh at this, but I went on one for free. Um, I can yeah. And it was a part of a promotion, kind of like Helmsy when you went up to Chicago for the uh, what was it the circus? Sure. What, yes. what was it? Yeah. It was one of those type deals, and um, I was an uncontrollable yawn. What it was, Helmsy. it uh, sure was. And uh, hey. I've, I've had those before where you can't just like oh, yeah. it hits you. Um, but anyway, it was it was a part. Part of a deal with, I think, Carnival, I you believe. You got to come and, back to how great it was. Yeah, well, yeah, and I checked in a couple of times, but yes, document it, talk about it. Uh, did you enjoy it or were you? Yeah, I did. I, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel on, on, the, on the boat, you know what I mean? Cause, yeah. But you kind of get used to I it. I was yeah. fine with that. I, of course, now I will say this I was chaperoning a bunch of high school kids. Oh, okay. you couldn't really enjoy it. We weren't in a, like, our, our, Cabin had no windows. You were down right. at the bottom, you know. Uh, like they, Mickey Dean said, there was a V in the floor. Yeah, you were that far down, right. and, and you were drinking. If I you went, shouldn't have been. And well, whatever. If I would have went, like maybe and had a nicer, you know, place to stay, uh-huh. and maybe with my wife, maybe right. it'd have been. I different. got you. Yeah. But I tell you what, I didn't like a lot of people. A lot of people around me uh-huh. trying to eat, and I'm in the line. A lot of people around me. Mm-hmm. You don't like people, do you? I don't. I don't like people just when I'm trying to like if I'm relaxing. Like when you see these pictures of the beach and there's just people stacked, there's yeah. no way I'd go sit in the middle right, of that. Right. No yeah. way. Yeah, I ain't doing it. Yeah, we really, we really did enjoy it. The excursions was what I liked. Yeah, now we went to the Atlantis <clears throat> and all that. And that yeah, was fun. that was yeah. cool. All right. I didn't hate it, but it was, yeah. Uh, I just would rather go to resort on yes. land, fly in, be van there. And then I'm just there. Yeah. Yes. I will tell you this. I like Smithsonian's show, Mighty Cruises, I think is what it's called. Yeah. A Mighty Ship. I kind of want to do one of those Viking River cruises. Ooh, oh, yeah. yeah. Rick and Bubba. Here. Dad. I don't know if you, if you should buy into the panic or, <laughs> you know, <clears throat> even for us out here, we don't know what's going to happen with us. Well, yeah, I, it, there are unknowns, and everything you said is accurate. But uh, but still, that that then certainly those things are possible. But we've had you know pandemics before, and the the only thing that makes this one a little bit different right now is that it is highly contagious, and there's still some mm-hmm. un- uncertainty if it will behave like other viruses because we're trying to learn about it. So. I think what we need to do is remember remember what we said on the show yesterday. Now, look, I'm going you may not be the same and I understand that not everybody is, but everything that I look through, I look through the lens of a biblical worldview, okay? Because that's what I believe is that, that's what I believe is true. And you need to understand, I was listening to Steve Farrar this morning and we certainly know this that everything under the sovereignty of God there's a plan that God is working, that he has been working since the foundations of the world, and he is still, mm-hmm. he is still working that plan. The, the breath you just took, he allowed you to take. The breath that Donald Trump just took, he allowed Donald Trump to take the breath. The kings are put in place by him. They're removed by him. Uh, and so everything is under the, the plan of, that he has for, you know, a, a fallen creation, and all of this is working its way to his ultimate plan. He didn't leave the throne. He didn't He didn't say, man, I'll tell you one thing, I, everything's going to work my plan unless this uh, COVID-19 comes and gets me. You know, everything is under his authority. So preparation, like you saying, hey, these things could happen, that's not sinful. Uh, we should prepare. Oh, no. But but remember what, what Jesus taught us, too. Don't start talking about all these things you're going to do. Say, well, Lord willing, this will happen, because you don't know if you're going to live another day, and today has all the trouble That's you need, because right. you don't know that you got tomorrow. So there's nothing wrong with being prepared. There is something wrong with panicking and, and being fearful and being in a frenzy and getting into chaos, because that is sin. That's a sinful attitude. I, I, there are so many verses about that, so many, it will boggle the mind. But but I would say uh, 2 Timothy 1, 7 would be one to go to. And, of course, Philippians 4, 6, 7, 8, and, and go on through. So, you know, le- be level-headed, stay calm, 
Know where your hope is found if you have a biblical worldview. If you don't, you might want to consider one. It'd be a good time to start thinking about your, the relationship that really matters, and that's the sin virus. Uh, and then if you want to be a prepper, I'll tell you the ultimate prepping, be prepared for when you die or Jesus comes back. That's, that is the most important prep. That's the most important prepping anybody can do. And if you get that right, then, you know, you just take the days as they come. You prepare. You try to be wise. You stay calm. And, uh, and you say, let, let, me, let me get everything out of this that God's trying to teach me. You know, because really right. what, G, what Jesus— I absolutely G, agree 100% yeah. with all of that. But, legit, but legitimate concerns, just don't let it overwhelm you. That's all I'm saying. Oh, no doubt. My, my, my whole thing, uh, and with calling in, and is places are shutting down like this. Sure. I'm 42 years old, sure. and I think none of us have seen this in our lifetime as far as all the shutdowns right. and all this over an epidemic. Because we've all been through them, we've survived them, and we'll survive this one yeah. just like we do all the well, other. Well, just like Andy right. Andrews, I don't, we're going to have him on Thursday, and then he'll run this weekend. I suggest you listen. He's, he's put out a video, and we put it out on some of our social media, where he's gone back through time. We may not have come through anything like this before, but people before us certainly have. And, uh, and our, oh, country, no our, our country has come through a ton of stuff, and, and generations before us have been through worse than this. So, oh, no but I just want y'all to do one thing, if y'all don't mind. Y'all think about us truck drivers. We will. They're, they're shutting down rest areas, Amen. things like that, where we sleep, Got you. places like that, and we're trying to keep it rolling. But well, thank we're you for that. We're going to keep doing what we're doing. Love. Also, I know Bubba meant it as a joke, but we actually have trucks under armed guard carrying toilet paper out here. <laughs> oh, I, I, know. That I know. That's a fact. Hey, That's a fact. That's hey, crazy. Hey, thank you for what you do. You guys are salt of the earth. <laughs> yeah. and, and if You're it, the it, backbone right when, now. We've got to have you. The Rick and Bubba audience, when it first started, the foundation of this audience was built on the backs of truckers that needed something to keep them away. Right. And, uh, and so you got yes, – yeah. We're still listening. So. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate what you do, and be careful out there. And, um, and yes, we will come through it. As part of the emergency action, they may need to reinstate the uh, overnight replay. Yeah, that's right. You know what? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so, all right. So, let's talk about, speaking of men, does anybody know Hoyt the Balloon Slasher? Hoyt. <laughs> oh, Hoyt. Uh, Hoyt. Now, Hoyt's called the show twice. He has, and unfortunately. Maybe should have called once. Probably should have just called once. Right. Now, if you remember Hoyt, uh, what's his last name? Hutchinson. Hoyt Hutchinson. Hutchinson. Oh, Hoyt. He Hoyt Hutch double Hoyt. H. This show and and we have a museum that has a shelf just loaded with profit stars. <laughs> and when Alabama and LSU played each other in football in Tuscaloosa last season, <laughs> some of the Trump haters that go around with the crybaby Trump balloon, <clears throat> and they uh-huh. said they were going to bring it uh-huh. to Tuscaloosa, uh-huh. and we said on this show. I don't think that's a good idea. Mm-hmm. No, no, not 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 to, not to this area. I mean, yeah. We we just said it. It's going to be a hyped atmosphere. Yeah, you have two of the top football teams in the country. Uh, you got Cajuns. You got rednecks. It's you got good, good old boys. You know, it's yeah. just uh, it's a bad mix it for is. this. And in this particular case, uh, display. And in this case, an Auburn fan. Yeah, that, that, yeah. That decided that yeah. he would even defend us. Six minutes now past the hour. The Rick and Bubba Show, a brand new hour beginning now. We thank you from the Big Boy Studio. Uh, we start this hour with the national anthem. Here we go.
seven and a half minutes past the hour. A brand new hour of the Rick and Bubba Show. From sweet home Alabama to the rest of the world, it is a brand new hour. Thank you for being with us. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, they have knocked out a kickoff hour for you. That's now available or will be later today in our archives. Uh, if you missed it, uh, now we all join forces and we go forward. Eddie Van Adler has the YouTube experience. Hello, tubers. Whether you're watching us live or on the archive, we welcome you uh, to the Rick and Bubba show, a brand new hour. Uh, if you are listening to America's boldest radio stations on the Rick and Bubba radio network, thank you for being with us. Maybe you're streaming on the Rick and Bubba tune in app or maybe an app. Uh, one of our affiliates provide, whatever the case may be, we're glad you're here. Or if you're listening on the podcast audio archives every day, whether you're live or whether you're archiving, we're glad that you are here. Find all those options at Rick and Bubba, spell out the word and dot com. The return of the silver tongue one, the man with a golden voice, professional lunch eaters, man of the year, the inventor of pizza and a cup, Shakespeare's worst nightmare, and the master out of Kang's English. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Bill Bubba Russell! Howdy, Bubba. How about it, Rick Burgess? Friends, neighbors, associates everywhere, welcome in to the little party we call Rick and Bubba. It's real life, every day. I know you're living it, too, because we are. Get on board. Get, Get on board. Get on board. There and back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bye bye. Nah, if I'm coughing today, it's because uh, I'm coughing up sheetrock dust. So yes. Just, just pay no attention to me if I cough more than I normally do. I know that you uh, you were here this time yesterday, but yeah. not long after this, you uh, headed down to the ongoing project uh, of um, of trying to recover from the tornado. Uh, there at the lake, and uh, and you breathed in sheetrock yesterday. Was that it? Well, yeah, there was a lot of cleaning going on, mm, and uh, we mm -hmm. had some ladies come in who, I mean, they clean. Uh, Man, I mean, they're they're impressive cleaning up this job sites. Watch them, yeah. But uh, <clears throat> I, I, they they actually got some rooms back to a condition I thought we'd never see again. Honestly, how'd that feel? Well, it felt good. It yeah, felt good yeah. to see that. And uh, but you know, there's a lot of two steps forward, one step back. Sure. Kind of thing, so. But you look for a win. Yeah. Just you give look, me a you win look for any win. Give me a win. You know, couldn't find my ladders yesterday, so I was a little uh, held up. What I wanted to do. Couldn't so find your ladders. ladders. Yeah, they've got on somebody's truck and got out of there somewhere. Somebody so. took your ladders. <clears throat> Well, I mean, by I, mistake, but yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah you didn't yeah. label your ladder? Uh, oh, they are labeled. Oh, I bet, I bet they no. are. They were, I bet they are. They were clean and labeled one time. Now they look like they've been, you know, in a paintball war, but sure. Um, <laughs> we're uh, Go ahead and use them if you want to, guys. We'll, we'll find them somewhere. Well, yeah, you got to find your ladders. It's, it's tough when you get out there and you need to climb. You don't have a ladder. Well, you can't. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't think. Yeah. Uh, so the and nobody uh, seems to know where they went. Yeah. But right. So your ladders anyway. are gone. Yeah. Tippy toes don't take you so high. Right. Especially me. I mean, yeah. only well, six two two twenty. Do you think? <laughs> that's right. right. It, 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 yeah. <laughs> Tan. I, I had handsome. my I had my dragon uh, tattoo stretched out there yesterday. <laughs> do you think your ladders may be where the brackets to the TV are? Yeah, probably. Yeah, we Somewhere we've over got there. The, you know that group coming back to hang TVs, and uh, we can't find the brackets now at the other place. So. Mm. We're uh, at the storage place. <clears throat> yeah, it's you know it's it, there's so many two step forward, one step sure. back. Like we got you know all the plumbing working, right? And, 
And then yesterday we had a shower uh, drain leaking into the bedroom of a All downstairs right. bedroom nice, that nice. we just cleaned out to, you know, redid sure. to get the water out of it. Yeah, sure. So, you know. Oh, you, so tornado that. water out, uh, plumbing yeah. water in. Yes, yeah, something like that. Well, that's right. That's one step up, two steps back. Yeah, you, you're going to have that. Yeah. And uh, mm. it was it was quite the... Uh, it was quite the Super Tuesday, I'll tell you. All right, so, Bubba. all right, so let me ask you this though. All right, so you go down for tornado recovery yep. update, okay? You're you're a coach. I mean, now I don't even have to ask this because you've already given us enough information. Hey, you know what? I, I I didn't think we played great. We were sloppy in a lot of areas, but did we win? Did did, did it was yesterday? Do you, oh, do you see uh, yeah, it as a win? I, I think you have to count it as a win. Yeah, right. definitely. Yeah, a uh, step forward. But it was it was uh, an ugly win. Yeah, it wasn't. I mean, I felt like we had a couple of days over the weekend, and I felt like we really made some really good progress mm-hmm. on things. Really mm-hmm. looked good. And then you know, yesterday was kind of dropping, which I <clears throat> party was me. I was just tired. And, yeah, you know. It's, mm-hmm. It gets to you after a while. Sure it does. Sure well, it does. you know, I think a new trend is leaning your TV up against the wall. That's a new trend. You can try it. Yeah. <laughs> one one would be in the fireplace. But that's, <laughs> You're awful. At least it'll be up yeah. off the ground. Sure, right, right. Yeah. I know how you love when things get lost. Yeah. Well, it's just part of it. I mean, I, you know. But being an only yeah. child, you didn't lose things because you knew where you put them. Sitting there, too, it's it's still, and it, mm-hmm. this is what right. is so hard to process. Mm-hmm. what I needed right here. Yeah. No, it's, it takes, we're, we're, we're sitting at this month one year, okay? Uh-huh. And everybody's worked hard, and you no know, doubt. there's been some people doing some amazing things. Absolutely. And, and, and we're still not there yet, right. you know, right. but it, we're getting close. Right. But all of that was tore up in 30 seconds. I know. I know. And there was nothing you could do about it. Please, mm. please I, this is not a. This and is, I, I'm not. I'm not in a questioning God thing here. Okay. No, I mean, I'm. I'm always curious. Sure. But I know my place, so I know my role and shut my hole. Uh, right. Yeah. But uh, yeah. You know, it's like wow. Well, you you look. Wow! Uh, wow! Wow! It's funny you said that, and I'm not saying mm. this was the hand of God. Don't hear me saying that. But God, God did create oh. this earth and and all this weather, and we do see in the in the story of Job that even Satan can use the weather. Well, apparently, and, but everything you is know, under has, God's control. Yeah, he yeah. could have he, he could have stopped it, but he had a plan yeah. in this. He put the barriers. <clears> and <throat> maybe it was teaching me patience. But uh. but no, back to your thing about thirty seconds. <laughs> when we finished the study of the Revelation at the end of last year, <laughs> one of the things that that. I thought was interesting that John says about when, you know, we finally build the, the, you know, Babylon returns yeah. and everybody thinks they got it going on yeah. with Babylon. They've got the antichrist yeah. in control. They've got the false prophet and everybody says, look at us. There's no way God can knock this down. This is the greatest human uh, empire slash, yeah. you know, spiritual forces that oppose God empire ever. Right. And God lays it to waste. And it says, not only are they surprised about how it's gone is how quick he did it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's literally one of the things they say that they're they're marveling at. Wow, we thought he would have not only we thought he'd have a hard time with it, we didn't know he would do it in like sixty seconds. Wow. Or like I don't know what yeah. the time was, but it says that they were blown away by how quickly he laid it to waste. It was really no big deal to him. You know? Oh Babylon. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> it, it was we're gonna see him again. And, and look, they're all sitting out there ready to come trade with Babylon and all they see is smoke coming off the ground. They're like, Wow, that went quick. Real quick. That Woo. went real quick. Uh, 15 minutes now past the hour. We have a lot to unpack. It, it, it We will look back at Super Tuesday. A lot of Super Tuesday news. Yeah. yeah. Got they'll, all that for you? They'll find the brackets, Bubba. Don't worry about it. Yeah. And the ladders. Don't worry about it. Yeah, that's fine. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. So, mm-hmm. Because uh, there's certain things Auburn, Alabama fans come together on, and Trump is one of them. Yeah. That's right. And, and, and it's rare. But, I mean, this is just like – you know, it just was so easy to call. I remember, couldn't believe it, uh, the time that Sherry and I went into the Boston area and I saw a poor little kid wearing a Yankees cap and grown people were cussing the kid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And sure. I was like, God, love these this little kid with his Yankees hat on. And one Boston guy says, hey, what do you expect? <laughs> and I'm like, okay, yeah, you're right. Don't wear a Yankees. That's what to get. Hey, don't, hey wear right. a, don't wear a Yankees hat in Boston. Have you seen Brady? Yeah, right. Don't wear a Yankees hat in, in Boston. So I'm driving off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Don't, don't bring the, the baby Trump balloon to Alabama where Alabama and LSU fans are gathering. And, and you even prompted an Auburn fan to do something. Yeah. So anyway, Hoyt got in trouble. He did. And and then once he got in trouble, he slashed the balloon. Right, he got slashed arrested. the balloon and got arrested. And didn't care. He, he no. told everybody on Facebook he was going to do it. Mm-hmm. And believes some 
and somehow has tied this in to being a man of God, which I'm not clear on. But <laughs> but but anyway, so that that part I'm well. I think that, when that, we first interviewed him, he he right. said that he was. And, and well, his I'm just faith talking was about, important to him. I'm just but. talking about now. He thinks this act is somehow part of that. Now that, oh, that I'm oh, having a little hard time okay. following. But did he but, did he but, just <laughs> say did did he say he had too much Trump in him? Yes. Well, that's what he had. His bottom line. Had too much. And but anyway, so he he called the show after we thought he was going to be okay and just get probation. Yeah. And what was he out? He was out a couple of grand for for you know mm-hmm. what he damaged, and then you know some lawyer fees and all this kind of stuff. He Court was in the fees. second chance program. Wasn't yeah, he was, there. and he called, and and then after he was on with us, maybe he'll be in the third chance program. <laughs> right. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, they even allowed him to keep his GoFundMe money. Yeah, he, he was going to pay, that he he was gonna pay his legal yeah, fees, fees was, with and all that. Um, yeah, up to forty seven, and, and then donate to some charity yeah. that, uh, that that will benefit as well. Uh, so he uh, he sent me a text and he said, um, "Hey man, had a good time on the show. Um, I didn't say anything weird. I mean, I didn't say anything I shouldn't on the on the show." And I'm like, and it was that night, and I'm like, "Hoyt, I don't think so." I said, "You know, you can go back and listen to the podcast. This is when you were on, mm-hmm. or whatever." And he said, okay, man, appreciate it, blah, blah, blah. And then the next thing I hear was, hey, Hoyt's been arrested. He's in jail yeah. that was, over the weekend. That was my number yeah, one email on spring break. Have you? I got his, and this is after the second time he was on. Yeah, I got his mug picture several times right. in email. Right. And I didn't really follow what was happening because I was on spring break and mm-hmm. I, I had a hard time caring about it. Right. But, <laughs> but, 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 but I knew something was, was amiss. Yeah. And so um, – did you give Hoyt bad legal advice? Speech? No, I didn't. Well, I didn't say did. anything. I huh? basically was like, I don't know. I, I and he said, Well, I, you know, my lawyer got a weird message that maybe I, they didn't like that I called the show or something. I, I don't know what the deal do is. Do you remember us saying during this conversation, yes, you know Hoyt, you Hoyt, Hoyt, you do realize you're on the air. Yeah. Does yeah, that remember that? Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, and you can and go back and he listen to it. He didn't feel like he I think they discussed. did. He didn't really. <laughs> yeah, somebody did. <laughs> it may have got played. It may have got played in open yeah. court. Yeah. I don't know. Well, apparently he didn't think he did. He just called to talk <laughs> about what was going on. Well, right. then we get then. All right, so now we fast forward to this past weekend where we start getting emails that Hoyt's been thrown in jail. Oh my! And then and then I was like, well, that's strange. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you know, what what in the world happened? And then all of a sudden, uh, I got. A notification from him today and he said hey don't know if you heard but i've been in jail for the last uh we, this past weekend <laughs> we did hear that yeah. and he said but it was because of my last interview with y'all did not know that wow. he said i'm not mad at all uh he goes i know yeah. it's just the devil behind it and uh and they are crazy if they think three days in jail is going to silence me because i'm not well, doing well, anything wrong he said I, i've i've done what i'm supposed to do he said i've um, let's see here. I, I, he said, I are you, have, are you supposed to be reading this on air? He goes, I've paid my restitution and I've been doing my community service so like normal. And I'm right. like, well, Hoyt, did you do anything else besides just call this show? And he goes, no, we're scratch. What was the no. charge? And, and they, apparently the judge felt like he was, he was acting like a criminal calling the show and making light of what was going on. Well, I do. Rem- I don't and, and remember. He's like, I don't think I did, but that's the judge that's what- may have said, "Hey, listen, here we're going to let you off, but you, you don't need to be out there talking about this and discussing there was a charge, it." Charge though. Whoever and sent that email in the week, they charged him with something. There was was some misdemeanor. There had to be a misdemeanor like, to kick in the. Yeah. Well, the, according the to him, because right? I asked him, I said, "Hoyt, did you do anything else?" He goes, "No, <laughs> all I did was call the show, Which- and that was what I was charged with." Well, yeah, but, so but, but they that, may have told him not to do that. I, I right. remember off air. We're going to have to listen to it. I, I, I remember. Don't know what prompted this statement, and Bubba said it too. Mm-hmm. I Easy. remember yeah. saying, "Hoyt, you do realize?" Or Bubba did. One of us said, "You do realize you're on the air." Yeah. So for some, for us. Now, past the hour, uh, we are back. Wednesday Bible study back today, noon central, one o'clock Eastern, uh, on the Rick and Bubba YouTube channel. If you want the live option, uh, and we'll go into Second Corinthians chapter ten today as we work through this uh, this letter from the Apostle Paul. The archive uh, will be done soon after and available on our YouTube channel or our podcast channel uh, if you so desire. All right, so um, Super Tuesday yesterday. As far as the uh, uh, the presidential race. It's it's what we all already know. It's 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 going to be Biden and Trump. 
Trump won them all except for Vermont, so pretty much a clean sweep. And uh, we are told, uh, published reports today, they expect Nikki Haley to drop out this yep. morning. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, she will. It was funny. I was. I was telling you. Heard me talking in in the break as we were trying to get started. You know, people. They you know they all go find all kinds of stuff. And I heard uh, one of the. I didn't watch a lot of the coverage last night. It just. It didn't seem like anything major was going to happen. It all seemed pretty much what we expected. Uh, so I kind of spent time, you know, doing other things, but, but I did hear someone say that they somehow had access to Nikki Haley's calendar and that her team had nothing scheduled after today. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they said she's, she's done. Uh, so she'll, she'll stay. Yeah. Up. I mean, the, there's just, there's not going to be any financing available. I don't right. think because right. everybody, nobody wants to finance somebody going the wrong direction. Right. And, and, <clears throat> and Speedy made a note. If you notice, Trump is not calling her names anymore. So, right. so right. that, that could be that he doesn't see her as a threat. And then I heard uh, some of the experts last night saying, you know, the little bit that she did garner, uh, it, it still is a, a good little block of votes and, and Trump needs to bring those people back home. But I just not sure I see those people running to Biden, so I'm not sure how difficult that'll be. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, will you gonna vote for Biden? Yeah, no, I mean, so, so anyway, uh, so I mean, that's me talking to myself in, yeah. the, in the yeah. mirror. You yeah. know what I mean? I, there's yeah. a lot of things about Trump that I don't like, but what am I gonna do? Vote for Biden? Uh, so no, probably not. So <laughs> Gary Palmer, that you hear on the show, one yeah. big uh, yesterday. Yeah. yeah, there were there was some concern that he he had a a formidable opponent and who was spending a lot of money. And that he might be in trouble, especially after the uh, he had to go through some discomfort of of talking about term limits and then not 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 doing that himself, and and staying uh, another longer on terms than he said he would, and he explained that and all that. Some people liked his explanation, some people didn't, and there was some thought that he it might put him in a little bit of trouble, but. Not when you look at these numbers. The uh, no, Al- he Alabama, won. Uh, yeah. Alabama clearly likes what he's doing and, and wants that to continue. I think it was eighty percent of the vote went to, yeah. to Palmer. So yeah, one of the more interesting uh, races was District One in Alabama that had uh, incumbent Jerry Carl facing incumbent Barry Moore from District Two. This was the new yeah. congressional map that yeah. the Supreme Court gave us, yeah. and so you had what is a a, a fairly rare occurrence, especially in our state, to have two sitting congressmen going against each other. Barry Moore won that last night with 51.5% of the vote, about 30, uh, about, I'm sorry, about 3,600 votes, it looks like, um, over Jerry Carl of 104,000 that were cast. I know both of these men, Barry Moore, uh, Caitlin actually interned with Barry Moore when she was in D.C. to begin with. Mm-hmm. Now she works with Jerry Carl. Got so it. Yeah. you had a lot of overlap in this race. Sure you did. And, yeah. uh, it, it was very close. Uh, but uh, that is the new District 1 for Alabama, which will basically run uh, pretty much across the state on the south. Yeah, south and north. so as you just laid out in that case, you got two men that, that we think were doing a good job, but because of the redistricting, they were forced to – to go against each other when really at one time you had them both. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's a, our, our state is going to lose, uh, I think a very valuable congressman in that race one way or the other. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, uh, so that, and, uh, and that's, and, and Jerry, of course, uh, has done a good job and has been good to the show. And, and of course we don't have anything against Barry Moore either, no, but I mean, no, it's Barry's just, been a, on with us yeah, it's just one of those things yeah. you hate. You, yeah. you hate that. And, uh, so the good news is, uh, though, I know the job that Caitlin's been doing there. I'm sure she'll, Finish out with Jerry and it'll be valuable for somebody else if, if she so desires. Yep, yep. We'll see how all that plays out. And uh, and then uh, we so now I guess we're kind of down to does it even really matter now? I mean, are, are we? It, it's it's Biden Trump now. Michelle Obama yesterday. Now you have <clears> to <throat> you have to always kind of like coaches. You have to really dissect what they say. <laughs> What, she has always said she did not want to be in politics. Well, if you listen yesterday. And even back to the time they were in the White House. Right. This was pointed out. Now, do I think Michelle Obama is going to run? I don't. Do I think what she said yesterday means she won't be the the candidate? I don't think it means that either. Because what she said was, I'm not going to run for president. Now, she's not saying that she won't be put in by the Democrats in <laughs> Chicago. Drafted. Yeah, she didn't say that. She said she's not going to run for president, and those are the exact words. Now, Gavin Newsom is sitting over there with his hand up going, I'll, I can right. fill in. Come over I here if you need me, as Mickey yeah. Dean would say. Yeah, but if you're Gavin Newsom, and I'm glad I'm not, but if you're, if you're Gavin Newsom, you have to almost say kind of what we were trying to tell DeSantis. 
I don't know that there's a win in here for me to go against Trump. I think I, it, my political future may be better that I lay low, Biden loses, and now I can come back and see, now we, we need me. Mm -hmm. that, that wasn't a good candidate. If I go in now and I lose, now I'm tainted. Yeah, I'm better to not have been in this race and wait for the next one. Mm -hmm. uh, that that's what I would do in his position if I was a Democrat, which requires an incredible amount of imagination. Right, and, uh, and look, the Obamas, you know, are running things behind the scenes anyway. She well, might just enjoy that role solely. Well, <laughs> I, I, I you don't have to go to near as many events. <laughs> that you don't want to go. Yeah, to. I did hear one person say that. Going, well, she <laughs> she don't want to take that role and still be told what to do by Obama. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. So yeah. So anyway, I I don't know. I'm I know I I know this is not overly popular but i'm just telling you about sleeping at night i i disagree with barack obama on barack obama on many many things okay but i honestly don't want to think that joe biden's running the country mm -hmm. okay i would rather think that barack obama's running <laughs> yeah the country, okay? I, I think we're all that's true, point, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Well, I, I i don't want to think that man i keep seeing is truly running things i i i do not think he he is but i'm actually comforted by that yeah well, Hillary Clinton came out yesterday, too, and said, we have nothing to worry about, uh, Joe's age or anything. Just get behind him. We're good. Yeah. But the, yeah, but they well, lie. She, she the Clintons did, lie about everything. But, but didn't she kind of say, yeah, he's he's old and he's got issues, but, but don't we'd, we'd rather have him than Trump, yeah. who is somehow a threat to democracy. Oh, yeah, I don't yeah. get this threat yeah. to democracy. Yeah. Right, right. I, well, I, again, they're going to blame, they're going to accuse you of what they're doing. That's, yeah, that's right. You know. Exactly. I also laughed at somebody who, who took on, why doesn't Joe Biden step down? And he said, you ever dealt, you ever dealt with your aging parents? They're not coachable. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's fine. He said, go in there and touch he the thermostat. give them car keys up. <laughs> he you know? just, just go touch the thermostat. Watch yeah. what happens. <laughs> so, uh, we'll come back. We'll take your phone calls next at 866-WE-BE-BIG. Any comments from Super Tuesday, we'll take them. Super Tuesday. See what's on your mind, America. How you feeling? Not a lot of surprises, but there's stuff happening in your individual states that might be interesting. Uh, we'll chat with you when the Rick and Bubba show returns right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Say that mm -hmm. means something was said that concerned us, right? Yeah, I would we, so. we wouldn't have said I that. So. Yeah, so... Uh, Mm. So, I, and I'm not saying it was anything bad, but I remember thinking to myself, when it looks like you're going to get off relatively easy, do you sound too cavalier right now? I do remember having that concern. <laughs> right. Now, you know, uh, apparently. And probably should have topped up what he typed to Speedy, let's be honest, <clears throat> especially since Speedy just read it out loud. <laughs> Well, because well, you're not going to silence him. But what does he mean by we're not going to silence him? What, 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 what's, what does he mean well, by he's that? Well, he feels like. <laughs> right. We all know what he did and why he did it. <laughs> but, but, I mean, what else is there? He feels like his First Amendment's been violated. That that what you can't talk. I mean, you can't you well, speak a, about a, it. A judge can tell you not yeah. to speak. They do have gag orders. Well, <laughs> apparently, they can put you in jail because they did. <laughs> yeah. okay. yeah. Evidently, well, and let's say he did break the law at some point too. He did. He did. He right. did. Right. I mean, let's and we got to go back to that. Well, maybe he missed <laughs> but, the instructions. But he said, according to him, he's paid for that. He's done right. what he's supposed to do. He's right. doing his community service. So right. it's not like he's violated that well, unless they told him not to talk about it. Is he like us? Well, I was about to say he only heard what he wanted to hear. He may have missed that last part. Don't yeah. talk about it. Yeah. Speedy, it goes back, and I think this is where we may be we may be uninformed, oh. and Hoyt apparently is uninformed, right. Yeah. Right. is that what I'm saying is he didn't get the full extent of the law, and when they tell you because you're a first-time offender, he, we're going to lower the sentence and do right. this, this, and this, yeah. what they would prefer is that you humbly yes. take that, keep your mouth shut, uh -huh. and then take that and get back to your life. You know, and be thankful it wasn't worse. And Hoyt chose not to do that a little bit. And I think I think they took it as a bit of an end zone dance and him not taking it serious. I'm not saying that's okay or right. Yeah, I'm yeah. just trying We're to We're talking about right or wrong. We're just talking about what it is. Yeah. And um, and and that probably prompted the conversation when we said you do realize you're on the air right now. You know, are are you calling the show just a little quick? So um so we'll come back. Um all right, so um Tom Brady has tweeted that it looks like as of the end of today he will be going to play for somebody else. There's there's you a there's you a uh, uh, a sports story. You're not getting a lot of those right now. Mm -hmm. So for those of you that have a yeah, what a, are the hankering. sports guys doing right now? Uh, you know what? Um, I, I I hope they're doing something positive with that time. <laughs> you know, it is. Uh, 
It, they certainly, it certainly, they've certainly been offered the opportunity. I don't know. I still think you're gonna see Brady come along here at midnight and sign something. But <laughs> uh, <laughs> you won't come off that. It's like I'm it's, staying it's, with it. I like, believe Tom's gone, Bubba. I may be, I may be wrong, but I'm just gonna stay with it. Greg, uh, I I'm, want. I'm going to stay with. Greg, it. are you okay? Okay, because I want you to prepare yourself. You know, you say brace yourself. Yes. You remember the great, uh, the great joke. I'm going to eat a little grass. You might want to brace yourself. Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> All right, hang Got on it. just a second. Are you okay? Because I know that you're the kind of person that a <laughs> pandemic normally doesn't bother that much. You know, you, that's not really your M.O. You know, it's it may always be exaggerated, overhyped, yeah. you know, the sheeple. But I, I just want to say one thing, and I want you to brace for it. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Anheuser-Busch <laughs> plant employee in Georgia has tested positive for coronavirus. What's this mean for distribution? Of <laughs> well, that's that's what we must talk about here. I mean, is the <laughs> supply chain breaking down? An Anheuser Busch plant employee in Georgia uh, has tested positive. Now, mm. Why did why do they? And I know this is me showing my ignorance here, but that's fine. Why do they feel the need to use this this statement for the novel coronavirus? Novel? Well, I, I've seen I've really? seen that word used in front of it several times. I've heard it said that? no. Uh, Novell or Novelle. some other pronunciation of it. Anyway, know? here's what I, this goes back to again. We're talking when we say coronavirus. I think it's novel. Yeah, but, but when you when you talk about coronavirus, so <laughs> no, again, I've heard them say it. Another I'm way. sure. I know. But it, you know what would stop all that again? And I want us all to do it. COVID nineteen. Yeah. 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 Because the coronavirus is the conference. It's not the team. Yeah. Yeah. We, so so it's, it's now that we've identified this mm-hmm. as COVID nineteen. COVID right. nineteen. I like to say COVID nineteen. Do you? You, you like, like to leave it? COVID. COVID. But Greg, they know what it is. Let's hip it up a little bit. Greg. So we have Corona and but and Budweiser. <laughs> You're wanting to yeah. remove the D. And that's yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> COVID nineteen. <laughs> No, 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 it's easier than COVID nineteen. It is, but but, but Bubba, that's what it's called. <laughs> well, that's all right. Just saying, we hit, we I abbreviate mean, everything. Yeah, why not? I, I think they are abbreviating yeah. it by COVID. Uh, we abbreviate it again. <laughs> what? Why not? That, something about that D. Hip you just up. can't get it there. Before, He'll before remove long, the letter to minute. Before long, we're just gonna call it nineteen. <laughs> Bubba, about nineteen. Hey, you sick? I got nineteen. Yeah. Here's what I would say, Bubba. Honestly, <laughs> if we're gonna hip it up, one nine. If if we're gonna hip it up, I like co nineteen. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just drop COVID-19. everything. C nineteen. Yeah. Let's just go C. If we're gonna do it, let's do it. C nineteen. C nineteen. <laughs> I'm just saying, Bubba. If you've committed all the way to the I, you can add the D. Yeah. <laughs> you don't. You committed I'm too far. A y now. I like to change the D to oh. Y. Code. All right. Who's ready to chat, America? Let's hear from you. The real Greg Burgess on the phones. We go phone troll format. A rare early phone troll. Uh, just to kind of get a feel where you are today, where we're headed, anything you can discuss. Uh, we hit a few topics already. 30 seconds a pop. That means we get a lot of people in. All 10 lines are available. Greg is psyched and ready to take your phone calls. At the end of 30 seconds, the buzzer sounds. Your time on the program ends. We get to the next caller. No meaningless shout-outs. No shameless plugs. Uh, simply comments, questions, and content uh, coming in at 866-WE-BE-BIG. As you prepare, Bubba, did you see outside our offices yesterday my Patriot Supply? You and I have ordered uh, one of the... the uh, got my bucket. Got the bucket. Yep. This is, that's Those are for four weeks. Four-week emergency food kits. You realize inside there, even though you and I are known to be good eaters, no problem here, 2,000 calories a meal. Got that in there. We've got 16 different uh, food and drink varieties that are available to us. And because uh, we're part of the Rick and Bubba show, we save $60. Uh, so if you'd like to go get those four week supplies for $60, Bubba, we just got an update from you. I mean, I know some of these people, when you, when you think about putting food up that'll last 25 years in storage, 2,000 calories uh, a day available to you, people are like, well, I mean, I don't know if the whole economy is going to collapse. How about this? You just went through a tornado. What if that was the only house you had? <laughs> it would be bad. Okay. Bad, uh, bad. Okay, so what about hurricanes? What oh, about what bad. about What about floods? Um, and then you get into you know uh, the economy collapsing and that kind of stuff, sure. But also something maybe not as traumatic as I'm going camping. Uh, I'd like to have them in the RV. Uh, I'm going, I, I go hunting. I'd like to take them to, to, to camp house. So they work for a lot of different reasons and we get you free shipping and $60 off a four week food kit right now. And they store for up to 20 
five years. So go right now to preparewithbubba.com to get that $60 off a four-week food kit. Bubba and I got ours this week, plus get free shipping. Also go to rickandbubba.com and look under the sponsors. Uh, to the phones we go, let's start uh, with, uh, it looks like Devil Dog. Mm. <laughs> okay. Uh, 30 <laughs> seconds, Devil Dog. Go right ahead. Well, morning, guys. Hey. Look, uh, I don't I don't understand the genius of the Obamas. I mean, Michelle Obama's claim to fame is she starved kids in the lunchroom. If you did that, DHR would show up at your house and put you in jail. Well, yeah, but uh, it's going to be hard to get DHR to believe that Michelle Obama really did starve children. That's going to be a tough case to make. But but I understand uh, what they you're saying. They did increase the garbage can allowances because of all the food they were throwing no, away. Yeah. <laughs> I had to force feed them a bunch of carrots and things that people didn't want. My boys were not a fan because no. they, they no. were the recipient of that classic. lunchroom deal. You remember classic. lunchroom people were calling here and uh, saying they're yeah. just, we're throwing away so right. much more than we've ever thrown Classic away. leftist ridiculous ideas Woo. it comes through emotion no one has taken the time to truly look what that would be like to truly implement it it's another one of those ideas that look good on paper but when you implement it it actually is very stupid just like we're seeing with so much of this green stuff mm-hmm. looks good feels good it's just a disaster yeah. uh to jacob at Moore checking in jacob 30 seconds go jacob <laughs> Go ahead. Biggins, I want to know if we're going to get to see this Rick fighting a wolf before the big year ended. You know, it's, I don't know. I haven't seen any wolves uh, at the farm. I have seen coyotes. I, you know, at least that would be a nice warm up. You know how you work through the weight classes? Yeah. You know, you start out, you know, you got to send you some opponents you can take. Uh, you know, maybe that's where I should start. <laughs> that uh, I do see some, some people's dogs. I don't know whose they are. They look pretty strong and powerful. Uh, they look problematic, but uh, <laughs> so uh, so I don't know who these dogs are, uh, but uh, I see them a lot on game cameras. Uh, so don't you love that? I, I, I love that a lot. That's good. You, you know, if you're gonna have animals, That's dust. I'm yeah, sorry. If you're gonna have animals, that 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 is uh, that is your business. Yeah. But we all do have a responsibility if we have pets to make sure they don't bother other people. Yes, that would be ideal. Uh, let's go to Josh in Mississippi. Josh, thirty seconds. Go ahead. Morning, guys. Hey, buddy. A uh, couple of things. Uh, a show I just watched on Netflix you need to watch is, uh, I think it's American documentary, The Octopus Murders. Now, how, what it's is hard that about? To, it's, is this it, it's hard to explain. But it's about a, uh in, investigative journalist that had that they claim was suicide, but they're claiming now that maybe he was murdered. Was this during it the just, Reagan administration? Was it? Mm. Uh, I, I keep I think, seeing I think this right. pop up, I think yeah, you're right. and, and yeah, the you fact too. that Reagan's involved pulls uh, yeah. me in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, that, that's a good question. Uh, so he, there he is. He's clearly on the advertisement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're. It, right. it keeps popping up on I think my you're right. little hey hounds. You'd well, like this? I yeah. enjoy. Any so it thinks you like it. Yeah, any I probably will. Yeah, anything with Reagan in it because it reminds me of what it was like. You know, the greatest decade mankind's sure. ever seen. It might make you weep, though. No, oh, I know. I weep for the children every yeah. time I think about it. Uh, Paul in Huntsville. Paul, go ahead. Welcome to Rick and Bubba. Paul? Hey, Paul. Paul, Paul. Hello? Paul, Paul. <clears throat> Paul, go ahead. Hello? All right. Oh, my goodness. You can't do any better than that. Uh, Julie in Birmingham. Julie, go ahead. Hey, how are you guys We're doing? We're good. We're good. Great. Hey, I just wanted to say I love y'all show, but I was listening to the kickoff hour and they were talking about um, their wives and like how much they hug them and stuff and about their families being annoying. And my answers were like the complete opposite from you guys. My husband's definitely not, you know, a hugger. And so I have to force it on him sometimes. And then um, also like none of his family like my family. So it's like a different oh. That's tough. Hey, there's nothing quite like a family gathering than for the two families not to like each other. Yeah, that's going to be tough. <laughs> that's what's so awkward. We had a question come in on email okay. about. I, I'm uh, a hugger too. About yeah, sure. how, you know, do we yeah. like to hug, and it, and mm-hmm. if we do, how many hugs a day? All yeah. That. yeah. So that's that's where that's usually from. the questions from the audience come from men. And so a, a woman sent us a list of four questions, uh, I like and it. I think she was digging for information based off her experience, like how she needs to handle certain I understood. things. Understood. And yeah. so we had some fun with that and answered them as truthfully as we could. Yes. 
Yeah, the the issue we have with Sherry and I hugging up because our mission wives is you know she's five foot and I'm gonna say what she says she's five foot one and a half. Uh, and, and, and so I'm a foot taller than her. Yeah. And so our hug, we've worked on it. I mean, you know, cause I'll come in and grab her and her poor little head just hits right yeah. here and, you know, under my, under my chest. I can't breathe. Yeah. And so I, I she said, you got to get down here and then kind of, you know, yeah. And, you know, so I've had yeah. to work on that. Yeah. But, I, do that. but I'm do. like you, bub. I love to hug. I mean, I, I'm pro hug. Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm a side hugger if I don't know you. Right. Uh, and if it's family, I'm straight up. I'll do a pickup hug with Terry. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, to the phones Pop we go. Uh, to the phones we go. Let's go to uh, Tim in Sweet Home, Alabama. Tim, thirty seconds. Go ahead. Good morning, guys. How y'all doing? We're good. We're good. I just want to thank you for your Christian stance on everything. You guys are an inspiration to me. I don't always get the whole show, but I get as much as I can. Thank you, buddy. Uh, I do have a bone to pick with you, though. You guys almost caused me a serious issue a few months ago when you had the fit where the guy was at the movie theater. And he held it while he was inside, but he let her loose when he got to the men's room. Yes. And I was laughing so hard I couldn't see straight and almost got in a wreck. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> if, if only you had lost control of, of you know, your body right. functions, yeah. that's what we're hoping for. If, we, if, we can get you, if we can get you to wet your pants, we've really hit Just big. a little thing. But we don't want yeah. you to wreck, but, yeah. but it, we would all be lying if we didn't kind of like the idea that you felt you were almost there. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, yeah. that, that, feels, yeah. that feels good doing the show. <laughs> Uh, we continue. Let's go to um, uh, Aubrey in Alabama. Aubrey, go ahead. 30 seconds. Hey, gentlemen. I just want to thank you guys. I've had, uh, I'm from Texas originally. I've been in Alabama for a year. I'm in flight school in Alabama. And uh, it's been great. My daughter loves singing the Rick, Rick and Bubba song. And also, uh, <clears throat> that gentleman, the show he's talking about is American Conspiracy. And it's really good. I highly recommend it. And was okay. it from the Reagan years? Yes, is that true? That one, the octopus. Murder? Yes, that is. Okay. Yeah, that is sure. correct. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I wanted to know where he was in flight school. Was he military or what? I don't know. <clears throat> uh, let's go to Mike in Mississippi. Mike, go ahead. Thirty seconds. Hey guys. Hey buddy. Hey Rick. I just want to let you know. I just want to let you know. I'm I'm kind of disappointed in you by not putting the sh- uh, show first by uh, not deciding to not to build a house on the amount of show material that we're missing out on. <laughs> <laughs> Look, let me tell you, there's no doubt. It, it, it gave us a little bit just just, just yeah. dabbling with it. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I took some heat uh, having the uh, party Wednesday, I mean, for Sunday. I didn't know. Uh, well, maybe I'll tell you that when we come back. Because uh, th- this actually was a segment from, from the weekend that I, I was not aware of. But I picked up on something, mm. you know, involved because I they were members of our of gra- of our family, extended family, mm-hmm. you know, now that had been married in. That, that I'll, I'll tell you, when we come back. There were things I did not know that I discovered Sunday that I forgot to share on Monday, and you just reminded me of it. It was very interesting to watch this. I'll, I'll tell you about this when we come back. It was pretty funny. <laughs> uh, so, fifteen minutes to the top of the hour. Yeah, that would have been tons of material, but I'm just going to let Bubba handle that right now. With uh, the rebuild. Yeah, I got it. And every day I see him, I'm thankful that I stopped the project. We'll be (laughs) back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Kobe. Well, it's got an I in it. That would be Kobe. You wouldn't need to add a Y. I wanna, I'm, I'm changing the D and the Y. Uh, the D and the I to a Y. <laughs> now you got Koi night to <laughs> Yeah. <it> was, <laughs> well, stop. Uh, stop. But he, uh, so, I mean, he just can't make himself say Kobe. <laughs> Look at me. I he love can't you. make himself I say can. that. And he thinks Kobe. the Patriots are signing Tom Brady. They yeah, are. I do. And, I think and so. Tom's got a new. Uh, what would y'all I got, got a, I got a bottle of hand sanitizer I'll place on that. <laughs> How about it? How about, this, how about this? What if we woke up tomorrow? What if we woke up tomorrow? Straight up. What if we woke up tomorrow and Tom Brady is still a patriot and everybody's calling it Kobe 19? Kobe 19. And Tom also signed an endorsement with Nike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Kobe 19. Uh, All right, they're not going to sign anybody. Nobody buying shoes right now. Let me get to the line. Let me get to Make the line that Greg, ne- that Greg needs to know. The worker who is yet to be identified. Uh, that traitor. <laughs> is receiving medical attention, is currently isolated. The company added, and this is what you're looking for, of course, Greg, you're a conspiracy guy. Safety and quality of the products has not been affected. Mm-hmm. I know what you want to believe right now, but that's, now there's two Gregs fighting. But here's the deal. Nothing can live in that. 
Uh, you're right. But, 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 but we right. act like that we have uh, other examples to go by where we've had handling of beer and it's okay. <laughs> so conspiracy <laughs> Greg is winning right now. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You know, conspiracy Greg's hey, hard to talk. Rick, Close, I promise closer you. Closer to the Rick, weekend hey, the other than the hey, week. Rick, Rick hey. I promise you, <laughs> Rick, Rick, you will yeah. see no boycott from the people who are fans of that product. No. <laughs> no I'll no. take a chance. Bring yeah. it on. We hey, gotta, we're uh, still going to bar. We've got to address this T-shirt deal at some point, Bubba. It's got going on. And not right now, but at some point. He keeps randomly picking it up and wiping himself off and i don't and, know what's and going he coughs on well i'm not gonna be yeah. touching my face I, <laughs> he's touching a dirty shirt <laughs> no, I'll swap it out there tomorrow. and we walk by and is it a like, two-day rule yeah i'm two days i got enough on rotate i <laughs> get six months out of what i got bubba, in my office. Bubba, not, I, I coughed into it earlier <laughs> okay. bubba so. not touching that face <laughs> is like somebody living in texas saying i'm not gonna touch texas <laughs> <laughs> i mean i mean i mean, it's, it, I mean there's just too much it. of it it's yeah. just too much yeah. and you know and you know i'm an allergy sufferer anyway right. which may be an advantage in and this. it's not it's almost not fair that kobe is hitting right now <laughs> kobe because, because kobe one nine. because of allergy season and the pollen right. and i know what's going on with him yeah. but still he's over there sneezing and oh, coughing I know. I know. well i'm doing and the he's same got thing. I, it's just not but that almost, may protect me it's almost it or not because you fair. got more mucus when you're uh, allergic to things and that's gonna make it harder for uh kobe 19 oh i just it's just common sense everybody knows that <laughs> he came up with that. Already. Everybody knows that. So he's convinced himself his allergies are saving him. Yes. Yeah, because you have more yes. mucus and it makes it harder for COVID nineteen to get in there. That's like when you convince you sit on the couch and breathe, you burn more calories than if you work out. <laughs> no, I never said that, Bubba. No, I never. Greg, said that. this is right there. You with do pe- burn calories sitting on the couch. Greg, this is this is the man who brought us peanut M and M's, a somewhat healthy snack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so but if, you, if your allergies are, are all kicked up, see, it helps it helps prevent other things from getting in there. Okay. Oh. Oh, does it? Yeah, now, it does. what does it do for us when you're sneezing and coughing everywhere? Well, it makes you uncomfortable. <laughs> all right, let's talk about like this. It. That's why I'm coughing and sneezing into that. Now, that's the thing. You have the normal seasonal <laughs> stuff, but raise your hand, be honest. Raise your hand if there's been moments in the last 48 hours where you thought you had. I had, it, uh, I thought I had that moment yesterday. Current. I've checked Current. my temperature about eight As times. I sit right here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't right now. Kobe yeah, Langton. I've heard it so much. Yeah. I've heard it so much I feel like I have. You know, I do. Greg, 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 let me show you. Listen. Can't breathe. Short as a breath. Let me show you this. Tight, this Greg, this is me. This is me all alone on the deck yesterday making spiral dogs. Okay. This is me talking to myself. I'm out there by myself. Hmm. And I'm over and I go, been to the farm, a lot of pollen at the farm. That's what it is. Yeah, it's just some pollen is. down at the farm. <laughs> so it's not just me. It's not just me. Look, Greg, and then I do this. Mm. <laughs> and then I go, yeah. it's just from the farm. And look, then, then, then you get a little headache. Hey, hey, baby. Yeah, inside. Are they finished? No, they're not done. Could you come here just a minute? Hey, put your hand on my head. That feels hot. Do I feel hot? No, baby, you don't feel hot. Rick, I always go, if I got fever, I would have chills. Right. right yeah, what right. now? Right. Well, I don't. <laughs> you know, what about the time that they'll start changing the symptoms and realize that oh, yeah. sooner or later they get you? Yeah, Guys, I mean, well, I mean, whatever. And then there's that guy yesterday that has it, and he said he hadn't had any symptoms. Yeah, what about and he's that? He's coming guy? off. He's coming That's off of it. Said fair. he never had any symptoms. Yeah, yeah he kept testing positive. Right. Him and his wife, and neither one of them had symptoms. What's that all? What's about? that? I know. Huh? Look, it's well, that's what's thing. scary because you can you can not have yeah. you can have it and but know never it. know it and pass it on to oh, so yeah. many did people. That guy, did that that's poor guy in Nebraska ever get out of uh, oh, no, quarantine? He's been there since February the 9th, and he's still testing positive. And he said he feels fine for what, Bubba? That's going along. COVID nineteen. That's that's going on a lot with the younger generation. Well, that's my point. Yeah, they towed it and it doesn't yeah. Y'all don't want to hip it up. Still got a crutch on. Here's what the – here's what the – Let's go. Ten minutes to the top of the hour. Crestview, Florida. Hello there. First Baptist Church, Crestview, Florida, tomorrow night. Man Church, Kevin Derryberry. He'll just be loving Jesus. You'll get him uh, singing. You'll get his testimony. Incredible uh, if you've never heard Kevin. Uh, and that'll be tomorrow night for their next Man Church as they roll through the men's discipleship strategy from the manchurch.com. First Baptist Church, Crestview, tomorrow night, Kevin Derryberry. Startville, Mississippi this weekend. The Man Church Conference starts Friday. We are jacked and ready. Uh, if you want tickets, they're, they're mostly gone. There may be a few. You can grab those at themanchurch.com. 
or if any available at the door on Friday night when we start. They'll start, uh, doors open at 6, start at 7, row through lunch on Saturday, and we are really, really looking forward to that. Um, all right, so the person mentioned this, that, that basically with all the stuff we're getting from Bubba on the rebuild and anytime any of us are in duress, when Speedy, when you built a house, he said, I didn't put the show first because I should have kept building the house at the farm for no other reason <laughs> for show material. Right. Uh, but anyway, on that note, so we had the big 50th birthday this past weekend at the farm. And uh, and there was a lot that went in that. The, the bottom line was we just, Sherry and I just finally said, you know what, financial duress, uh, this is getting more and more expensive. Nobody did anything wrong. Everybody that we dealt with, they were they're first-class people. They did a beautiful job. And we had the right people to get what we wanted. But there was, we just kept coming back going, do we want to make this life move? This is getting every time you turn around. So we're kind of resetting seeing if the cost of everything might go down and maybe rethink that again at another point, you know, Lord willing, mm-hmm. if we're, we're still able. So, so anyway, so we were there. What I did not know, Greg, this is what I did not know. I did not know that at this gathering, uh, we had a Sunday afternoon for Sissy's 50th birthday. I, I guess I just hadn't thought about this. I did not know that Taylor's wife, Kelsey and Chandler's husband, Riley had never been to the farm. <laughs> I did not know that. For some reason, I thought we'd had other family functions that they came to. Well, they didn't because they made that crystal clear to me. Uh, hmm. And so, and I knew your grandkids had never been there. That yeah, I knew, but yeah. but but I thought back when they were all yeah, dating or engaged or something. So anyway, and I knew Chandler had uh, had been there, but she said it, it went all the way back to her. You know, she said she fished with Pop down yeah. there, or whatever. And I oh, thought yeah. she had been there, but at least she had been there. Yeah. Well, here's something I picked up on, and 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 it mainly came. Because Riley, Greg's son-in-law, he does not fish or hunt. He may fish. He doesn't hunt. Yeah, and we maybe. keep talking about that we're going to take him out hunting for the first time. And it's been difficult. His kids are really small. That's a different animal. And, yeah. and then he's he's a teacher and a coach, and that that's a lot. So maybe we can pull that off. So we get there, and, of course, the, there's always the legend of you can still see the spot. You know, where remember the great day when we started digging on the house yeah. and it was, oh, yeah, it, was, it was in the wrong spot. So there was a lot of, there was a lot of we talk. We all rolled up there and looked at There it. was a lot of talk <laughs> about that. So we're, we get over to by the fire pit and I get approached by Taylor's wife, Kelsey. And she says, I have two items. And I said, okay. And she said, this is not, this is not what I thought was down here. And I said, I, I don't, and I'm kind of confused. I'm dealing with you know, the, the kids yeah. and all that. Right. And we got the fire pit. And, we catch and I'm like, well, I, what, what, are you, what are you talking about? And, and she says, uh, now keep in mind when I made the connection, her husband, Greg's son, Taylor, my nephew, we always have the Burgess men hunt down there That's right. during the rut, and we stay down at Camp House and whatever. Well, apparently, like we all do, Taylor must have been painting a picture that we rough it Oh, Rick, we did. <laughs> Rick. And, 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 Hang on a minute. And, and she goes, this is the farm? And I said, well, yeah. And she's like, first of all, two items. You and Sherry must start the project back and move down here immediately. Uh-huh. And, and, and and she even starts sending us stuff like she'd found grocery deliver items to make it. Because I said, well, there's all kinds of factors. We got into the, you know, beach season, 65 is like a parking lot. You know, it, everything's going to be harder you know, we just kind of reset. Cost was rising. It, we just didn't think. We just said, you know what? This is just not the time. Yeah. And uh, and she's like, well, you need to resolve all that. And and she goes, I did. I, she goes, I thought we were coming to a family function that we would be off in the middle of the woods in a shack, <laughs> trying 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 to work our way through trails. And she goes, we're out here in you know this rolling pasture, this pond, the fire yeah. pit. All this, you know, the cute little white house over here. She goes, "This is not what I thought this place was," <laughs> and I thought well, that means Taylor probably <laughs> was exactly what it was, is. Was right. doing the. Uh, let me tell you, you don't want to go down there. <laughs> you know, hey, hey, Old camp hey, house. Hey, the, women, the women, y'all will not like it down there. Don't even go. Or he near. tried to lower expectations. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't go near that place. <laughs> and uh, and I so think Kelsey n- had Sherry nearly turned to going she to did. Start a Greg, again. Greg, when I we, heard Sherry talking. When we got back home, when we got back home, she was literally sending services but that's one thing sherry was talking that's about she goes funny. you know you, you you all you got is the you you don't even have one of the nice pig we, there's a lot the selection here that they don't even take american express card <laughs> and, you know that i had to get rick to get groceries and then oh, you know, no. like even to go get my hair did i'm gonna have to go back up 65 yeah and and, and so all of this and kelsey basically started sending things to sherry to solve all those problems <laughs> She was doing and, research for you yeah because I, I it, it, but she uh, apparently there had been a different presentation 
from Taylor with because he probably thought, sure, got to go down there and hunt again. Yeah, rough it. You got to yeah. go well, down if you there. Just hey, hear, y'all hey, you don't want to go down there. Mm-hmm. If you if you just hear <laughs> camp, man, house, camp house, breakfast. If, if that's all you hear is camp house, you probably think, you oh man, house. yeah, that that was the. Uh, but let, let me tell you what was funny. Cause I like messing with Kelsey anyway, cause she's she'll she'll get in there and right oh. with you. She'll battle. Oh yeah. And, and so I I was talking with her and I, and she said, "Well, now where's this where's this camp house y'all stay?" I said, "Oh y'all y'all I can't go in there." <laughs> and she said, "What?" I said, "No, y'all y'all can go to over there to the little white house. That's fine. I know some of you've already been in there, but n- no chicks at camp house. No, <clears throat> there's a sign." And she, and she, she said, "I'll go over to camp house." I said, "No, no, no chicks allowed." It's like the the, the, <laughs> with the little rascals, the he man women haters club. That's right. But but her literal quote was, and Greg, and this is what I realized how much Taylor had sold. She said, "I thought I'm like driving down here. I was like, well, we're gonna be in the middle of the woods, oh. and we're gonna be in some shack. We're gonna be celebrating sissy in the middle. They have a bathroom." She, she goes, "I come out here. Y'all got this barn. Two doors opened up. We've got we got food laid out. There's there's rolling pasture. Yeah. We're out here at the pond fishing. There's a fire in the fire pit. Y'all come down here and live." The life that we all want to live, <laughs> and I was like, "Well, it's, it's hard down here. It's really, no, really. I said, a lot of work to be done." I, I said, "You wouldn't believe this." I said, "We even have to drive on dirt roads to actually go hunt." Uh-uh. No, no, and, uh, and you know, I mean, it's rough out there. It's yeah. real rough. And then, and then, when her kids were playing in the shooting houses and they thought they were forts, yeah, you know, <laughs> this is what y'all hunt in. Rick, don't I, forget. I said, "Hey, you don't know what's like down here." <laughs> Don't forget, Ellis got out of the car and walked up and wanted to know where the pigs were. Yeah, he did. He they thought th- you had pigs. Yeah, they, 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 pigs. Yeah. They thought they were coming. Yeah, Ellis kept going, Uncle Rick, where's the pigs? And I'm like, we don't, we don't have any pigs. You yeah, take me, me to the pigs. I'm like, no, I, I'm hoping we don't <laughs> have that. pigs here. Yeah. And then, of course, we said we did say this on Monday when, when Pistol Face Jones walked up the pasture. He said, yeah, this is a lot. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, like he was kind of overwhelmed with how, many, run. How, how, how much he could run. Uh, this is a lot, and uh, so I I I, I didn't know That's there was. There, and I think you know when you envision something in your mind when you're going somewhere you've never been. Yeah. yeah, and I think the other end of the spectrum was that Riley, who has not hunted, might have been thinking, not sure I want to. But then all of a sudden he looks around and goes, this is what y'all do? Yeah. Yeah. I'm in. <laughs> I'm in. Hey, wait till he's camp house breakfast. <laughs> oh. oh. That, that, so uh-huh. they, there was a lot. Of, there were people talking about camp house breakfast for like they they remembered the last time they were picked for it. Mm. You know, they were like, yeah, I remember when I had my camp house breakfast the first yeah, time. Yeah. That was Pearson talking to some people. Yeah. Did you tell Kelsey that y'all sit for three hours before coming back in and eating? Mm-hmm. It's hard, man. I said it's we tough. sit out there and, and listen to birds and watch God's beautiful creation. <laughs> then we had to come in and eat and hang out and talk and doze off sitting in chairs watching football. It's yeah. like it's like a five minute side by side ride. <laughs> <laughs> and Rick finally got a TV big enough you can see it. Thank so, you. Man. Thank uh, you. There you went there. So, yeah, I, I have a feeling that, uh, that Greg, your son, may have painted a different picture, but his wife yeah. knows now. Evidently. Yeah. Uh-oh. So, top of the hour, we'll be back. More Rick and Bubba coming up right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Maybe At least make, y'all are all walking today. Here's what the, 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 the young people, listen, y'all need to, hey, y'all need to listen to me. Glad me, it ain't polio. Hey, me, me, my, my, I, I, me, me, my. Here's what you got to understand. It doesn't matter how it's affecting you. Right. It's how you toting is going to kill somebody else. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know how much more times we got to say that. I know. Yep. I had to have all the little Wilburn boys up yesterday. Hey, everybody up. Do y'all mm. love your mom and dad and your grandparents? Oh, yeah. Care for us because yeah. you don't care for yourself. I told Broderick, too. I said, Broderick, Possibly Bubba. I told, yeah. I, told, <laughs> hey, I, told, Bubba. I told young Broderick, I said, so your goal is to kill me. Mm-hmm. And he's dead. Dad's in her saying I'm trying to kill him. I said, your daddy's 55. Yeah. <laughs> We're on the fringe. Mm-hmm. We're on the fringe. I, I told mine, I said, so y'all going to be the we got other factors. the Rick and Bubba show has to go into some emergency <laughs> right. deal right. here where only one right. of us is in. It's going to be because of you. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Tyler. I got a text from you that your buddy say, hey, if I'm home, we're going to do some work around here. Uh-huh. Hey, hey, I got a text from you that you're playing basketball. Where are you playing basketball? Right. What are you doing? Are you trying to kill your dad? <laughs> 866, we be big. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I know that we were talking about some of the younger people that think that they may not have symptoms or it's really not going to affect their life, even if they get it, uh, not understanding that how contagious it is, but they could give it to someone that it may uh, destroy. Uh, I've already texted, well, I've been asking about JT. I've already texted JT and told him that I'm certain that he has COVID-19. He put you sent back. No doubt. I want you boys to know it's been a good run. Uh, so, 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 yes, JT is convinced he has it, of course. Um, and, uh, but anyway, the, the, and you, we, we talked about this earlier and I know that Adler or Speedy One showed some of this, but, um, there, there, the shocking aerial footage shows a packed, uh, Florida beach on the same day that Donald Trump urged all Americans to avoid groups of more than 10 
and to practice self-distancing amid the pandemic. And they showed Clearwater Beach, Florida, packed with visitors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, as as he was talking about this. Yeah. And um, and so there there's been people that have just look look at that footage I mean, right there. Yeah, I'm looking at it online. It it's looks packed. like there's it looks like there's a few more than ten there. Yeah, yeah. They it looks like a lot of them are keeping at least a three foot gap between them though, right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yep, they keep drinking and hanging around with a little bit of clothing on. That ain't gonna last long. Yeah, I know. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. but anyway, so uh, so there you go. College students continue to gather for spring break on stretches of the beach. Uh, they ignore signs to avoid mass gatherings and practice social distancing. Huh. And uh, so there and, they are. And this is starting to anger some people because they are rightfully calling this irresponsible, not for themselves but for others that it may be severe for. So there you go. And we're glad to be your social separation connection. Social separation connection. You like that? I do. Uh, Promise Keepers returns this summer and had the opportunity to to kind of start talking about this and try to uh, see if we can't even find ways to to partner with this and be part of it going forward, still working through all those details. But Promise Keepers, I don't know how many of you in the audience remember this, um, but it was a huge movement uh, that started uh, around 1990. Uh, Bill McCartney, who was then the head football coach at the University of Colorado. Um, and, um, you know, this was a, a, a movement uh, for men to, to rise up and become uh, the men that God has always said throughout Scripture uh, we should be. And, of course, he's the only one that can enable, enable us to be that. We talk about that a lot on the program. Probably the, the biggie, if a lot of people remember, it was a, the event called Stand in the Gap. Uh, a sacred assembly of men. It was an open air gathering at the National Mall in Washington D.C. This happened on October the fourth, in nineteen ninety-seven. Estimated that between six hundred thousand and eight hundred thousand men, uh, you know, found their way there. Uh, and of course, um, you know, this went on, uh, you know, it, it, for for you know a, a while, and then it, it kind of went away. Uh, and now it is coming back. It's one event. It's coming up this uh, July. 31st through August 1st at AT AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. And Ken Harrison is the chairman and CEO, and he joins us now. Ken, welcome to Rick and Bubba. Hey, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Morning, Ken. Yeah, uh, anything going on? Uh, (laughs) COVID-19? You know, well, we look at the things going on. You were supposed to be here with us in the studio today. I know you and I were going to try to get together and, and talk a little bit about how to maybe be part of what you guys are doing, and, of course, all that. We're having to change everything that we're doing. But the good news is this event is not until July 31st through August 1st. I'm, I'm very confident uh, that this will be under control by then. Uh, but uh, so, so let's go ahead and just talk uh, as if this is going to happen because I do believe that it will. And I think the first thing, Ken, that comes to a lot of minds, you know, in, in, in 1990. And through the time the Promise Keepers thing was going on, I was not a follower of Christ, so I didn't have any interest in going to one of these because I knew what they were going to talk about. Uh, and I certainly knew those things, but but I wasn't going to live those things. And and uh, so in that period of life, uh, sadly, I was never I never participated in any of these movements, but I know a lot of men that this was the, the point that God spoke to them and forever changed their life. I know also there were some men that, that had some you know experiences and, and didn't see it solidify in their life. But uh, what, what inspires you, Ken, to say, hey, let's bring this back? Yeah, I was supposed to be with you. I was with 150 uh, black pastors in Houston yesterday. So, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, man, the response was amazing. I wish I could have been in the studio with you all today. But, uh, um, and i got to tell you, I was never at a Promise Keepers event either. Um, I just left the LAPD. And uh, someone said, "You got to come to Promise Keepers." I said, "What's that?" Well, it's it's all these tens of thousands of guys that get together and they worship Jesus and they cry and they hug each other. And I'm like, "Yeah, I'm out." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Six minutes past the hour. Shake a Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Helmsy, Eddie Van Adler, all here. Somebody say all right. Well, all right. Welcome back, Bill Bubba Bussy. 
Rick, glad to be here, and thank all of you for joining us. It's the little party we call Rick and Booba. Here we go, Biden updates. Biden, where to go? Updates. Biden, where to go? Does anybody know a basement Joe? A basement Joe. Uh, a confused Biden uh, saw this yesterday. That's kind of the norm. Now, don't forget, tomorrow night he's going to give us the State of the Union. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Uh, and uh, many are saying that they will have him uh, sugared up, uh, and they think they can get him what he needs to maybe successfully read the State of the Union. Which oh, is always, well, pump him full of B12 what, which is all and he's asked steroids and everything. Well, he said he's been in Delaware practicing <clears throat> for four days. Yeah, yeah. I, I bet he has. But here he is telling the press that he should not answer their questions because he might get in trouble. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is the leader of the free world, by the way. Answer right, so questions, yeah. y'all. All right. So here we go. I have a lot of questions. I better not start the questions. I'll get in trouble. What's your message for Thank Super you. Tuesday Thank voters? You. Everyone, please move this way. Super Thank Tuesday, you. say, do you have a message Thank for you voters? Guys. Thanks. Come on. Thank you so much. Heavy Thank breathing. Wow. Confused. Bubba. Lost. So, Scared. Guys. Bubba, what are we oh, seeing? Man, this, is, this is tough right here. Come on. Man. Same thing we see every day. Bubba, but that. Golly. This, am I? Am he I? looked a little sleepy, am too. Am I over oh, sleepy examining this? He looks like he doesn't know what to do, that he's not even sure. Uh, I'm sure he has. I don't need to answer a question. I might get in trouble. Bad days, but, uh, see, I thought what y'all were going to show me just then mm, was mm. him saying, I better not answer these troubles in freelance. I'm going to get myself in trouble. Ha ha. I didn't know he was going to sit there, truly look like he's terrified, and not know what to do. He kind of was panicking. Do they ever come get him? They shuffled the press out. Um, th- I was. I watched this clip, and I just thought how old he is and how long his days are. Mm. And it's just not a good combo. It has worn him down. He, he just he can't do it anymore. He outworks his staff, Adler. What are you talking they about? They say when they meet with hey, him, he's he, sharp that's as a good a point. And he's, he's probing. He's happy. Uh, yeah, he's ha- hyper prepared, <laughs> extremely diligent, <laughs> hyper probing, robust, sure, and probing. <laughs> Does anybody believe that? Mm. And if you don't think that you're not supposed to ask about it, here's Press Secretary Karine Jean Pierre. She does not want anyone to go down this road. Here we go. One more, if I may. Uh, the president, I noticed, had, had note cards uh, at the border when he was doing his uh, briefing there. He also had note cards uh, last Friday with the uh, Italian prime minister. Why does the president rely so heavily on note cards? You're upset because the president has note cards? Upset, you're I'm you're asking, asking me a why? question about the president having note cards? I'm asking why. The does president he who so has heavily? had a probably one of the most successful first three years of, of an administration than any modern day president. He's done more in the first she three years say it. than <laughs> most presidents who have two terms. You're asking me about no cards? Yeah. I don't think that's, I don't think, I don't, wait, I'm, I'm not speaking to you right now, James. I'm talking to, I'm talking to your friend over here, Ed. So thank you so much, but thank you so much for interjecting. Go ahead, Ed. I was just asking why, why he relies so heavily on no cards. I think what's important here and what the American people care about is how this president is delivering for, for that. Oh, you're right. And that's, that's what he's doing. And he's that's delivered, what's the all right. most important thing. Good. Hey, boom, boom. Um, wow, wow, wow. Uh, I don't know what to say. That's crazy. Do you, she couldn't even say it. No. She was trying to spit it out, and her own subconscious wouldn't let her say it clearly. I think back to how many times I've heard the following phrase, just because you say it, don't make it so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> I mean, wow, 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 wow. <clears throat> you know, somebody... Uh, contacts us and said have y'all realized that biden won uh the democratic super tuesday and gave no victory speech at all and he's the first candidate not to give one uh a victory speech of some kind well Just, he didn't give uh, did he campaign at all well no but i mean he I mean, won super already... tuesday so he could have come out and said hey here we go right. let's let's four more years of Speedy, it you know we <laughs> four all four more know. years you know hey. we all know I'm where sick wherever wherever <laughs> this meeting takes place people say uh, minimize is minimize oh, speeches. Yeah. I know there. I know you can't be president and never give a speech. Yeah. But yeah. let's minimize it. We mm. got stated in Union Thursday night. Let's put all of our eggs in that mm. Biden basket. Yeah, well, yeah. At least he got uh, some Botox. It looks like. Well, this is this thing he keeps obsessing over about snack companies that we don't. That really <laughs> we don't understand that he's not causing the economy to be in the uh, shape it's in. He's not causing the rise <laughs> of the cost of groceries. It's really those of us that are selling us groceries. And they're and they're taking bags and they're putting fewer potato chips in them. Right. Okay. Shrinkonomics. Yeah. Shrinkonomics, which is a tough sale 
uh, <laughs> from the only thing that seems to be shrinking is his uh, cognitive skills. Yeah. Uh, Daily. Yeah. So so here we go. Here is the Biden back on that again, oh, and for some reason. He makes a reference to a famous Sesame Street character. Here we go. All right. But in fact, some of the small one. snack companies, you won't uh, and think you won't even notice what they're doing. Uh, when they charge you just as much for the same size bag of potato chips, only has a hell of a lot fewer chips in it. I'll tell you what, i tell you who did notice, the cookie monster. <laughs> he pointed out cookies are, his cookies are getting smaller, paying the same price. <laughs> I was stunned when I found out that's what actually happened. All right, so here, here's and he what, got that from the Cookie Monster. Here's what Biden is talking okay. about. Right. Here, here is why what he said doesn't make sense. Cookies are smaller. He just said okay. that they're giving you less potato chips for the same price. If it was the same price, Mr. President, we wouldn't be having inflation. Correct. Our bills would not be going up at Correct. the supermarket. We would only be getting less for what we had paid. Yes. Mm-hmm. What makes it worse? We're getting less and paying more which is part of why your policies are so failed. Hmm. Now, what he's referring to, someone showed him a, uh, it was, a, I don't know if it was a segment on there no, or it was a, tweet, just a tweet, right. tweet yeah, the, cookie, the Cookie Monster put out. Cookie Monster. Cookie. Where he's talking about he's getting less cookies in each bag. And he calls it uh, shrinkflation. How would he say it, Greg? How, would he, how would he read that? <laughs> me hate shrinkflation. Me got cookie. Shrinkflation bad. Uh, okay. <laughs> me cookies are getting smaller. Has anybody <laughs> has anybody told the president that the cookie monster isn't real? Yeah. I think he's got it on authority, the well, cookie monster. Also, the cookies he, was, are a little smaller. he was shocked. They said the people that were around him, when he was shown this initially, he said he was very shocked by this, that, that the cookie monster was bringing this up. Mm-hmm. I would be too. Yeah. yeah. But this yeah. is obviously a campaign effort on behalf of the Biden administration. They're working together. This was a plan. He uses the term shrinkflation. Biden's trying to blame this terrible economy on these corporations just being greedy. It was obviously they work together. I, mm-hmm. I mean, the, the, his response, the Biden administration responded to this tweet two minutes later. It was obvious they were working together. Yep. Well, of course. I mean, I, I don't think. It's PBS. Yeah, I don't think PBS and whoever's in charge of the Muppets now. Um, yeah, they're using the words. They're, they're, they're a propaganda tool for the sitting government. No question about that. But uh, and, and the fact, though, that he you know rambles around. And uh, does you know the, the way to say that you know I understand he's trying to be cute, but it, you almost get in the way he presents it as if he thinks that the Cookie Monster <laughs> is a real thing that has really got upset about the real cookies that the real Cookie Monster he, he's he, he, he could have simply said even PBS and Sesame Street is trying to bring uh, attention to this through their character of the Cookie Monster. Mm-hmm. You know that would sound a little more coherent. Yeah. As opposed to you acting like that you have meetings with the Cookie Monster. But does he know yeah. why there is shrinkflation? If whatever, does he understand how all that? Well, Bubba just laid it out. I mean, yeah. well, you just wait till Oscar the Grouch weighs in. Oh no! no. no. Watch well, out! Well, Look out! Do you know why you don't hear from him? Actually, a conservative. Oh, that's yeah. true. A lot of people don't know. A that. lot of people don't know that. <laughs> uh, we'll be back. Fifteen minutes. <laughs> Fans in the, the trash can. They won't <laughs> let him out. <laughs> they won't let him out. He's not allowed to speak. He's been canceled. (laughs) All right. uh, There it is. Sleep tight, America. There's the leader of the free world. Can't wait for the State of the Union. Uh, We'll be back. I I know the State of the Union. I don't have to be told. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. And I knew Christ, so that makes me worse than you. (laughs) Well, I was a cultural Christian. Don't forget, on my darkest day, you know, I'm from the South Coast. Everybody in the South saved. So on, 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 my, on, my, on my darkest day, I would have told you I was a Christian, but there was zero evidence of it in my life. None. Yeah, well, that's a, yeah, that's a common, common disease, isn't it? It so, is. I had that demonic I guess, faith. I believe the same thing about Jesus that the demons believe. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Why did I decide to bring it back? I didn't. I didn't want to do this. Um, <laughs> We're getting to the bottom of it today, Ken. Thank you for your honesty. <laughs> I just think about... God's words to uh, what Ananias when you know he saves Paul. Paul is blind. Paul's going to come to Ananias, and he says to Ananias, "Hey, you're going to go and heal his eyes." And he says, "I must show that man how much suffer from how much he must suffer for my name." And, That's right. Uh, <laughs> I'm no Paul, but this has been a lot of work. And uh, no, I had a moment with the Lord. I was um, uh, praying in my closet, really seeking the Lord one day, and all of a sudden He came to me and said. Uh, Ken, I did not put you through everything I did and teach you everything I did so you could ski and hike for the rest of your life. 
that was pretty happily retired. <clears throat> and uh, I said, Lord, I'm a Baptist. You're not supposed to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I said, Lord, what do you want me to do? And he said, are you willing to be as ambitious for my kingdom as you were for your kingdom? Mm. And, um, and, it, and it, we came with a warning, be careful. It'll cost you your whole life. That's right. And uh, I wrestled, I got to tell you, it might, I was not, yeah, Lord, absolutely. I was like, I don't know, Lord, I, I'm i sick of, of leading people. I'm sick of being sued and firing people and, and all the stuff. And I, I just, I just want to take it easy. And he said, that's okay, but you missed my full blessing. And so I wrestled and wrestled for a couple of hours before I did. And when I finally said, yeah, Lord, whatever you want, he said, well, I'll tell you what I have for you when you're ready. And a couple of years went by. And when Promise Keepers came, it was sort of shoved into my lap and I, I didn't see it. I didn't want anything to do with it. And finally, it became so, such an overwhelming thing that I came home and told my wife, I feel like if I don't do this, I'm going to get swallowed by a big fish. That's so right. So here we are. Yeah, those those moments, uh, and, and I had a, a similar story. You and I got to talk on the phone a little bit, uh, you know, because I'm, I'm involved in something, uh, you know, building a discipleship strategy for men, which would have to mean that I would actually have to stop talking about how men's ministry is sadly almost non-existent uh, in the American church, but then God did the same thing to me he did to you. Well, what are you doing about it? Because I like to go into the, the places, getting up in the church, having an event, making everybody mad, and then leaving. Uh, and and then God was like, no, we're going to get our hands dirty. You know, you're actually going to, to get in and be and do something about it. Uh, and you're right. Sometimes he's subtle. Sometimes he's not. And my wife came to me, similar to your situation, and said, well, if I recall, somebody told me, talking about me telling her, if God calls you to do something, you have to do it. And that was when she had to grind out through a book she didn't want to write for over five years. And and so my own words were used against me. So, yeah, if you decide to take on men's ministry, uh, you should expect difficulty because of how much change it can really make. And I think that's one thing the American church has missed. Satan's known this all along. Destroy men, you destroy everything. And, that's right. And, and the church sometimes has not been willing to do because it's difficult uh, what it takes to actually reach men, then disciple men. So then when you scream spiritual leader at them, they now actually know what you're talking about. No, and, and your heart will get ripped out and oh. you'll hear stories. Oh, yeah. I hear women's women's stories who have contacted us by the droves about husbands addicted to pornography and going to the pastors and saying they need help. And the pastor saying, well, you just need to try harder to please your husband. Right. And women in tears saying, what do I do? And you realize that it's, it's such a heart issue. Unless we change the heart of men, unless we get them to go after Christ, you know, uh, um, <clears throat> you think about when, when we see things through a lens of sin, especially sexual sin, then men begin to start seeing women as objects instead of human beings. Correct. And when, when men see women as objects, then abortion increases in this country because men say, well, my object is pregnant with an object, and so my object needs to kill the object of that because it's inconvenient for me. And so that's why I always say that when men are locked up in sin, you see a spirit of cowardice on them. <clears throat> yeah. When we get men to repent, we'll get start seeing c- courageous men who will stand up for the Word of God again. But not until then. Politics ain't going to fix this problem. It's got to be the Spirit of God. No doubt. And, Ken, you hit on the word, the key word there, and this is, this is what's wrong with any cultural Christianity, but it's also wrong with men's ministry. First of all, you can't reach men or disciple men if you keep talking to them like they're a woman or a child. Because, That's right. because men and women were made equal, but they weren't made the same. And, and Twenty minutes past the hour. Thank you for being with us today. More of your phone calls coming up. Uh, later in the program, uh, and maybe uh, definitely this hour. So, Bubba, it happened uh, yesterday. Always and forever. So Facebook and Instagram, uh, we had a caller early in the show yesterday saying that they both were down, uh, and that was true. Uh, Meta, uh, they, they, they address this, but they don't really give a, a lot of information on what exactly happened, so they're not exactly quelling 
uh, all the conspiracy theories out there of this was some sort of cyber attack. Said so most people were, you know, they were worried because at first they didn't realize that it was, uh, you know, a worldwide Facebook, Instagram outage. So everybody started thinking, oh, no, I've been hacked and what's happened to my account, blah, blah, blah. But uh, it was um, it was a, a global uh, outage, uh, according to Meta spokesperson Andy Stone. So, um, yeah, they're just saying it was a technical issue. You said some people had trouble signing on. Yeah. Um but they don't really tell you what technical issue it was. No, they don't. You know, I'm I'm happy to say I did not know it was out. So. Yes, uh, I I've never even had a Facebook account that was my own, so I, I didn't see it there. <laughs> and when somebody told me that uh, Instagram was uh, was out, um, then I noticed that it was not refreshing, and, and that was about all I noticed. But but yeah, it's uh, you know when these things happen, obviously it's a great time to your point to ask the question how much of this uh, matters to your life. But then there is the, the that scary feeling of, oh, boy, this is what I was worried about. Somebody's hacked my account, and, and they're off and running. You yeah, know, so, yeah. so I don't know if you're comforted by the worldwide outage or not. You know, they said even, I don't know what this is, the users of the MetaQuest headset, also affected by the outage. I don't know what that oh, is. Oh, no. That's their, that's their VR headset. Uh, okay. Facebook makes one, too, just like Apple. Right, yeah, so... So there you go, um, and uh, but they're they're not really telling us what yeah. happened to Bubba's point. Uh, it says earlier today a technical issue caused people to have difficulty accessing some of our services. We resolved the issue as quickly as possible, and we apologize for any inconvenience. Hmm. They announced uh, one of the guys from Facebook announced on Twitter, "We're aware of the outage. We'll get right back to it." But he announced it on X. So that, that's funny. You know what that was strange good. about this yeah. is WhatsApp is was also affected, and that's how we utilize. That's how we connect with everybody because of the international players. No, and, yeah, you know, I, that's I, actually that's how I interact with like missionaries and people around the world. Or when we got, we got family members out of the country. Here's what's thing. funny. Yeah, is I had one of them tell me yesterday they didn't see my message. And I questioned it. Oh, okay. Liar. And now I'm wondering <laughs> if if it was because of this. Could have been. Yeah. Could have been. Uh, <laughs> uh, now, the U.S. Cybersecurity Agency <laughs> says there was no issue out of the ordinary that would have involved them. Right. So so there you go. So they're saying it probably wasn't a cyber attack. Probably yeah. A, just yeah. a technical it, issue. Yeah, right. Yeah, it yeah. just happened to happen on Super Tuesday. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, you, uh, watch out, Alt, no Alt Adler. There. That's, ah. that stirred Alt Adler. A ah. uh, test run? Who said that? <laughs> A test run who said that elon musk said some along the lines of if you're on x right now it's because our servers are working oh, okay. <laughs> and he met with trump yesterday elon did, did he really yeah we got mm -hmm. elon update right uh, what is that is that yeah. official yeah. Here comes the money. did we walk right yeah. into one there Here we comes go. The money. Hey. how about trump hey. Hey. Here comes the somebody money. say money, 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 money. dollar dollar dollar, dollar. Then you tell you don't matter. All right, so what, what did Elon say? <laughs> well, Rick, it was supposed to be a secret meeting. Apparently of it was course. more public than they planned. Of course. How Elon, Trump say it? <laughs> Elon Musk and Donald Trump has sent speculation swirling that the Tesla boss could bankroll the Republican presidential hopefuls campaign. The two met in, uh, on Sunday in Palm Beach, Florida, along with several other Republican donors. Trump and his team desperately is seeking a cash injection to boost his presidential campaign, according to this story. <clears throat> so do you think uh, this is a good opportunity, what Speedy just said, for you to work on your Trump a little bit? Yeah. Do you want to show us Trump? No, not really. Uh, I do it makes a lot more. Yeah, right. So I hate you Elon, don't, don't not, have the energy for it today? Nah, well, just welcome not, Elon to <clears throat> it's just not in good. Mar -Lago. That's, that's so, the problem. Welcome to Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it, I've noticed, too. A man that, with a thousand voices can handle it. Yeah. Well, I thought maybe you try. I noticed that it, 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 it usually certain hand movements prompt that. Oh, you, you know, got to have that out right, there. Right. So what do you think about, you know, Musk made it clear that he that he did not leave the left. The left left him, kind of like Alt right. Adler, so very similar. Yep, uh, we're the same. Me and Elon are the same in a lot of ways. <laughs> but uh, so he, uh, he he could be a player, you know, with Trump. Well, you know, he's he's got a lot of things going, Rick. I think he's got to be careful in that because, um, you know, he's uh, been squaring, with, uh, square, squaring off with Bernie Sanders a little bit. Mm -hmm. And Bernie has held up some of his rocket launches. Uh, through the FAA and all that kind of stuff. So, mm -hmm. you know, they get a lot of money from the government, so he's going to have mm -hmm. to be careful picking sides.
Oh, the uh, yeah, so uh, so anyway, I'll but I, do I think he'd rather see Trump? And of absolutely. course he would. Oh, well, like we were talking about with this, you know, thing that uh, that Barkley was talking about. Um, I, I don't think anybody who's an entrepreneur and and <clears throat> wants business to do well. I I just don't know where those people are out there that that celebrate a weak economy and uh, and a weak standing around the world. I, I don't know how anybody said. And I'll tell you what, I'd like more of that. Yeah. Well, it's uh, j- just you saw the clip of Biden. I mean, is that that what we're going to go with? Well, I don't understand that. I really don't because I think we all can see that. I understand that Orange Man bad and all that. Orange whole man. world's mad. Orange, Orange Man bad. Whole world mad. Mm-hmm. I understand <clears throat> that you he he's not desirable and and he angers you and you don't like him. But there there has to be some level headedness as as Americans that we can at least meet together on this person running the free world is obviously not with us that none mm-hmm. of us have none of us he have won to super feel, tuesday didn't he make a speech i know but we i, I isn't under, that the first time that's ever happened right and that's i get all I'm the doing, I, yeah. I get all the ideology and all that so what i would what i'm saying is where i'm surprised about the left is i understand that our ideology is just an affront to your ideology. I get it because I feel the same way about yours. Where I don't understand is that you're not demanding a better candidate. That's what I don't get. I don't know how you're not just saying we cannot have this man representing our party mm-hmm. because it, we, can, we can't do this. So I, I don't know why you're not more aggressive on that. Let me ask you this. Hindsight being 2020, we're past Super Tuesday, which is kind of the, you know, where you call right. everybody out. Uh, was DeSantis... Should he have not entered the race at all? In my opinion, yes. I, 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 I don't even mind him sticking his toe in it, but when he realized that Trump was was not in as much trouble as he may have thought he was in, that he was surviving it, and once you saw that, as they were saying, I saw in some of the coverage last night, that he has taken over the party, Trump. It is now his party, and and he has, it's my party. He has designed it to be him. Yeah. Uh, and so one, until that's over, you probably just want to stay out of it. And then if he goes out and gets beat well, again, thought, you can come back and say were, two they, times now? They, they thought they were hot after mm-hmm. the big win in Florida. Yeah. A lot of, uh, you know, won and had some impressive numbers in areas that Republicans normally don't carry. Right. And I guess they thought they were geared up. They had to move yeah. forward with it. But, yeah. you know, now does it... Does it dampen enthusiasm for him the next time he wants to run? Huh, you've you've mentioned it because you're you you know the history of this better than than the rest of us. We've seen some pretty bad dust ups in the past, and they worked through it, and the people ran. And it was fine. Yeah, you know, it'll all be forgotten in six months. Yeah. Bottom of the hour. Phone calls next. Eight six six. We be big. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. And if you don't want a man to act like a child, then stop speaking to him like he is one, because he'll say this sounds good to me. But but we've also taken mm. we've also taken the gospel and we've lowered the power of it so low, men aren't interested because they don't think it really changes anything because we're not preaching the gospel to them. And the gospel has the big R word that you just said, repentance. You know, mm. it, it, you know, right. we're not we're, we're not going into the word of God and saying to people. Jesus Christ, God sent Jesus to save us, but he requires repentance of sin. Not, I took Jesus and I added him to my life. I think I'm going to heaven, but then I just keep living like I always have. That's not the gospel. We want to accomplish things. That's how we do relationship. And I've I've lectured on this a lot. When you look at the history of the world up until very recently, we were all had to do relationship by interdependence. And so you know, we had to come together in little towns, and, and everybody had to bring their skills to make the town survive. Someone had to raise the cow, and someone had to make the iron, and then someone had to make the horseshoe, and on and on. And if you were not a contributing member of society, then you were cast out. And so you, as a man, you had to be a man, or no one had any new need for you. But uh, you look at now with the Industrial Revolution, now the increase in technology, we no longer need to come together in interdependent communities. We can have a relationship without really ever seeing each other, right, over Facebook and whatnot. And so uh, we end up in a situation where our society now is built in the way women do relationship, which is by communicating. They socialize. But that's not how men do things. And so we don't see a point in going to church, sitting there for a couple of hours, you know, going to a nice breakfast and going home. That's not Christianity to us. What, what, what am I doing? What am I accomplishing? What am I making happen? And that's what we have to bring back 
is that we look all around us and we see suffering people. We see people who need things. We see uh, fatherless uh, kids who are not being affirmed by a dad, and we see boys not being taught how to be men. We need to get back in the game. We were called by the Lord to be in the army of God to fight against Satan, not to sit in a pew politely for two hours a week. That's not Christianity. What's up, gang? Thanks for watching Rick and Bubba on YouTube. Uh, this is the COVID era has officially started. Uh, once again, the whole point of watching this is so that we never let the government uh, sh shut us down again, uh, keep us out of church, keep us out of schools. Um, and I've said that many times. Don't let fear control you. I also want to say that, like, if you are a person that has a higher risk in a situation like this, you have every right to stay home. I'm not saying that you have to go out and do things. It's This is just all about personal freedom and personal rights and not letting the government control you and uh, and, and, and shut everything down again. Um, man, it's so crazy seeing all these flashbacks. You forget how bad it was. There wasn't toilet paper. There wasn't food. Uh, we were so afraid. Uh, like Rick said just in the last episode, God does not call us to a spirit of fear, and that's why we're watching this, so that we never let this ever happen again. Thanks for watching Rick and Bubba on YouTube. Be sure to like and give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Most of you probably know him best as the silver tongue one, the man with the golden voice, professional lunch eaters man of the year, the inventor of pizza and a cup, Shakespeare's worst nightmare, and a master of the king's English. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Bill Bubba Bussy! <laughs> Burgess friends, neighbors, associates everywhere, welcome in to another edition of the Rick and Bubba Show, standing up against COVID-19. Somebody say, 35 minutes past the hour. All 10 lines are available. Calvin Speedy Wilburn taking your phone calls. You can join us right now, uh, and he'll set you up ready to go. HelloFresh.com slash Bubba, America's number one meal kit. Uh, we love this product. You will as well. The grocery buying, meal planning, never easier. Uh, saving money, not wasting food, giving some variety to the weekly menu. Uh, it, it could not be simpler. Uh, they just they just send you the meals that you pick. Their chefs have uh, lots of uh, options out there every week for you to pick from. Uh, and then uh, if your subscription starts right now with the code Bubba at HelloFresh.com slash Bubba, Hello. uh, you're going to get one free dessert item per box for the length of the subscription. Dessert handled. It, it's almost like it, you'll know what it feels like to be speedy. Okay, so go right now to HelloFresh.com slash Bubba. Use the code Bubba and one free dessert item per box during the life of the subscription. What I love, love, love about this product, you get the recipe cards. They could not be simpler to follow. 
you also get what you need, the ingredients, and they're pre-portioned, so it's ready to go. Uh, America's number one meal kit. Put them to work for you and get dessert for the life of the subscription on them. HelloFresh.com slash Bubba. HelloFresh.com slash Bubba. Use that code Bubba. You're going to love this product if you're not already in. There's also a link at RickandBubba.com under the Sponsors button. We go to Allen out of uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Allen. Allen, welcome to the Rick and Bubba show. Go right ahead. Good morning, gentlemen. Apologize early for the cell phone. I wanted to talk about Big Hearted Greg yesterday. I didn't get to see the last 20 minutes of the show live, so I caught it last night. Uh, come on, Greg, let me guess. You st- stood up and cheered when little Travis shot old Yeller, didn't you? Mm, yeah, what, what was it Greg was <laughs> talking about? What, what we, was I, about? I want you to just let you know this, and it, it, it does not cast us in a great light. We struggle right now. If you asked us what we did last hour, we'd struggle. Yeah. Uh, so, so no, what did I say? you yeah. had a very insensitive last few hours oh, yesterday. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're talking and about, oh, what, uh, oh uh, what, yeah, I got you, buddy. Yeah, did you have a barbecue and Bambi died? Come on, Greg, let a big man cry. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, we're talking about old Kelsey. Uh, oh, yeah, take him to Squawley. That okay, was funny. That, that's right. Okay, thanks, Alan. Appreciate that. that that's a good one, Alan. Uh, Zach and Hoover, a 104.7 WZZK. Zach, go ahead. Hey, good morning, fat one. Hey. Hey, um, so y'all know how y'all had that recent conversation about how the vibe is when some members are out of the show? Yeah. Well, you know, with Bubba, you know, Bubba's, he's just, he's funny, he's, he's smart, he's, he's sexy, and I think there's just this certain, uh, okay, here there's comes a the certain rub, aroma bro. when he's there. Yes. Aroma. Oh, yes. That, you know, in your subconscious, you have to be on your best behavior. You know what I mean? Oh, yes. Well, and he's, so he's almost like the, he, the dad I, figure. I feel like there's a butt coming here. <laughs> Well, it, well, when you left the show, like all hell breaks broke. Yeah, that's true. And as a listener, that was great. And so, I don't know. I guess I'm just saying I'm I'm kind of glad they're taking Bubba off the show now. You uh, know, Zach. Oh my God. Uh, what that's what a terrible thing to say. I thought he, you were being funny. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wow, Marcus uh, in Florida. Marcus, welcome to Ricky Bubba. Go ahead. Hey, good morning, Rick. Hey, I got a question uh, for uh, Greg. Greg, if I gave you 50 cents, would you be willing to lick some peanut butter off my toast? You know, I, I'll go ahead and say no. <laughs> scared me for Off a toast? Toast. Toast. We did oh, a story the other day. Okay. There people, as a fundraiser, and we're, figure, we're trying to figure out how it's a fundraiser. Right. But they were licking peanut butter off people's toes. Some students were doing Who it. Who does that? It was, it, we did a yeah, story Yeah, we briefly. did a story about it. Yeah, I really. don't see that one. I don't think there's a check available I, I, I for that I, one. I don't either. I think yeah. some. You know, I know there are these these weird foot people. Yes, who I think some sicko speak, got you know? involved on yeah. the fundraiser. Yeah, oh, they got old foot we've covered them. Out there. We've covered them over the years. You know, maybe footies? they're into that. Do they call them footies? Foot. <laughs> they, they might as well. Like, like Swifties. Foodies. Yeah, Swifties, footies. <clears throat> Huntsville, one hundred point three, the river, Bama. Go ahead. Yes, uh, I saw where Peppermint Patty was on. The uh, NBC coverage last night of the Super Tuesday, and yeah. you could tell that every time she talked about Biden, she took a deep breath or a swallow before she would begin to talk. So my question to you guys, and then I'm going to hang up and listen to what you say, but do you think they will actually let Biden and Trump do a debate, and what in the world would that look like? Well, I'm going to say something that's not going to be popular here, and I think the guys will agree with me. Uh, I, I hope if that happens again, and it should, that Trump will use different strategy. Well, the first one was not good for him. I no, think. it was not. He, he tried to run yeah, over. That him. hurt him. That yeah, hurt him. And, it, and it hurt him. And it was too late on the second one. Yeah, you're right. Elderly abuse. It's one of those things where Biden has gotten to the point where he doesn't need any help looking bad. Yeah, you, you you just need to sit. You don't back, need to push him. Just let him go. Let him have a line. And then when he struggles and whatever, you can just sit there and say, "If you are really watching this and you're really paying attention, I honestly don't have to say anything. Just pay attention, and you will see <clears throat> that this man is not ready and cannot go on. He, he's not can, debate. can they? But he won't. He can won't they? Get there him, won't be a debate. Can they get him ready? You know, Trump no. alluded to this before. Uh you know, do they shoot him up, get him ready to go? I think that he can perform on any one given day or event, depending on how they got him pre- prepped up. You yeah. Know. 
Uh, we continue. Let's go to Nathan in Hartsell, Alabama. Nate, go, Nate, go ahead. Hey there, uh, Monk's Grass. Thanks, and, buddy. Uh, I, was just, I was calling about the election, uh, what you all were saying about Biden. I thought uh, well, an interesting thing. I don't know how much I'll follow uh, Ben Shapiro, but, uh, you know, he's made some good points about, you know, outside of all the other reasons why Biden's unfit to be president, you know, he's really kind of abandoned the moderate middle and really gone so far left that it's like Trump has kind of almost gained some of those moderate people back and he's losing in the polls as far as that too, which is really interesting. So he's really yeah. um, losing there. I just think that's interesting. Yeah. The, the, you, you know, too, the, yeah. I don't, I don't think you can trust the polls. Right. Um, you got to be real careful with them. Even like, uh, and this just comes to mind because of one we saw uh, with Alabama district one. They had Jerry Carl winning, yeah, and, and oh, really? by about three or four points. Oh, really? And and then it it ended up being opposite that. So you got to be real careful with these polls. It's all about who they poll, the way they ask the questions, so they can be all over the road. Again, I think you're going to see polling show Trump be way ahead. You get down to vote though, you're going to have forty eight percent of our population vote Democrat. They don't care if Joe Biden, mm-hmm. Lucifer, or whoever is running, they're going to vote. <laughs> right. And and you, he's going to have forty eight percent of the vote. Right out of the gate. And well, Trump's going to have about 45 right out of the gate. So then you're going to have 5%, 7%, 8% in the middle, depending on how they turn out, that will pick the next president. But and, Trump will have to get all of them to win. And and that, yeah. and, and when you play to those, those, those people, 100% right, do you think this is it? This is what's going to happen in the election if these two candidates stand. And I don't think that's still a given. I don't know. But if they stand. If it's Trump versus Biden again, and right now that's all we got to go on. That's what it looks like it's going to be. <laughs> the rematch. Yeah. Those those people that are going to decide the election, this is the question before them. You can try all the other stuff you want to, but it really gets down to this. Do I hate Trump and his personality as a human more than I'm terrified of the state of this country? And the money I'm losing and right, the inflation. Right. So just, is is the inflation, and when I say that, all that <laughs> falls, all the problems that this 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 move to the far left has caused our country, does that concern me more than, than I dislike Trump? And that's yeah, what it's going to come down to. D- does the money, does the border bother you more than Trump's personality? That's right. You're really going to be picking the less of the two evils, I guess. Yeah, as, as happens most of the time yeah. with fallen people in a fallen world. But that that but that specific decision is going to be exactly that, and all this other stuff you hear about is not going to decide the election. Am I more concerned about the state of this country under the left than I hate Trump the person? And these people in the middle that Bubba's talking about, this is why I feel like it is so important. And I'm not saying VP, but it's important what Nikki Haley does next, because if she comes out in support of Trump. Mm-hmm. And tells everybody else that's right there in the middle, I know how you feel, but it's time we get on board with this. Mm-hmm. That will make a difference. Yeah, she basically has yeah. to come out and say, I don't like him either. That's obvious, but I'm more <laughs> terrified of the Biden administration and our future than I hate Trump. Yes. And y'all join. So by her staying you know, in the race, has she played her way into a VP role? Yeah, and I and I think it would benefit Trump. I know people don't want to hear that because as mm-hmm. You know, they want their cake and eat it, too. But in this case, I don't think you can if you want to win an election. Who else would you get? Who else, Who could he get that would help him? I, that's a great question. Yeah. Mm. yeah I, I, that's I a known name I do not know. Yeah. Because DeSantis ain't going to do it. Is no. It? No. Uh, would Rubio help? Probably. I don't think it would hurt. I like Rubio. He may bring some yeah. people in. Uh, not Chris Christie. Not Big no, Big Chris. No way. We'll be right back. <laughs> Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. I keep wanting us to do my Corona, but the fact that we've done my Chihuahua, I'm not as fired up about that because we've already done a parody <laughs> song with right. my Sharona. Right. And uh, so I started thinking, it's really, as we said yesterday and, and the day before, that's what the conference is called. But the specific name is COVID-19. So I thought more along those lines, COVID-19. You know, you know, and, uh, 
yeah, 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 you start thinking about different songs with 19 yeah. in it. What about, you, what about Paul Hardcastle? Oh, no, 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 no. oh that's coming. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whoa. Of course, Bubba knows his name. Hey, that's hilarious. Bubba, Bubba, Bubba Hardcastle. Oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Isn't that his name? It is. That it? It is. Look, like look that. for that in bed music coming your way today, <laughs> oh, my friend. I love it. 19. Yeah, yeah, there were so many mixes of that. Hey, man. I have to admit it. I kind of liked it. I see that everybody came back, and we didn't. We haven't gone to our emergency plan, so everybody still thinks they're well. We think we are. So far, so good. Yeah, foolishly, <laughs> foolishly. <laughs> yeah, we could be toting. Who knows? How about this? I'm going to go this far, and it's bad news for all of you, and it, and it's classic. Because let me tell you what was, you know, you you laugh and, and to keep from crying. You know, mm-hmm. at times yeah, when you're all hassle. Absolutely. So I was talking with mom and dad, and of course they're in the high risk, not high risk, but in the risk category. You know, at 78 and 79, and dad being a heart patient, of course it's really concerning him a lot. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so that when we had them uh, with us over spring break. And uh, went down to the farm and all this. And so mom says so, so clearly, because he was complaining about everything involving how we're supposed to be living our lives. You know, because he says, I ain't sitting in some room. Because yeah. nobody's asked him to sit in a room. No. I ain't sitting in no room. Da, 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 da. Well, mom says, look, we go out to try to get our supplies. He keeps shaking hands with everybody. I know. And so she says, let me tell you what's going to happen. She goes, this is classic your dad and this whole Burgess thing that I married into. Hmm. He's going to get it, but it ain't going to kill him. <laughs> he, he, she goes. He, she goes. I'm convinced nothing's going to kill him. Yeah. She said. She said. I don't know how long this man's going to live, but he'll give it to me and it'll kill me. Yeah. yeah. And she said. She said. That's how this is going to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and and so so anyway, <laughs> I started laughing. So she goes. I don't kill him. Yeah. She goes. She goes. Because I don't know anything. He probably right. only have sympathy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But and I, but I want to tell you this on that note. That I've even got one scenario. I think I've already had it and come through it. Yeah. yeah. You, yeah. Well, you, you know we. <laughs> Back back in <laughs> back right. in January, I, I, I'm one of those very few symptoms people that came on through yeah, it. There it is, and yeah. I don't know who all have infected. You I'm know, sorry. back in January, we I think several of us had a, a dry right. cough. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, I set out a few hunting trips because I didn't feel on top of the game. So I, I don't know. Maybe maybe we've luckily had it already. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I like Look, that. I need that. I I'll need wishful there. thinking because yeah. you know the other information came out that if you're blood type A, yeah. you're and more am, likely to get that. it and die from it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm and a, I'm A. I'm a you're A. I'm A positive. I'm A negative. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, what about y'all? Do y'all know what y'all are? O positive. I have no idea. What's that got to do with anything though? You know, where are we coming up with these kind of stuff? I guess they got to scare you with something new. I'm more concerned that I don't know my blood. Type. Like yeah. I asked Amanda last if night. If you're said, bleeding to death and they need to I give said, you blood, I said, "Do I? Do you have any clue what my blood type is?" And she goes, "That's something you're gonna have to ask your mom if you don't know or call your medical." So person. you've never given blood? I don't because they send you a card with it on it. Now I've given blood, but I don't have that card. I guess. Mm. How about this? That's how I knew. Mm. Yeah. How about this? I go back to this. I want y'all to know it's too. Been a while. I enjoy our group text right now more than ever. Mm-hmm. I said was sitting on the deck yesterday because I have to go outside and get air because somehow I think it's oh, better. Yeah. Right. I can't. I, I can only stay in the house so long. But anyway, so uh, yeah. it, it was um, the um, – and I got to laughing at all the stuff. And it's not important. I mean, it's not, I'm not going to go through it, but it's just the stuff we get to going on. It's oh, just no. absolutely – one time I was couldn't type because I was laughing so hard uh, at, my, at what I was about right, to say back. Right, right. <laughs> well, and we'll we'll have to cover it here in a minute. Uh, Rick had shared with me that Big Love had yes. a fear oh, of martial law. So God, Bubba. I, had to, I had to have a little fun with him yesterday. That, that and was, I don't know how good it went, it went Rick. Fantastic. Or what, so. Fantastic. I'll tell you how it went. Fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> Everything you when, hope. When you said you had to talk him down for 30 minutes every day, <laughs> I thought, well, I can't pass Big, it For those of you who don't know, Big Love thinks we're going, going under martial law. So every day, martial every law day I come home, he says, hey, we're going under martial law. Well, we probably said, are. Who said but, that? I mean, that's kind of funny. <laughs> but I but, keep asking him, who keeps telling you <laughs> that? <laughs> it's probably true, but <laughs> right. still, it was a great Who's his connection? <laughs> right. yeah. yeah. So, yeah, th- this having everybody home. Of course, uh, on, a, on a kind of a serious note, though, like my oldest son, though, he is a victim of all this is going on. He has been put out of work. Yeah. He has no work. And he was like, hey, Dad, I'm getting a little anxious. I mean, I don't know when I'm going to work again. We'll be back more Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.
We're back. Nine minutes to the top of the hour. Thank you for being with us today. Ah. Uh, Wednesday Bible study back today, noon central, one o'clock Eastern on the Rick and Bubba YouTube channel, 2 Corinthians chapter 9 today. Uh, and then the archive will be ready soon after on our YouTube, our podcast channel. So, I, you know, it didn't even hit me with uh, the fact that we're in March now because I'm a little shocked by that, but uh, that we uh, are ready for March Madness. March Madness. Here we go. Uh, but that is uh, March Madness, a big money maker, uh, a lot of hype, a lot of excitement, uh, college basketball everywhere you look. So everybody be talking about bracket, yeah, bracket, 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 this, be bracket, 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 bracket here, bracket there, bracket everywhere, bracket, bracket. Uh, in honor of March Madness, uh, Wendy's is now selling cheeseburgers for one dollar the entire month. Now I want y'all to think about what mm. cheeseburgers used to cost. Yeah, and now we're all about to we're jumping up and down because somebody's taking them down to a dollar. One dollar for Dave single, two dollars for a Dave double, mm -hmm. and that's mm. with the Wendy's out. Uh, you know, Wendy's, and, and this is going to really, really speak to our age, uh, but I guess it should if you've been on the planet for this year, 60 years. I remember when Wendy's was a new thing. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I do, too. I do, too. Wendy's old-fashioned hamburger. I, yep. I did not know what remember to do. Remember when Dave was doing the commercial? Yes. <laughs> I didn't know dry. what to do with yep. it. I remember thinking to myself, Loved how it. can how can life on earth be this good? I was so jacked about Wendy's. I didn't know what to do about Wendy's. I was so fired up. And you went to the same one I did the first time right there on... Uh, on Quintard. On, yeah. Yeah. Quintard Avenue. Yeah. You realize that location shut down now. What? It's not they there. hung in there for years. How many years? How long has oh, it been it gone? Recently. What? Within the past... I say recently. In the past what, few what, years. Was it the one on... 15th in Quintard. Yeah, yeah, right there. Oh, yeah. That was the first one I'd ever eat at. Yeah. Me too. I, I think me too. Yeah. Do y'all remember the Mega Bar? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Had the, it had yeah. tacos. Yeah, so that was I, great. I, Bubba was a huge fan of that. I remember That's we used to tacos. do that for lunch a lot. We used to, I mean, when I was growing up and working outside a lot, we used to go to Wendy's to eat every day. Good. Every day. And then when I got a frosty, I get the taco I like salad. Out. After they quit the mega bar, I went to the taco salad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you remember? You got extra chili to put. <laughs> I remember the first time <laughs> I looked. I looked at the menu and I said a double. Oh, they had a triple. And they, I, don't, and I don't know what happened. They may kill somebody. I don't know what happened. But they, yeah, got they did have a triple. They had a triple. They don't have it anymore. They don't do triple anymore. No. Though. But but the the double the double double cheese with bacon. Come on. And you like you said, me? and then all of a sudden, I'll take a frosty on the side. Mm -hmm. And if I'm really hungry, I may get a small chili. No, uh, oh, I you, forgot about their chili. It's good. Yeah, it's good. Not too spicy. No, but, uh, a lot of meat in it. No. It's good. So uh, yeah, chunk. So so they're it's doing a dollar for the in, entire month and two dollars for the double. I like the ketchup they had in the little bitty mm -hmm. cups. Oh, in the cups. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. That was that was that, around. that was one of the best ways to dip it. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. was just happy the whole time I was in there. Everything yeah. was falling into place. I know. Oh, I know. One of my great Wendy's moments is it has Everybody to do with a frosty. Now? Is uh, Tyler post surgery when he was out of it and mm -hmm. he couldn't really have any solid food yet, and he want all he wanted was a frosty. Oh, I want a frosty. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and we've had the, that that mm -hmm. uh, you know wisdom tooth or whatever. If somebody's high on gas or something, how they act weird. Oh sure, <laughs> guys. He was so out of it, and and we told him he had to order. That poor Wendy's drive through yeah. person. Why would you do that? I, I don't know, but he's like, <laughs> and he was just going crazy, and <laughs> and we laughed. I think I videoed it. And I sense I don't know where it went, but it was about five minutes of gold. Mm. Yeah. And all he wanted was a, a frosty, and he gets up to the window, y'all, and he's trying to communicate. And finally, the lady realizes what's going on, and that we're yeah. we're good people. It's just we we, we got us a good one going here because we're yeah. rolling video. Wait a minute, we're good people. Well, I mean, in other words, I mean, I mean, I I mean I'm, I'm saying we're not yeah. trying to be cruel. It's right. just funny what's going on with Tyler. I guess just because you I mean. say it don't mean I don't so. mean like yeah. good people. Like you just say you know, anything. You're right. You know, need some award or something. But. <laughs> Uh, guys, it, every time I well, pass that, know we're good people. Every we're time I pass people. that Wendy's, I think I think about I that moment. Well, I remember. Oh, gosh, thing. it was good. I, I just thought, I thought, well, my goodness, the hamburger world just went to a new place. Mm -hmm. and, oh and, yeah, and and then uh, so I, dollar dollar singles and two dollar doubles. So enjoy yeah. uh, March well, Madness. You just got to use their world. app, though. You do have to use the app. You have to use their I can't app. Just walk in and order it now. Is this one of those things too, where they've had like a value menu or dollar menu forever? Mm -hmm. So is this something that's always been on the menu for a dollar, and now we're just using March Madness to advertise? I don't know if, I don't know if it's a possible. bigger or the it's the Dave possible. single. I don't know. Well, I, the uh, the CEO, there's also like a, a story dollar. in here that goes even a little further than this. They're about to invest, it looks like, $20 million, I think was the number, 
on new digital uh, ordering boards. That's the app. That's why they're getting people used to that. Mm-hmm. So you can go. That's part of it too. And Smart. Part of this is they're going to look at mm-hmm. uh, what they call dynamic pricing. Mm-hmm. They will change the price oh, of the hamburger that. during the day depending uh-huh. on demand. Wow. In other words, if you hit the drive-through at noon, it could be one thing. If you hit it again at three in the afternoon, it's a totally different price. Did, did any of you on that Weird. note, did any of you ever have someone that you knew well enough? Kirk I'll, Tanner. I'll, I'll yep. be real gray area on this. Mm-hmm. That you knew well enough and they gave you the heads up because they took a job mm-hmm. at a fast food deal. And they said, hey, run by here at closing. <laughs> and whatever we don't sell, we're just going to throw away. And, and, and they could be a bag of a, a, a magic bag come out that drive through for you. <laughs> Is it your concession stand story where hey. y'all had a bunch of hot dogs and you kept telling everybody it was the last one? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was Doug. Doug, <laughs> yeah. that's it. So they, uh, you get pretending you didn't have any more, but you did. Yeah, we got the last one. Right? <laughs> so everybody, and everybody was like, oh, better get it. Better, better get, get it. it. Oh, wait, wait, last one. But, you know, they do just throw it away. You can go buy yeah. if you got an inside track. Yeah. I didn't realize Wendy's, they did the first modern drive through They introduced the drive through first, 1970. Didn't know that. Didn't know that. I don't oh. want to go, Adler. Oh, and then uh, their, boy Dave. their first commercial was 1977, and then their 1,000th store was 1978 how, how, what, the what, dave commercial i can't was say funny because he you was just it. so dry you, but, you know it. loved it oh and then they introduced the salad bar in 79 what about the the big bar what, what did i say mm-hmm. mega bar mega right? bar that some reason that like mega that. good bubba and mickey shadricks are nothing are the mega bar to me they, they love both that. love that when no, he's mega bar and uh that when i did but I, I basically would make a taco yeah. salad yeah i felt mm-hmm. weird about the mega good bar stuff. because I, I thought i thought this was a hamburger place I know. are we mm-hmm. now a mexican restaurant i felt like i was cheating yeah. on the hamburger yeah, i did too and, and i thank you for bringing up their chili <clears throat> i forgot how good their chili was it's yeah. good yeah, yeah. get a little cup of it. Mm-hmm. And I, and I, a little cup. Oh, yeah, that's Never it. Never hurt nobody. Did you ever, did you ever dip your single salad. in it? Absolutely. You dip your yeah, single I in it? Dip it right I, in I, it. I did, too. <laughs> a little bit of chili burger? Wow. Oh, back, back when I didn't really care what I ate and I was younger, I would go double cheese, extra cheese. Good night. I would throw extra Not on extra it, cheese. and it would be dripping off. No, I've never had extra cheese. But <laughs> I, I shouldn't be hungry. I just ate. But now I'm hungry. Now you're taking stress test. I know. But that was a while back. Speaking of drive through the first one I remember... It was, remember when we moved to Oxford, Hardy's was the only yeah. fast food restaurant. Yeah, it's the only one there was there. And they decided to go drive through, but they had this little track that went yes. up and there was a, like a little plexiglass, plexiglass. <laughs> yeah. Careful. And had a track laid in it and a basket because they, you know, there was the dining area was at the side. So you couldn't set up, you right. know, because it didn't have a drive through when it first was built. I remember that. And that, that little thing, like a little train would go up and bring I the food I remember that. I'd you. forgotten mm. all about that. Oh, yeah. I tell you, we, we've seen a lot of innovations that way. Tell you what. In, in the time we've been on this planet. <laughs> I used to order a deluxe <laughs> fries and a chocolate shake. Ooh. The drive through. Did, did you ever wish the Wendy was just a little less thick so you could go with a straw? Or were you good with you the fact that frosty. you had What did I say? You, you uh, just said Wendy. Yeah, 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 I meant a frosty. Yeah. You know, I, I was fully committed to a spoon on it. But I, I looked at it as straw not being an option. Do you like when they do different flavors of frosty or no. just stay with chocolate? Chocolate. Give me chocolate. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't like when they veer off. What about strawberry? Boo. Well, I never had that. You don't have to say boo. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba's in Ohio. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Pass the gravy, please. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Ooh, it brings me to my knees. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. 35 minutes past the hour. Bubba. Rick and Bubba, we're Bubba, back. 866, Bubba. we be big is our number. Them, brother. Uh, simply say Bubba.com. Uh, go there. If, if you're looking for the best security systems available, uh, and, I, and it's not just us saying this, uh, the industry is, is saying that, and they have changed the industry. Uh, the Verge calls simply say Bubba.com the best security system available, and why not? I mean, you're talking about um, you know getting, getting monitored 24-7 with no contracts for about 50 cents a day. Uh, you're, you're, all, you're also looking at the at – the, um, you know, the, the fact that you install it yourself, you're saving money there. And if, if you need help, that, they'll give you some help too. But uh, And it has so many more bells and whistles. It's, it's more fit. Look, if you don't believe the old systems and their false alarms, we were here on Monday at the Broadcast Plaza in Teleport. An alarm was going off that sounded like we were under air raid attack <laughs> from a foreign world. <laughs> yeah. And not one person thought something was going on. Not one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I watched everybody. Yeah. They thought there's also a link at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. All right, let's let's talk a little bit of, of, of COVID. 
By the way, just back to the board games again. Hmm. You you can't be bra- – last night I actually had this said to me by a 21-year-old and a soon-to-be 19-year-old when we were playing Pictionary and they're, they're writing numbers on their picture. I said, you can't write numbers and you can't write letters. Where does it say that, Dad? I said, in the ga- in the let me I'm holding the rules. I said, <laughs> let me tell you who made that rule. The people who invented this game. It's yeah. right here. <laughs> I read it verbatim. Cannot do. Cannot use numbers. Well, it's a picture. Right. That's the whole thing. It's and if you're picture. trying to draw combing your hair, you can't. Stem- that's charades, Brooks. <laughs> Brooks, we're not playing charades. <laughs> you can't point to your hair and start doing a combing motion. <laughs> but anyway, so but we're having Rick, a blast. Get it on. Hey, hey, how about this? We're having a blast, family. Yes, exactly. But anyway, so let's go to let's talk. Here's something uh-huh. I talked to Bubba to to our doctor yesterday. Bubba and I have the same doctor. Oh boy. And and so doctor? W- let me tell you, doctor. Let me, doctor. T- let me tell you the funny doctor? the funny pi- the funny picture he showed me yesterday and said it was his new normal. It's gonna own you. Okay, mm-hmm. All right, Bubba, please look at this right there. He <laughs> said he said welcome to my new normal. This is our doctor. This is him at the office with safety goggles on. And, 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 and he looks that. like he's welding. Oh, wow. yeah, it, it looks like he's welding. Yeah. So anyway, here's and not everybody just hang on a minute. Let, let me get through this because uh, this is <laughs> I remember I remember. You know, do you ever do that thing where you look around? And remember, we've said this a thousand times. Think about the last twenty six years when this phrase was said by somebody on the show, if not all of us in tandem. Is it me? Yeah. Oh okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've had to say that a lot yeah. of times. All right. So here comes the "Is it me?" Do I not recall? And I can still see the woman standing there with a chart in her hand on TV. And she holds a chart about testing. Over here it says yes. And there's a big long list under yes, symptoms. That it, You know what? It's, there's only one block under no. No symptoms. All right. Do not go bog down the testing if you don't have any symptoms. Yeah. You remember that? It was yeah. only one block. Yeah. Over on the no side, you know how many blocks? You want me to go get the chart off my door? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Do you remember over on the no side there was one block? You know what's said in the block? No, no. symptoms. Yeah. No. Right. Okay, now I understand you can have COVID-19 with no symptoms. That, that's symptoms. not the point. Yeah. Symptoms. Right. The yeah. point was we can't handle yeah. everybody who – We don't have enough yet. Yeah. We'll, we'll get to that. everybody. We'll right. get to that in the coming week. Meaning yeah. Yeah. we really need to see those with symptoms first yep. because they probably – if they test positive, we got to quarantine them. What it means is if you don't have symptoms, we don't know whether you have it or not. So we, we're going to have a lot of people that come through that don't have it. You've just wasted everybody's time. Yeah. Does everybody remember the block under no? No. <laughs> it, it was one block. No. It was one, one, two words under no, and it said what? No symptoms. Right. So yesterday at one of the testing systems, and I saw it in both of them, it's like the end of time. Yeah. And I said, are, are there that many people in Birmingham, Alabama that have symptoms? No. And so it was the absolute end of time. They're overwhelming all the test centers. So I text, I got to have somebody help me. Right. I, I, so I text our doctor. I said, am I crazy or did I not see on all news coverage, if you don't have symptoms, we, we don't want you to overwhelm the testing centers right now. Right. Because we, I mean, we shut down a we shut down a highway yesterday, and it's we, also we, yeah. a good idea not to have the testing centers in probably some of the most busy places in town. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. one of the right. reasons why is they probably thought they found a big parking lot, and they is they thought people would look but, in, on but, TV and say, "Don't come here if you don't have symptoms." Yeah, but the toilet paper run should have told everybody <laughs> well, that people are not going to act right. You're yeah. actually you're actually getting yeah. you're actually getting ahead of me. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, Sorry, no. Nikki. no. No, it's perfectly it's perfectly fine. Hey, Bubba, <laughs> Bubba, is it me? Am I the only one that saw no symptoms as a no test? Yeah. I, Don't, I was right there with you. Okay, so I did see <laughs> yeah. that. Okay, I, I understood that, okay. but I, I know a lot of you can't really grasp that concept. Well, there's a reason they didn't want you to do that, and we so saw it, it wouldn't clog everything. And we're yeah. seeing it, yeah. and right. we're seeing now people who have symptoms are are going over saying this line is so long, forget it. Yeah. Well, we needed them to get tested so yeah. we can get them quarantined. Okay, yeah, they're further Correct. along Correct. than Correct. you are. Yeah. Now we had a caller this morning. Well, you can you can have it, not have symptoms. Get that. But that's but not if what you they have say. symptoms, you you're in ahead of the line. You're ahead We're of the line. We're going to get yeah. to everybody else later. Did we everybody need to s- isolate those people, yes. not those that don't have symptoms. The- title and 30 days of legendary home title lock protection. Go-
Let's go. Six minutes past the hour. Thank you for being with us. The gang all here this hour. Speedy, the real Greg Burgess, Eddie Van Adler, Helmsy in the mix, and welcome back, Bill Bubba Bus. Rick, glad to be here, and thank all of you for joining us. All right, you got an update on the Wendy story. Yeah, we, uh, we, we've got a story. This is out of the New York Post today. It says um, Wendy's will be selling $1 burgers after dynamic pricing madness. Madness. Yeah, they said there was a surge in backlash. Uh, Wednesday, Wendy's is now pulling out of that by giving customers a slam dunk deal. Talking about the $1 single, $2 double mm -hmm. uh, now through April the 10th. Yep. Uh, the announcement comes days after Wendy's announced they would be testing dynamic pricing, mm -hmm. where the mod the cost of the menu items could fluctuate, mm -hmm. and part of that was going to be tied into their new uh, digital order boards. Um, Didn't go over this. This was mentioned by the CEO Kirk Tanner uh, on a call with investors. Hmm. Um, that sparked stories that said Wendy's could raise price during lunch. Uh, how much surge pricing increasing would cost, blah, 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 blah. And uh, they went on to say that, that that is not going to be a case, that if they do anything like that, it'll be in small test markets, not widespread. Mm, did not get a good response. Didn't get a big good People response. People did not it. like it. A lot of the ticketing services do that. Oh, the price yeah. of the ticket oh, goes yeah. up. Yeah. Uber Ford does it. Yeah. Wendy's, by the way, has more than 6,000 locations nationwide, just in the continental U.S. Oh, people, were, people were making jokes. They're like, this morning I picked up a Baconator and shorted it and then sold it back, and they were making That's stock funny. market jokes That about is funny, though. Cheeseburgers and fries. Baconator. Mm -hmm. Two thumbs up. That's a good burger. That's now, a good you're, burger. you're taking your life in your own hands. No, well, Greg, I didn't say that it wasn't it wasn't a food daredevil move, but every now and then, you know, just in moderation, just uh, jump it's, on it's not bad. So not bad. On that note, as we recognize the great hamburger, and we all love hamburgers. Oh, so yesterday at the house, you know, it, it was you, you know you're always into the deal in in empty nest mode. You're more likely in the empty nest mode because there's no kids involved to get into a conversation where dinner is not has not been solidified. Mm -hmm. what, 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 are we gonna, what are we eating? You know, and and, yeah. uh, and so do, 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 do. Sherry was like, well, we still have some leftovers from, you know, 50 nifty uh, sissy. <laughs> and uh, I said, no, nah, the king's not eating that. And, and she said, just what? Declared, and, she, really? and she said, what? I said, I, I said, well, I've already eaten that. I said, the king's tired of it. And, uh, and, and she goes, well, the king might be hungry. Uh, and uh, he and made I, a sandwich. I said we don't have anything like the fix or whatever, and and she says well we could we could do some burgers. I said hey, I said I'm in. I said let's let's do burgers. That's great on the grill, and all of a sudden, look, I, I like that we're doing better, and I'm I'm certainly trying to be healthier and all that, but I look and I said what's wrong with the meat? And she said well these are turkey burgers. Mm. <laughs> what's wrong oh, with the got meat? Got a little different look. To them. And I wah, said turkey wah. burgers. Fall apart. I said, like we it. don't do turkey burgers on the grill here. I said, now, if we're out somewhere and we're trying to do better and there's a turkey burger on the menu and, hey, I'll take a turkey burger, fine. I don't know about turkey burgers being created in here in this kitchen that has cranked out some of the finest hamburgers the world has ever known. <laughs> I said, I, I always think that that's, that, the, that's not our call. And she said, it's a call? And I said, I just... I, I will tell you that, that, that the king is unenthused about grilling turkey burgers. <laughs> oh, wow. And she says, well, she says, I think the king might want to get the spatula, which that's what we have, the Rick and Bubba spatula, well, and go out it, there it. and deal with it. And Because I'm making turkey burgers, and, I mean, if you would like to go get you something else, that's fine. But that's that, <laughs> Or I, grab that crown yeah, king and yeah, eat the leftovers. That's right. You yeah, can yeah, eat, one of the two. Eat that crown and see how that is. <laughs> the, bacon, she, the Baconator is still available, and so is Dave's Triple, by the way. Okay, good. Okay. And she says, uh, she says, I notice you've, you've already gotten to the point that you're down to the, the my slippers. And I said, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm really – I'm kind of tired. You're done. Uh, yeah. Well, and, and that, it was it was doing better day, so I had done the show. I had done all the stuff we did with well, a long day, and then 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 I, it worked out, and I was tired. I mm -hmm. was I was I was like I just kind of I want I want dinner to be simple, mm -hmm. and I got excited about burgers, and now they're turkey burgers. When's, raise your hand if you've grilled turkey burgers. I have. never have. Well, well, yeah, they fall right apart. Here, they fall. Thank you you. got to be very. Yeah. Well, you you got to you, you got to do the patties with a little breading and stuff like that. To see, I didn't see that didn't happen. Yeah. Mm. So I walk out there, and Sherry makes the greatest hamburger patties the world has ever known. But that's with beef or venison. 
Yeah. So I walk out there expecting it to hold together without the help you just mentioned. Mm, See, I didn't know about it. Need, I didn't know about help. it needed help. Yeah. And uh, I go, he ended up with turkey stew. So I took, <laughs> I took, the, pile. I took the Rick and Bubba spatula, you know, and I hate those of you that didn't get one out there. And I go to do my typical, they've been out there long enough time to flip. So I go under this weird looking patty that doesn't have the color of a hamburger <laughs> and I go under it and it just slides pieces start sliding around I'm so sorry and buddy. I and I said sure turkeys don't even want to be a hamburger I know. <laughs> they're running it, this turkey's like I don't we don't know what to do we don't know yeah. how to hold together right and I like these patties aren't holding together and uh, and of course that immediately became well you're, you didn't I said no no I'm doing the same thing I do when it comes to beef or venison and this stuff's not holding together. I'm on. big on turkey. I like turkey. But I don't think turkey was ever intended to be ground mm -hmm. and put in a patty. The turkey itself won't even hold together. It doesn't know how to do it. If you'll get some seasoned, you don't have to be seasoned, but get you some seasoned that you like, seasoned breadcrumbs. Okay. And it'll help hold it. Together. It will. It, that will help. I didn't know that. Also, That's how few turkey burgers I've grilled. Also, don't turn them as quick. If you'll if you'll You're leave right. them if you'll leave them uh, and it'll hold together better where you can gently turn yeah. it over and then let that go for a while and then they'll stay together and mix an egg in there too. Well, my Good. goodness, yeah. just yeah. It, it helps all. hold it together. Just forget it. Well, really, at the end of it all, now I've ended up I'm eating bread, eggs, and turkey. Yeah. I like that, but it's I don't like want it to be call that an omelet. Yeah, I'm eating an omelet oh. now. Ooh, but at least zucchini in this one. Ooh. At least Ooh. it's named correctly. It is a turkey burger. Thank you. Which Ooh. brings you back to the point: Do you not normally having a ham burger? That's true. Mm -hmm. I've That's never true. understood that. It was a disaster out there, man. I, I was in over my turkey head, and I was just like. I don't know if I, what these are going to look like when they're done. They're not going to be beautiful. Uh, and then I finally kind of got them to hold together, and then came the next part, actually eating it. So, so we go in, and I'm expecting something. It's almost like I noticed that even the condiments that are normally ready for a hamburger, they looked at me like they were confused. It's like they're like, w w you going to pour some on this? I mean, what is this? And I'm like, I, I think it's a burger. It's in four and, pieces. Uh, and and I, I could feel the barbecue sauce saying, you didn't make it on the grill. And I said, <laughs> I did. It didn't hold together very well. Mm, and um, it's it's almost like I, 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 don't, I wasn't prepared for how it would feel. I, I really have gotten to the point that I can push through ordering one that a place makes. And I guess I, I gave me a false sense of security yeah. that I guess I can go out there and make it work on my own grill. Right. But it felt really, really wrong on my own grill. It's like when I walk out on that deck over to that grill with that spatula, it's almost like that just doesn't belong. Yeah. That shouldn't be there. How'd it taste? Oh, wow. I mean, it was all right. I like the turkey that good. products. Did, I, did, I, it, I, did it taste like a hamburger? No. No, I don't mind the turkey bacon and the even no. like the Polish sausage, the turkey version. Mm -hmm. Cook it on the grill. That's pretty good. The uh, turkey bacon, Greg. Don't. No. Who are you? <laughs> I, me? I don't go are you get me? it. Goodness. But I'm saying if I'm somewhere and they say, "Hey, we got turkey bacon." Wait a minute. I, I thought there couldn't yeah. be anything worse than I'm a turkey burger. I stand corrected. Mm -hmm. Turkey bacon. Yeah. It's tough. Uh, Greg, have you been going to yoga with me? Greg, What's going on? Greg, Good. you're disappointing your minions right now. But right. I'm telling you, the, 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 the Polish sausage type deal, mm -hmm. turkey version, mm -hmm. that's good. Did oh, you, yeah. Did you hear what Adler just said a minute ago? Oh, look, Rick, I'm showing a picture of a turkey burger. They put zucchini in it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, hamburger, Bubba, comes from Hamburg, Germany. That's the first place yeah. they had a meat Right. A, a minced right. yeah, shredded that. beef. But mm -hmm. I think if we're going to have a full Greg likes minced meat. We need to uh, stay with sausages. it. <laughs> if we're going to call a, a a a turkey a burger made out of turkey turkey yeah. turkey burger, yeah. then we need to have beef burger. We need to change hamburger. Beef, beef, beef burger. Beef burger. Beef burger. Beef burger. Deer burger. Mm -hmm. Because I, burger. it's like we change it except when we go to beef. Like if it's a deer burger, I'll say a deer burger. But but burger. but what I'm when I went to bite into it, it's yeah, like my burger. taste buds went. Oh, there's a bun here, Rick. Oh, there's some condiments here, Rick. Oh, there's a purple onion. You must be eating a hamburger. And then when my taste buds tasted the turkey, it didn't know what to do. Mm. It's like it was mass confusion. Those things being mm -hmm. together. I, I just didn't like the experience. I, I mean, it was. Um, I mean, I know that, you know, I'll get a pat on the back for doing better and all that, but it just it just felt wrong. It, it felt like I did something I shouldn't have done. <laughs> uh, but um, but it was dinner. Well, you just told everybody about it, so you've been yeah, busted. Bug up. Yeah. You were wanting to hide it, and it's over now. Well, yeah. you, you can't really talk there, turkey bacon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like Sausage it's man. Not bad. <laughs> we'll be back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.
case that you bog down the line where the guy or woman who's sick says, I ain't sitting in this line for exactly. four hours. Yeah. You know what? I wouldn't sit in it. No, I wouldn't either. All right, so here's, all. So here's what I'd happened. I'd live in the woods. Here's what happened. <laughs> so I go, I, I text I our doctor, and I knew it was available because nobody's up there with him because he didn't have any tests. You know, because the, the doctor's office. He didn't have it. anything to do. Yeah. Yeah. And so, of course, he's, you know, got his mask on and everything. And I said, what? Am I crazy? Is I didn't. Is it me to him? Yeah. I said, is it me? He goes, no, you're 100% right. And I said, can you explain to me who these people are? Do we have this many people in Birmingham, Alabama that have symptoms? He said, no. And I said, well, why are they all in line getting tested? And then Bubba, to your point, he goes, did you happen to catch the toilet paper thing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He yeah. said, they don't need all that toilet paper either. He point. goes, he goes, what it is, is the same reason they got all the toilet paper fear. Mm-hmm. They're terrified. Yeah, and he goes, and they're in the all about me mode, mm-hmm. and they're terrified, and they want somebody mm-hmm. to tell them today they don't have COVID nineteen. Yep. Even if they don't have symptoms, they think so. I'm gonna get tested, and they'll tell me whether I do or I don't. I certainly understand that concept. Yeah. But th- we're gonna have to play together. We're gonna have to play as a team for this thing not to get overwhelmed. Because I'm telling you, with you, all of you that are going to get tested, that don't that don't have any symptoms, there are people turning their car around. When they see the line that is that goes on for infinity, and they say, "Look, there ain't nothing they can do for me anyway," so they're they're just going home. So now somebody can't couldn't get tested with symptoms, and they're the people that we need to quarantine and identify, and we can't do that because people with no symptoms are taking up all the tests, and we were clearly told not to do that. Right. Because think about it: if you have no symptoms and you get a negative. Well, you gonna come back the next week because you may have it then. Well, I started to say if you, if, right. you, if you don't have symptoms mm-hmm. and you have a negative and you stop at Walmart on the way back, you may have it then. Exactly. Ten minutes right. later, so, so and that's why it? that's a, that's another reason why, <laughs> Greg. It was only there was only one block under no, yeah. don't get tested, and it said no symptoms, yeah. and that's why. It, so it, it's Rick, infinity. Here's our, here, it sh- never ends. You got to get tested every week. This yeah. should be our That's chant: right. no symptoms, no test. No right. symptoms, no <laughs> test. And, and save your email on you could have it and have no symptoms. Yeah. We yeah. know we, that. We, we, that. Save we your email that. on that. We They're know that. Gonna, How about this? How huh? about I'm not going to hear you? Yeah. But yeah. Hey, hey, these people with symptoms, hey. they got a bigger chance. They got it. Hey, person, right. person, we got we got to prioritize. That's and it. The people with a fever and symptoms, we got to handle. Those are the ones need to be tested. Hey guys, take your hands off the home keys and listen. Stop typing us and listen. <laughs> you think the doctors didn't know? Because they're the ones telling us that you can have it and not have symptoms. They knew that when they put the stupid card up. They put the card up, not that they – do you think the person holding the card up says, well, uh, Earl from Jackson just emailed me and reminded me that it, you could still have it and not have symptoms. Do you think that person with the card doesn't know that? <laughs> what they're saying is what Bubba just said, we're prioritizing. Right. So, and, and, so what we're saying – because, again, if you don't have symptoms – and you get a negative, you're not out of the woods. Even if you, you'd no. have to come back and be t- – but people with symptoms are more likely to get it, so we want to get to those people first and get them quarantined. It's just a numbers game, and it's a pri- we're prioritizing yeah. to try to get this thing stopped. And those of you that are going and taking up all the tests when you don't have symptoms – and making the line so long that people with symptoms go back home, you're killing us. Yeah. And even if you're, you've been- you're not following instructions. Even if you've been exposed to it, if you've confirmed somebody was in the room right, had it, right. you just quarantine. You still don't get tested till you get symptoms. And, and Correct. Because I've got a friend that just got out of quarantine. Everything was good. The person they thought had it, once they tested that person who had symptoms, it actually came back. It was the flu. It wasn't the other. So they said, okay, y'all are good. Rick and Bubba's in Ohio.
we go. 21 minutes past the hour. Thank you for being with us today. Our number is 866-WE-BE-BIG, and we'll get to more of your phone calls coming up here at the bottom of the hour. Um, all right, so see, this is where people cross lines, and, and I read this to the guys in the break. Christopher, see, you, you go too far. If you want to say I use turkey more than I use meat now because I'm trying to cut down on the amount of fat I'm bringing into my body, red meat, whatever, but, but don't do this. Don't say things like what you're saying here. <laughs> Uh, I've used ground turkey for years to make tacos. I think it's better than beef. Let's see. <laughs> it's, it's better, Rick. But it's not. And and that's <laughs> you you can say I think it's a healthier choice. I, I like it as a nice change up. Yeah. Uh I use I this. I supplement I this into my meat intake. That's perfect. And, and turkey has its place. It's just not a starter. And let's don't pretend like that's the starter that you'd put out there if you had your starting lineup. No. Uh, it's Pretty a good nice, bench player. It, it's a nice bench player. It, Six it, man. It does its job. If I you, like turkey. If you I, keep it moist, you're good. Yeah. But to, if you're going to say that I'm Go eating dry. a taco mm-hmm. that has ground turkey and it's better than a taco with ground beef, see, that's, gonna, that's, a, that's the kind of stuff people fight about. Mm-hmm. You, Do you, you think you your do. taste buds are good enough to where if somebody – Grounded up that turkey and put, it, and put it in a taco and made it just the way you wanted and served it to you. Would I'd you spot comment? It in a second. Would you comment on that? Now, it wasn't any good, or would no, you know? no, don't hear that. Or, I, or is I, it not as good? Or what's wrong with this taco? I would probably mm-hmm. like it just fine, yeah. but I would immediately say, "What did you put in this taco? <laughs> this is not beef." Oh, and they may say, "Well, we did it with ground turkey," and then I might say, "Ah, oh, tastes good." Yeah, yeah. but right. but but don't don't do this kind of stuff. <laughs> that is better. Here, I like it better. Yeah, nice change up. Hey, what, Rick, would you like to have some ground turkey some, tonight? Uh, have I been having ground beef a good bit? You have? Yeah, good. Let's have some. Somewhat healthy choice. Rick, would you like to have ground turkey? It's better than beef. Get out of my house. <laughs> no. yeah. See that, that? Well, you're not being honest. No, because you can't say things like that. Does turkey have its own place? Yes. I like turkey. I'm on L- record. Let's talk Thanksgiving. Turkey's king. Yeah. Oh, I would is. rather have turkey on Thanksgiving than beef. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, just, it's just that day's made for it. Oh, mm-hmm. I got some smoked turkey the other day at lunch, and it was delicious. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. absolutely. Good old just, smoked turkey sandwich. Oh, you can. Yeah, yeah. Is, Speedy, I know this without saying it, that you know this. Which one's less expensive? The turkey? It's got to no, be. Well, it was just yeah, a smoked well, turkey plate, actually. It wasn't, mm-hmm. it wasn't no, no. Turkey. I mean, like if you bought ground turkey versus ground beef, it's cheaper, right? I, I don't think so. I don't know. Is I don't not? know, though. I, I think it's all about the same price. It might be more expensive. Really? Beef's kind of up right now, isn't it? Yeah. Well, well, you're our meat expert. I just buy it. Yep. Don't even look at the cost. I love it so much. Yeah, you're going to have to have it anyway. <laughs> I got to right? have it. Yeah. It's like, yeah. like gas. I'm the same way. Look what gas costs. Really? What am I going to do? Not buy it? <laughs> right. Still got to get to work. I got to buy it. Still got to get to work. <laughs> I'll tell you what's really worse. What about me not working? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now I got a really big problem. Right. All right. Here we go again. Here we go again. Here we go again. CDC, just yesterday, uh, we reminded you that the wait five days if you have COVID, that's now been thrown away. And yep. Wait the, a minute, it's back. When you look at everything, you come to the conclusion, uh, current modern day COVID, uh, it's called being sick. Uh, it's, uh, it's just like having the flu and all the other problems that are out there, and you kind of treat it the same way now. But CDC director wants us to know that COVID shot number 10. <laughs> Is coming this fall. Number ten. Now is this uh is this a new something they've got? Or are they just wanting you to get another booster, the mm-hmm. old stuff? Or new what? booster. Let's hear what he has to say. Here we go. Or she yeah, him. Yeah. We need to see everyone get an updated flu shot and an updated COVID vaccine. We also shared um, on Friday that we in, we expect and anticipate there's going to be an updated COVID vaccine coming this fall, right? So wow. plan now, yeah. right? It's March, so you can think ahead when you're going to get your flu shot in the fall, you're going to get another updated COVID vaccine. And the reason for it is because this virus continues to change. That's okay. We can stay one step ahead of it. We well, have the tools to do it. We just need to use them. So um, FDA, CDC has started that process just like we do with the flu shot. We've started that process to update the COVID vaccine already for uh, this fall. And so we just want folks to, again, already start thinking about that. I didn't know that Bart Simpson was now leading the CDC. Uh, This is Nancy 
Cartwright. I'm the voice of Bart Simpson. You're listening to Rick and Bubba, the sexiest fat man on the radio. Woo-hoo! Uh, did not Mandy know that. Cohen. Mandy uh, Cohen. Bubba, she said get the, shot. Uh, the, the virus keeps changing, but we stay one step ahead of it. That's yeah. right. Yeah, it looks That's like it. People uh, with, with the vaccine are still catching it, I guess. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. And, and and we really, I mean, she mentioned the flu shot. Uh you know that we got to really hold of that one, don't we? Uh, mm, talking goodness. about, I mean, wh- what is the? I think the highest efficacy we ever saw on that was like forty percent, yeah, and that was a record, yeah, right? right? I mean, far as it actually knocking mm-hmm. out the type that was out there. Well, you've hit on the problem that drives me nuts is the propaganda because it can't be anything else. We we talk like if you take the flu shot, and now we're doing it with the, the ever changing COVID shots, you're good. But but that's not true. I mean, people still get the flu because, they, like you said, they they don't get the right strand yeah, on the flu did. shot, and then and then people still get COVID because it does keep mutating, and 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 we but they always present these shots like if you'll just take these, you're good, mm-hmm. and it, that just isn't true. It might help, you, you know, minimize mm-hmm. your chances of getting it. But now in the flu shot, I, I'm not an expert on the flu shot. If they don't get the strand right. Then yeah. it doesn't help you at all, does it? No, you can go and look up. I mean, the right. CDC has their own numbers. You can look right. and right. see what they, uh, how effective it's been year to year, according right. to them. And uh, it's not, I mean, it, it, it obviously helps, and maybe it helps some people who are in high-risk areas, sure. but it's, uh, man, it's, I mean, it's nowhere close to what you think it would be. Well, and you also have to say or things like, you know, make your own decision, be wise, as opposed to demonizing people that won't take the <clears throat> flu shot and people that don't take the COVID shots um because they're not vaccines uh is uh you know it, it, we need to stop doing that too mm-hmm. you may want to say hey this is available to you it's certainly one of the treatments you can uh, you can have for you there's risk uh with shots just like they are all the time uh and you know i think uh, i think our citizens need to weigh out which one uh gives them higher risk of problems actually catching the flu or getting uh, the virus or could potentially the shot be a bigger risk to them and they're situation and their health and their age and et cetera. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know why we can't just say that. We, we always have to treat it like those of you that aren't getting shots are horrible people. Mm-hmm. You're terrible people and you're the scourge of the earth. <laughs> so uh, what, and, let me ask you this. What is the main difference between the way that we have a flu shot and it, uh, you know, treats getting the flu versus uh, polio, which we wiped it out. Smallpox yeah, yeah. pretty much wiped it out. Yeah. Well, uh, how how what is the difference? Why don't they? Are they all viral, right? Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. I, I guess one the the others mutate and are more apt to mutate maybe than those past yeah, ones. Yeah, obviously uh, it is. Yeah. But don't that, we still have the same type flus every year, like A and B or whatever the strands are? I, I don't know why it's not more in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's that? Remember we had the swine and the flu. bird flu. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Now we got RSV. I'm not sure is that different than the flu. Yeah. Uh, here is uh, from November 2020. Uh, CNN reporting the uh, vaccine is 95% effective. Those numbers dropped and dropped and dropped, and then it became boosters, and then it became every year, and now it's it's just about making money. We're at shot number 10 now. We'll be back. Your phone calls are next. 866-WE-BE-BIG. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. children um so bubba speaking of children so i told you that uh, that brooks big love burgess now you know our, our kids all have these different personalities and our you know you you, you know Bro- young broderick has been convinced that brooks can see the future you know right, that? right right and uh, and I don't, I don't know where and he says he doesn't know he can do it but he but he can <laughs> so every time he says something pay attention you know as a matter of fact brooks and some of you that were wondering brooks actually was credited last night with Tom Brady going to the Buccaneers. Really? Okay, because, it, and what Brody says is what it is, is is Big Love veers into these things. You know, he doesn't make some big, yeah, I, he, I have a proclamation. Yeah, he doesn't sit down like Kreskin. No. And where he just hits it. Yeah. yeah, like, for yeah. instance, he said. Like, that, he'll misspeak, and then that becomes the That was theater. it. No, that's uh-huh. what it was. Yeah. He said, he said, Dad, you know what, you know what, uh, yeah. what Brooks said to that? So what he said, he said that he, he asked me that uh, if Tom Brady prayed for the Patriots or the Buccaneers. And I said, no, he did not. He said, Dad, yeah. Brooks mentioned the Buccaneers and Tom Brady in the same sentence. Mm-hmm. I said, you sure he was just not talking about the Patriots and the Buccaneers? He goes, he goes, he goes, he called it. 
He said, that's when I knew it was going to be Buccaneers. <laughs> so anyway, so then for some reason, the when we start the week, the week of COVID-19, uh, right. every day. The new normal. Every day when I would come home, Brooks Big Love Burgess would say, hey, we're under martial law. <laughs> and I would say, hey, son, we're not under martial law. We're, who's telling no, it's, it's out there. That's we're, I, we're, 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 we're going under martial law. And, and, and then I'd hear, like some days I would come in and I would hear from the back, Dad, will you go tell Brooks we're not under martial law? And that would be young Broderick or Sherry would go, will you go talk to Brooks? He thinks we're under martial law. I mean, this was happening every day. Okay, so Bubba found out about that. Yeah, and, 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 and we and not a, to miss an opportunity. And we I, had a brief conversation that maybe we should have a little fun with Brooks. Yeah, right. 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 And uh, so yesterday – I sent Brooks a text. Oh, boy. And made it look like I was sending it to Rick. Mm -hmm. So he would think he accidentally got it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I put, Rick, just talk to my guy in D.C. He says, plans are in the go mode. Lockdown should be announced by Friday. (laughs) (laughs) They're going to say 14 days, but the order is for 40. (laughs) Code name, Hen House. (laughs) I can't believe this is really happening with a series of question marks. <laughs> Nothing for a few minutes. No. And then I get a response. This is his son, Brooks. But thanks for letting me know. I'll give him the message. Oh, oh no. And then I put, oh, sorry. Never mind, Brooks. <laughs> so, so oh, I, I got him and of course, me. of course, you know, it, it, I, so I, I didn't know when Bubba was going to do this. I knew he was going to do it at some point. Yeah. And then you go on, you kind of forget about it. Yeah. And so, uh, so I was actually <laughs> like coming into the garage and mm-hmm. all of a sudden on my phone, it is the text that Bubba just told you a picture of it from Brooks. Dad, do you have any idea who this is? So that must have happened before you even told him who you were. Oh, you know, Dad, do you have any idea who this is? And, of course, I immediately no, no. He didn't have me in his address, Bubba. Right, right. And, and so he didn't have Bubba's contact. Mm. And so you see Brody come in underneath and says, this is just not real. They can't do that. So now the argument starts. Oh, no. And, uh, and, then, and then he won't. How Bro- hard were you laughing when he said it? I, I, couldn't, I couldn't believe it. And then, then Brody's like, there's no way to enforce this without this turning into Hunger Games. So now, <laughs> so now, now the whole conversation has started. And I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm in there laughing. And, uh, and of course, just and like. you know Murph's in on it. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, they've already got Murph going somewhere. Else. How about I walk in and just, and it just, it's now become so nonchalant. <laughs> Sherry goes by with a stack of towels and says, please go talk Brooks down again. He thinks we're under martial law. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I mean, and, I, and I'm just like. It's, I, like, it's like you water the dog, isn't it? <laughs> right. And has a dog gone out? To Brooks. Has a dog gone out? He's got martial law going again. <laughs> and, and see, Brooks, is, when he's, now he's returned back to his original room, well, his last couple years of high school, his room also has like a little, just a little area where there's like, you know, the air hockey's in there mm-hmm. and there's a little TV thing where they can go up there and sit. So he's got an area he can wall himself off from the rest of the house. Right. Right? And so every time martial law comes up, I know where to find it. You know what I mean? I, I go book and he's like boarded in there and like, like that. And I said, what are you doing? He said, filling up my little refrigerator over here in case I need it. <laughs> and I was like, Brooks, we're not into martial law. No. Hey, did no. you see it? Who'd that text come from? <laughs> Who is that? And then I guess Bubba had, had and that made it even more. And so I, Oh, that, see, that even adds to it. But this made it even better. <laughs> Never mind. So Sorry. my, so my first, mind. here was my. Thirty-five minutes now past the hour. The Rick and Bubba Show. Eight six six. We be big. Thank you for being with us today. Phone calls. Uh, Coach Hams is on the phones at 866-WE-BE-BIG. Lines are available. We talk to you, America, right now. Uh, if you are in, uh, I'm talking about the weight of debt. Uh, the weight of debt. It's weighing on you. You came into this year. It's still there. You can't get past it. Well, if you're in one of these high-interest loans or high-interest credit cards, if that's part of the debt, they don't want you out of it. 
Uh, they, they'd, love, they'd love to keep you in that uh, as long as they can, and it just feels like you just can't find the daylight. Well, you need our friends at ZapMyDebt.com. This is a, a company called Pivotal Debt Solutions, uh, but we've got a URL set up that's easy to remember, <coughs> ZapMyDebt.com. Now, this isn't the old school debt relief company that strings your debt out for years. It's not that. The, they have new aggressive strategies that can end your debt faster and easier than you thought possible. I want you to think about this. You can now cut or even eliminate interest, find programs that write off balances so you owe less, stop those threatening phone calls. You can do it all without bankruptcy or even another loan. In short, they find every solution possible to end your debt and end it, say it with me, permanently. Permanent. Permanently. Permanently. So Permanent. before you do anything else uh, today, why don't you go to Zap? MyDebt.com, and you can talk to them for absolutely free. Okay? ZapMyDebt.com. Also, find that link at RickandBubba.com under the Sponsors button. You know, it's one thing to talk about the problem. It's another thing to try to find a solution. Oh, boy. All right, so here we go. Uh, to the phones, uh, let's get started. Uh, let's start with Kurt in Birmingham, Alabama. Kurt, Kurt. 1047 WZZK. Go ahead. Good morning, guys. Hey, buddy. I actually have... Two questions. Uh, first, before the end of the year, can we, and I say we because I was a participant, finally get the million YouTuber plaque? And second, can uh, we get an re- uh, update on Frenchie? Yeah, first of all, it's 100,000, not a million. But, uh, but the, the, the button is elusive for us. And, and, I, and I'm not saying that it's okay, but you also have to understand how it actually is. You have to understand, we got on YouTube and we got to rolling. A lot of this new stuff, we really have been pioneers and evolved with it. And there's good with that, but there's also bad. That means that YouTube's rules about copyrighted stuff mm-hmm. and uh, this has got this in it and that's got that in it. You got to get us something signed off on this. And oh, one time you showed that tornado footage and that's actually from here and there. We almost were already throwing content on the YouTube channel, and then we're told what the rules were. Yeah. And then now we're trying to work backward, and it, it really may be a mountain that's impossible to climb as far as getting that button. Mm-hmm. Uh, as far as Frenchie, uh, the last we heard, uh, he was doing well. Uh, Sherry talks to his mother from time to time, and every now and then on WhatsApp, uh, Helmsley mentioned that a minute ago, I'll hear from him. Uh, there's been, really been no change uh, in his spiritual uh, beliefs, uh, but uh, as far as how he's doing as a human being and keeping in touch, uh, uh, he seems to be doing well. So, and still fondly remembers his time here and all of you out there. Y'all, y'all really treated him well, and he has not forgot that. Uh, Matt in Anniston, Alabama, little Calhoun County, checking in. Matt, go ahead. Hey, hey, good morning, hey, hey. guys. Love your show. Thank you. Congrats on thirty. Thank you, buddy. You got it. Hey, listening to the clip of the woman from the CDC just a few ago, what do you read into, or am I reading too much into it? Every time she mentioned the COVID or the flu, she said COVID vaccine, and she said flu shot. She never said flu vaccine, and she never said COVID shot. I mean, am I just looking too much into that? What do you think about that? Well, I don't know that you find a conspiracy there. Adler will help us with that, but I do think that they may they just may be accustomed to calling it a vaccine, but there's no doubt there's no difference in the flu shot and the COVID shot. They're shots, both of them. Mm-hmm. They're they're right. not vaccines. Right, right, right. Maybe it. maybe in the way that it tries to work, uh, I don't know, but it's uh, they, they definitely are called two different things. Alt Adler, right? Yeah. Um, at, at one point, they're trying to combine the COVID nineteen and flu vaccine into one shot. Um, oh, I bet that'd be great. One thing that uh, has been talked about is that this new... They got a lot of that vaccine they can't push. They mix it with the flu. <laughs> mix yeah, it with absolutely. <laughs> hey, people are having a hand come out of the side of their head. They'll be fine. <laughs> they lied to us about the safety of it. They lied to us about the effectiveness of it. Uh, and going back to that play button thing, we've reached out several times and we've gotten responses, but it's always been like an automated robo chat. Like, oh, that's great. Well, let us see what we can do for you. Um, and like that last segment and this segment probably won't help us. Oh, really? As far as getting our, uh, our I thought that was me. I thought button. that was me pleading, like let us let us know what we need to do. 
No, no good pleading. I, I don't think they like our topics very much. Uh, on, oh, you're talking about COVID YouTube. and all that. Yes. Oh, okay. But I mean, we got the numbers. We Why got the numbers. Get, and there's I other thought you're supposed to be it. rewarded I, for yeah. the number. They have stipulations. They're like, if 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 you go against our guidelines in any way, we don't. If we, we don't you like won't you, get it. So yeah. basically, if we don't like you, yeah, I might have to make it out of uh, paper mache, guys. I say we do that. Yeah. How, how can stick it? How can they like Bob and Tom and not like us? I've never listened to Bob and Tom. I haven't either much. So I, I don't I've know heard, what they I've heard some about. best of stuff or whatever. Yeah. I'm, probably politically they lean a little more to the left, but they can get a little rowdy. Oh, yeah. But I guess they don't mind rowdy. I don't, I don't they, think they mind rowdy. They don't mind rowdy. rowdy. Yeah, just yeah. don't say anything about... Uh, anyway, okay. Yeah. Uh, Brian in Albertville. Brian, go ahead. Welcome. Thanks for listening to us on Z93. Go ahead, buddy. Oh, uh, yes. I was just going to say if you had heard that Beyonce had put out a country album now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Have you listened to it? And uh, <laughs> I, I've listened. I've heard what was on the radio. Now I've heard what was online, and it's pretty, pretty bad uh, language-wise. Really? Well, yes. yeah. So, which you know, there's there's country music songs though that the language can 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 sometimes be rough, but the topics absolutely can get a little rough. Uh, but you're saying she's being a little more crude than normal. Oh yes, yeah. If she had just written a song about getting drunk and chasing women in blue jean shorts, she'd have been fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we Country song or <laughs> We continue. Uh, Ron in Mississippi. Ron, Ron go ahead. Did y'all hear about Beyonce? Good morning, guys. Hey, hey, look. Uh, you were talking about the uh, vice president president uh candidates early and i think nikki may have shut the uh door on that she said she wasn't going to vote for trump probably do a ride in and also that uh she wasn't interested in that but i wanted to get you guys opinion on a name i don't i don't think i heard you say it but i really think he he speaks a lot to republican values and that's rick scott i really like him i think he would help with the minority vote I think he would Tim help Scott. Trump a lot of ways around. You mean Tim I just Scott? I see what you guys. You mean Tim Scott? Tim Scott. I'm sorry. Yeah, yes, not, not yes, Rick yes. Scott. Tim yeah. Scott. I'm sorry. That's fine. Yes. Yeah, I mean, definitely a good choice. Uh, you you look at um, yeah. You know what, what's going to help uh, as far as get those that are going to decide the election, and I also wouldn't put a whole lot into what Nikki Haley said when she was mad. You know, if you've ever been around women, when they get mad, uh, but when when laugh. when the whole uh, RNC gets together, and, and Bubba's given us examples over the years of really horrible fights. He, 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 you know, he'd go back to Johnson and Kennedy getting on the same page, even on the Democratic side. Um, but you know, the Bushes and and the but then one and of them shot the other one. Yeah, well, that's true, uh, <laughs> Bubba. Uh, the, that 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 should have been Adler. Uh, but yeah, you know, don't way too much into when political opponents in a primary start trashing each other. It's magical how they'll come together. Reagan and Bush were yeah. as uh, against each other and and uncivil with each other as anybody yeah. before the, before Bush became Reagan's vice president. Well, and if everybody will listen, Greg, right now, the vice president and the current president, the things that Kamala Harris said about Biden. Yeah. Yeah. She oh, said, yeah, that's not, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. She uh, basically uh, called him a racist and said that women who accuse him of stuff need to be believed. Yeah. Right. Yep. But she sure did get in line when it was uh, an opportunity to be vice president. Yeah. Right. So she apparently didn't believe he was that handsy or she wouldn't have signed up, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's right. I being wouldn't a think woman, you would. Being a woman. I wouldn't I'm think not going to call somebody, uh, you know, Mr. Hansy, and then agree to meet with them and be in private meetings all the time. I, I wouldn't think so. If you really meant that. So is Kamala Harris, by the fact she agreed to be the vice president of Joe Biden, say that these women were lying? Yeah. At one time, well, she, there, there's one other option to that, and I won't mention it. Bubba, you are, I mean, <laughs> creepy <laughs> Joe. <laughs> uh, Josh in Birmingham. Yeah, nickname there. Yeah, you're right. There he goes. I knew it. There he goes. Josh, go ahead. How's it going, fellas? We're good. great. Good, buddy. Uh, I was a Wendy's triple guy for a long time, but a few years ago, I went down to the double, and everybody thought I was trying to do a little bit better, but it was just so I could make it fit in the chili cup. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> they were they were praising. There's a strategy behind it. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it easy to get in that chili. Cup. Yeah, and that'll fit. I, I get that dip completely. It, dip it, dip it. I eat totally it. get that. Dip it, eat. Dip All right, eat. we'll be back. We'll continue to work through the stories of the day. We'll get more of your phone calls coming up a little oh. bit later on.
Check the record. Did you see what the Veterans Affairs Office was considering doing? No. We'll talk about it. All right, we'll hit that when we come back. You got the Rick and Bubba show. Thanks for being with us. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. My first deal. Sorry, Brooks. Never mind. This is this was my first deal too. Delete this text. He so said, "Dad, that was Bub." I said, "Yeah, that was Bub." But don't pay any attention to that. And then I just worked, turned around. He was he just sat there and he just looked at me. I said, <laughs> "Nothing to be upset about." <laughs> and I just and I he goes, "No, are, are you? Is that is that like a joke?" I said, "Oh, well, uh, I said you weren't you weren't supposed to get that." Yes, you're right. That was a mistake. Bubba was actually sending that to me. <laughs> so, what? So to mess with you, to mess with you? Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Let's just say that Bubba's messing with me. I said, nothing to be concerned about. And then I said this, today. Dad. (laughs) Dad. And then he'll do that thing where he starts, Dad. Dad. And he starts doing the laugh. Dad. Dad, Come on. Hey, let me off the hook. Hey, Dad. Dad, come on now. Seriously, man. Seriously. And so I go out. And then then Brody, he's like, he's found a podium. We cannot allow martial law. (laughs) Like yeah. that, you know, and I'm like, he's already given a speech. Yeah, I, I, it, it'll be Hunger Games. <laughs> and, I, and finally, I just said, and then finally, you know where the pressure comes from. Will you please, from my wife, will you please shut this down? <laughs> have you had all the fun you want to have with this yet? And I said, yeah, until tomorrow, and we get talk about it on the show. <laughs> Bottom of the hour, more Rick and Bubba coming up right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. So, Bubba, one of the things that we have uh, talked about, and we talked about it on the show yesterday, was patient zero. Yes. Uh, the, we, we we breezed over it a little bit yesterday. We really didn't get in depth. Right. And that is, you know, we're doing everything that we need to do. Uh, we're giving Adler special protection, even even more than, than the others. He's but, isolated inside our isolation. Because yeah. his wife is scheduled to give birth uh, in the middle of next month. And um, so we certainly don't want him to not be able to be there with his wife and his child uh, when that child comes into the world. So, uh, so you know, because if he gets quarantined, he won't be able to be around. Him. I no, could no. be wrong, no, no. but I think he is still bothered by some of the things that we're doing. And mm-hmm. at some point, I would like to hear him voice those to us. Okay, okay. Because I think there, I think we're still doing a couple things. Really? That, yeah, I, I, I may be wrong on this. I right. just, I've seen him even with me, like <clears throat> kind of roll his eyes on some things I'm doing. Really? And I think he's doing it with y'all too. Really? He's been a little uppity about it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, Greg, Greg just did something in the hall that I think you could spread coronavirus <laughs> oh. that way too, if you know what I'm saying. I think that might kill I didn't yeah. coronavirus. Yeah. Matter of yeah. fact, now you're getting crazy. It, it matter of fact, our nose. Matter of fact, when I ran into that cloud, I pushed him in my office to see if it might help. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, but anyway, so huh. so but but we we have said, and only we would would actually take this and talk about it because everything here with us is like, what do you what, what do you think about this? Yeah, and, and, what about that? Yeah, that's right. And huh. so right now, and I can't believe Speedy hasn't already said it. Would you rather be punched in the face by DeAndre right. Wilder or, yeah. have, or have COVID nineteen? Well, yeah, I'm right. thinking that's about always it. Yeah. thinking about it. But anyway, we 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 hope that no one here gets it and forces us all into quarantine. Right? Do right. you? Well, yeah, we do. But we start, but we couldn't help I think it. Bubba's kind of hoping it. But, no, Bubba ain't yeah. come after two weeks. <laughs> Heck no. But but here's the thing: we started thinking, who is patient zero? Who would be the member of the team well, that would be most likely to get it? and yeah. why? And and why? Yep. yep. And so and I think we need to put our predictions down, just like we predict the game scores, I, I and, oh, really? and then, and then yeah, hold ourselves accountable to it. Yeah. Well, then, All if right. this is the case, we need to go <laughs> through around the room yep. and find out not only what you're doing each day but what your family members are doing each day and that's why i think i'm probably going to be the one that brings it in here well you got the hospital tie that's it that's the one Boy, the reason. hospital that, put, that definitely fact that my wife, and your kids are running all over town but mm. my kids are not running all, <laughs> all over town, over town. <laughs> by the way they're 14 and 12 so they're not just running all over town <laughs> yeah, be tougher than um, mm-hmm. but they are going to tennis and, mm. they, and they are but they're only doing mm. it in small groups mm. right um, but it's the hospital connection i think the hospital is what everything. i'm more scared than yeah, anything absolutely. Uh, i think it's going to be me yeah, uh, yeah. I got I got boys that don't think anything ever happens to them, and you are in the same case. Yeah. And yours yours being in college too, but I mean at least you can control. Hey, you can't go there. You can't drive. You know what I mean? Well, it's I can't like, control Amanda going to work every day, right. five days a right. week. Right? Yeah, but at least she's an hospital. adult. As I know? said yeah. yesterday, yeah. I'm trying to get my sons who are at no risk whatsoever of it right. bothering them. Yeah, to say don't kill daddy. That, yeah. that, that's yeah. it. That's yes. my new thing. Yeah. Don't that's kill. My concern. We have a new slogan at the house. Don't kill dead. See, I'm yeah. sitting pretty yeah. good. <laughs> you are. You are. But, you are. But you I, have only underlying health issues. Oh, I don't. And then going out, uh, 
I, I only <laughs> think I, I go out for, to get supplies. I'm the guy that does that. Yeah. 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 That's it. Yeah. So, and that so, could get and, any of us. And your type A blood. As I am, as is Rick. I saw that guy talking back in your office minutes because he 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 kind of blew up. He hole. wasn't buying into. Yeah, he he was saying he knew what he was talking about, little, or he sounded like. Well, look, he did. we don't know. We don't. But know. it's all speculation at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Negative. Yeah. So at least you know your blood type. You know what I do with these. Hems, kind of if you're bleeding out, we don't know what to give you. We don't know who to straight pop you with. Yeah. I go back. It's nine minutes to the top of the hour. You got the Rick and Bubba show. Thank you for being with us as the train rolls on. We do have a quick look uh, at the current state of America. Come on with this. Bubba is wokeness. It's more and more unreasonable and bizarre. I could not believe what you're about to talk about. Well, we have a woke Veterans Affairs memo that was floating around calling for a ban on the iconic VJ Day photo of a sailor kissing a woman in Times Square. They say, why should we do this? Why should we ban that picture? To promote awareness about non-consensual acts. Does this nurse look like this is non-consensual? Not at this point. Uh, I don't. I don't see that. Did they ever discover who they were? I know there was a big search trying to find out who they were. Oh. Seems like a few years yeah. ago. Um, a story about that. Mm-hmm. Well, I will say this: uh, Dennis uh, McDowell, I guess is his name, um, said that uh, that that will not be happening. Oh, he is shooting that down? Yes, but somebody was trying to, which means well, they'll be back the, again. The fact that this would even be mentioned, th- this is a joyous celebration of people <clears throat> at a time that thought maybe the world was about to end. The world is at war. We've got these horrible, evil empires. This guy has been out there serving the country in a very dangerous situation. We all keep waiting for victory by the allies to be declared. And 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 then here he is <laughs> home that, and, and they're celebrating. It looks like a nurse. Is that a nurse? It looks yeah. like she's in a nurse outfit. She's not grabbing him back. No. So I think they always thought that this was just a random kiss that somebody gave somebody. Well, you know what? I'd always heard that. I, I don't know. I think well. I think I think the guy earned his kiss. <laughs> yeah. And I don't think it did. Rick, you can't say that. Well, I will say it. Uh, Can't say that. I mean, because it's uh, it's it was it a consensual act? Yes, it was. Hmm? In my mind, I think it was. I mean, how did they know from the picture that it wasn't? Did the woman ever complain about it? Did she ever say that was over the line? Did we ever figure out? I think they were trying to find out, or did they ever name at least one of them? So this photographer was going around capturing spontaneous events. Um, He didn't have the opportunity to get the names and the details. He was shooting lots of rapid pictures. Uh, it doesn't show the faces of either people involved, and numerous people have claimed to be the subjects. Oh, oh really? <laughs> of course. <laughs> That's me. I was tearing that, that sugar was me. up. That was me. But, Bubba, this was so offensive, Life magazine used it. Yeah, I know. I mean, come on. Well, again, we're we're trying to go back and judge history on today's values, right or wrong, how they have changed. Yeah. Um, and that's always hard to do. Right. The VA, by the way, they have apparently they have this picture in many, many of their facilities, mm-hmm. and uh, they said that it will stay stay there. They said the person that that tried to put out this memo also suggests that we need to remove all pictures of Elvis Presley kissing women. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, that uh, when well, they were going to be a lot. Well, removed. think about that. We used to couldn't show him below the waist, right? So, but think Listen, about he but, would kiss people in the audience. I mean, yeah, and I'm yeah. talking about. You're like, well, Elvis, you know, we're all here. <laughs> but I go back to, but you're actually getting to the analogy. Why did Elvis kiss these women? Because they were screaming and jumping up and down. Hey, kiss me. At, at his appearance. Now, they weren't saying kiss me or can I have a kiss, probably. This guy comes in, he sees the celebration, he sees this woman jumping up and down and applauding him, and he grabs her up in the celebration, and gives her a kiss. What's the difference between that and Elvis? No. Nah. Kiss is a kiss. Yeah, and, and a celebration. <laughs> and a celebration. And you see a, a female that's that's exuberant about you and saying thank you so much or I'm so glad you're here and 
hey, this is over, and you know, <laughs> it's like a New Year's Eve kiss. I mean, who who out there? Hasn't kissed somebody when when the clock struck zero that maybe didn't ask for it. Hmm. You know it. How many of you have stalked somebody at a party thinking right. when it strikes midnight, I can yeah. I can grab some sugar there and there's nothing they can say about it. <laughs> yeah, right. Huh? Yeah. That's for a kiss on the cheek and turn. <laughs> so, yeah. Sorry. Bubba Do can speak I? to that. Where kisses on the cheek. You know, can I go saw back. a yeah, picture. Yeah, they can go wrong. Can I can saw go. a picture of Kimberly Locke performing on stage the other day, and uh, it, it's funny because there was quite a crowd there. All right, hanging I'm, off the upper deck. Uh, by the way, I want to say thank you, Brad Ryan, who uh, wrote the Rick and Bubba theme. Mm. Adler, I'm sending you a picture. What a great idea. Here's something he and his wife did. I guess they're in a museum where this picture is. Yeah, they and reacted. It'll, reenacted. It'll, it'll, it'll take a, a – a, I, I guess a lot of people do this, but he and his yeah. wife reenact it. Uh, Brad and Jenny Lee oh, Ryan. Oh, I like that. Who uh, who both are – you know, you hear them in the Rick and Bubba theme. By the way, she is the one that does the Rick and Bubba's in the house. Mm. And Brad, of course, and his brother are the ones who do all the Rick and Bubba stuff in the theme. So, uh, so I guess this is a, yeah. a, a museum somewhere where the. If the, I saw it on the wall and I and Betty and I were oh, there, I definitely want to Let me tell reenact. you something. Yeah. Uh, let me tell you something in a second. While I'm waiting for that to come through, here in tw- uh, 2005, they had a gigantic sculpture and statue huh. of that. So I guess in 2005, it was okay. That's weird. Why is that uh, weird, Greg? It's an iconic photo. Yeah, but what are you that talking giant about? like that. Yeah. It's called a statue, Greg. It's a sculpture. I thought, I thought, like a, skirt, I thought that was like heart. a balloon. That was like it was in the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Is that a sculpture? See, they made her one in blow-up. Uh, that right. ain't good, Greg. That's not what they did. That ain't nice at all. Take, uh, that's take not a what they did, Greg. Yeah. That, all right, here's that picture. All right, so see, this oh, is Brad okay. Ryan and his wife, Jenny Lee Ryan, from the Rick and Bubba theme. Yeah. Look, and they are reacting almost perfectly. That's poor yeah. eagle. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> That, but see, look at that. And That's now that. Bad. And so, see, we house. said this, and I, I don't. Was it was it Dennis Prager was the first one that said everything the left touches they ruin. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I yeah. mean, I mean, they they ruin everything. I think it was Trump that you said that. You can't have any fun. Mm-hmm. You can't have anything that's been historic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You got to no. tear everything. Down. I mean, you can't have nothing. I mean, there, you there can't is, even have an iconic. Key, a how picture. about this? They're a, they're a sad sack of bunch. They they are. Are. I mean, how would you like to have lunch with them or something? How would you like to spend time with a person that finds this picture to be offensive and should be removed from yeah. all of our mm-hmm. archives? How? I mean, I could, who would want to spend? 30 seconds with that person. Yeah. This guy, George Mendoza, uh, who passed away at the age of 95 a few years ago, he claims to to be the guy. But you said there's multiple people who claim this. Yeah. It looks like him. Are the there any women, women who claim to be the nurse? It does look like him. Yeah, there are, there are women that claim to be the nurse. Uh, a lady was in a parade, but they couldn't confirm it. They've actually been able to confirm some of the people in the background because you can see their faces better. Yeah. But the actual couple, I don't think we, we ever got 100% on. <laughs> he really got a hold of her. He did. He's holding his arm <laughs> around her head. I, I don't know. That's I mean, a headlock. Look, I mean, he, he came in aggressive. Yeah. Let's, look, guys, look. he's been through living hell. Yeah, that's yeah. right. You know what that time. is? That's a victory. What you she that might is. have said, kiss me. She may have. On a, <laughs> how know. did she say it? Kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss you me, you know. sailor. Yes, man. <laughs> well, apparently, right after the war, a lot of kissing was going on. Thank you for your service. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, like uh, followed by the baby boomers. <laughs> Welcome, <Yeah>. baby boomers. <laughs> yeah. That was uh, well. Whew. Never mind. I was going to do a song lyric, but I think probably not. <laughs> probably not. Uh, I mean, I had it. I'll, I even, like it's one of those things. I actually put it in the chamber and I almost fired it. Oh, 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 oh really? I'm, I'm opening the chamber better. back up. And I'm kicking the bullet back. <laughs> yeah, thought better of it. Let's go yeah, ahead and hit the bed. Thought better of it. Yeah, but it was. Uh, it's a funny lyric. Involving uh, sailors. Uh, More information coming out about Nick Saban's retirement today. Interesting. Very story. interesting. We'll hit that if you got more Rick and Bubba today. If you if you don't have any more, catch the archives later today. You never have to miss a moment of the Rick and Bubba show. Wednesday Bible study back today. Speaking of live and archives, noon central, one o'clock Eastern on the YouTube or catch the archives. Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba. You know what that means? You'll end up with a pig blood. I, I go I go back to this again. Or an O negative. Isn't that the universal? Yeah, we can get by for a little while. I, I go back to this again. I'm Your just going to have to live. There's so much misinformation. I have to just live my life abiding by the things that I know are true. Yeah. And that is, it's there's there's a, a highly contagious virus mm-hmm. that is out there, and I need to minimize my, my opportunities to 
actually get it. Right. Yeah. Right. Everything else, you don't know whether it's true or not. And you just play the numbers. If yeah, you're usually yeah. around 100 people, try to be around five. Right. You yeah. know, and you, yeah. you've increased yeah. it. You're talking, about, away from uh, crowds. You're talking about yeah. the game plan that'll probably keep us from having the same results of the other countries that didn't do these things. Right. Yeah, like Italy that just, you know, they're going to have their get togethers and, you know, pass the bread and oh, all look. that. And it doesn't, it didn't work out. Have you, have you, know? you have you, have and you, I'm not blaming them. It's just the way it is. Have you taken a gander over to Ron? Mm-hmm. Well, my, you know, go, going, are to, going to the going to the mm-hmm. holy relics and licking it is yeah, not. Uh, mm. Oh, Rick, have, I don't you, have think you seen what Speedy's talking about in Iran? Which of course, we, you know, we we survey them with our oh yeah defense yeah, department know, satellites know, yeah, pretty I close. Know, I do know about that. They they are absolutely digging mass graves everywhere. That's kind of funny. North Korea claims they don't have they, the they virus they don't and have, have never case. gotten it. <laughs> of course not. That's that's great. Yeah, isn't it great to have just one news source? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. This is what our life would be like if all yeah. we had was CNN. Right, right. Uh, yeah. So, but you know, back to Amanda. I guess you know, for a lot of doctors' offices and other, they can they can say, hey, whoa. We're not well, taking anybody in, yeah. but people still have babies, right? You can't stop that. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, so yeah. you're you're still got yeah, folks still, coming in. Well, I, let's, let's the get breast it. milk is still a flowing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why don't we just get needed. everybody's pick? Let's start with Adler and we'll oh, go boy. Adler, who do you okay. think is patient zero here on the show and why? And why? I mean, Helms with the hospital. I'm sorry, but I think it's got to be Helms. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Hold on. That's Adler. Who would be your second pick? Let's go. Let's I like that, Bob. I think you do. You got to go. I feel like Rick is being more cavalier than he would like to say. <laughs> Rick, <laughs> just uh, what I'm living as safe as I possibly could. <laughs> you know, right. the, but the um, okay, so so he's uh, so let's go to Hams. Who you think? I, I'm a, I'm going to go with myself just okay. because of right. the, mm-hmm. the the hospital and the fact that I have three kids and and two of which are still out in the battle a little bit. Okay, um, All right. and who's your second? Helms. It's so my you, second. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I'm going to go Adler. I think oh, it's going to be no. one of these things oh, where no. he's going he's overdoing to it. he's overdoing it, right. and and he's because of that he's going to be the one to to get it. Greg, I, again, this is easy pick. I'm going with Hounds because of the tie, mm-hmm. and then I'm going with Speedius too because oh, no. he's got a lot of kids, and yeah. he's going they're going to sneak out and stuff. Right. Okay. All right. <laughs> sneak out. Well, you know kids. Are. You've got his kids sneaking yeah, out, Greg. Know. His kids can relate to it. I would be sneaking out. They're, they may not be very smart with no, decisions at times because they're young, but they mm-hmm. don't sneak God, out. You don't know that. Speedy? Mm-hmm. He's got All right, I'm going to say – I'm going to go Hams because of the hospital. Right. Thanks, guys. I'm sorry. Sorry, No, it, it makes – it's like logical. a slam dunk. It, makes, it, it is it, logical. It makes I sense. Get it. it does make sense. Amanda's probably mad. It um, is true. The second one – gosh, a mighty dog. Uh, <laughs> second one here is um, – I'm stuck between the Burgess boys mm-hmm. and which one. Right. Um and I think surprisingly, Greg's going to get it. Yeah, okay, it's possible. All right? Okay. All right, and and the reason for it is because he's errand boy. Mm-hmm. He's he's going to the grocery store sure. some for your parents. Well. He's doing some different things. Right, and so I think he will get it. Okay, okay. So, I'm sorry, I can, buddy. I can live with that. I'm Bubba. sorry. Uh, you know, I have to go with Hams. Right. I think yeah. that's wow. a slam dunk sure. on it. Uh, <laughs> and, and when you go to the second pick, it's really a toss up. It uh, is. And I even, you know, I look at myself even mm-hmm. uh, because I have had some folks moving around, but we're pretty much on lockdown now. Uh, I really think it, just playing the numbers, I'm going to have to go with Speedy because he's got mm. more kids that could actually get in contact and bring it in. Right. So, uh, you know, I'm sorry, Speedy, but it's I just okay. by the numbers, uh, mm-hmm. I, would, I would say Hams won, you two. Okay. Good. But I need to ask you a question. <laughs> how much how much food is just being prepared at home? It's not That's coming from delivery people. This is all of it. You're not having any. Who's going to Bye the bye store bye. For, Betty. Su- for supplies? Betty. But she is going. <laughs> at limited times, early in the morning. Right. And she's got gloves and masks. Are you spending much time with her? Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah sure. Because I knew that probably was going to return home today. <laughs> right. 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 Yeah. I, um, I actually think patient zero is speedy. Really? <laughs> I do. Okay. Yeah, and uh, you're doing it like you do football picks because everybody's on him. You're gonna pick somebody different. And I think number two is Bubba. <laughs> I do have time. Right, yeah, I am the it, oldest. Is here, it back so. to my kids yeah. for, for yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. They, 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 All right, and then for Bubba, that, what that, is that, it? That got to you. His love it? of it's food. Is that what Bubba's love of food? There's more going on with food than he's letting me out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, we got Nurse Betty running the show now. I know she's hammering down on everybody. I'll tell y'all something interesting, too, in the break. Uh, I'm actually talking to somebody who who has a family member that has to be a medical team where we have a patient in Birmingham. Wow. Uh, we come back. We'll quick poll and see what the audience thinks. <laughs> <laughs> Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.
This is the Rick and Bubba Show. Watch more at blazetv.com slash Rick and Bubba. back six minutes past the hour rick and bubba show speedy the real greg burgess helmsy eddie van adler all here for another hour welcome back bill bubba bussy glad well, to be here rick thank all of you for joining us you know we only asked for five hours mm-hmm. that doesn't seem a lot when you have 24 hours and some change every day come on that's just a little carving out of a day a little carving Thanks for being here, whether you're here live or archive. We mentioned, if you were with us last hour, if not, no, we did. Uh, you know, everybody's kind of studying the Nick Saban, why did he retire, when he retired, all kinds of comments and questions. And, you know, we've talked about some of them, and he said a few things. But you said there was something today I have not heard him say. No, I, I didn't either. I read this, and this was, um, uh, I, I, I guess it was an ESPN story originally. And it has been uh, uh, covered today in Yahoo Sports. And the headline says it all. Nick Saban, the way Alabama players reacted after the Rose Bowl loss, contributed to decision to retire. Hmm. And he went on to say that Nick Saban, uh, the story says Nick Saban was not thrilled the way the team reacted after losing the Rose Bowl to eventual national champion Michigan. Um, he said that uh, the game turned out to be the final. How about how about the the play at the goal line mm. turned out to be the final play of Nick Saban's career? How about that? Mm. Um, and he announced his retirement uh, less than two weeks after that. He said, "I want to be clear that wasn't the reason, right? But some of those events certainly contributed." Saban said of his decision to retire, I was really disappointed with the way the players acted after the game. You got to win with class, you got to lose with class. We had our opportunities to win the game and we didn't do it. And then showing your barnyard animal. Right. uh, After being frustrated and throwing helmets and doing that stuff, that's not who we are. That's not uh, what we've promoted in our program. Didn't like how the players reacted after losing. Uh, Said that wasn't the main reason. Mm. But it was he threw it on top of the retirement pile of reasons to retire. I think you're going to see this. I didn't even know this, but Greg told us in the break that Chip Kelly has left being head coach at UCLA to be offensive coordinator at Ohio I'm State. I'm a little surprised by that. Yeah, that's bit. not breaking news. I guess we just missed. It. I didn't. I didn't know that either. But here, but but I, I I think we I like when you look into his reasoning. It kind of ties into some of this. Look, what, what college football coaches, especially head coaches, are being asked to do now, I mean, Chip Kelly said, I like coaching football, and I don't like doing all the stuff that comes with head coaching. I'd rather just be a coordinator. Now, he's going to make good money as a coordinator. It's not like he's going to go broke. But he just said, I want to get back to this coaching football. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and all this other garbage that you've got to deal with as the head coach yeah, is becoming yeah. less lucrative to people, for, especially from another era. In this story, Saban went on to say, uh, he talked about how the way college football landscape has changed and how that influenced his decision. He estimated that maybe 70 or 80 percent of the players you talked to wanted to talk about their playing time for the upcoming season and how much money they would be making in NIL. Now, remember, we said that. We said that on the show, that the Nick Sabans of the world, this is not – it's almost like taking – you know, somebody out of their habitat and expected them to thrive in a habitat that is not designed for them to thrive in. Mm-hmm. It, it just, it just, yeah. it's becoming less and less desirable for the Nick Saban types of the world. Now, that's that's unfortunate for college football fans because the Nick Sabans of the world give us an excellent product. Yeah. yeah. Saban's yeah. retirement was not a spur of the moment decision after the 2023 season. 
However, he had been thinking about the end of his career for a bit. Saban told Athletic Director Greg Byrne at the end of 2022 season that retirement was getting closer and closer. He said, Greg, this is getting more and more difficult for me. I'm not ready to do it now, but we're going to have to start evaluating this more on a year-to-year basis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not surprising to me. Mm-mm. It really isn't. I mean, that's exactly yeah. how you would think someone that has the process would go about it. Well, and, and just— he, he processed his retirement just like he did everything else. <laughs> right. <laughs> and you see that he was growing weary. Yeah. Of, of these things. Yeah. And it was it was getting where I'm having a harder and harder time getting past this. Um, and I think all of us saw that coming. Th- th- this is just not his environment. Mm-hmm. And um, and you almost may need to get to the point where people come in, kind of like Trent Dilfer was talking about, where, hey, I came in and this is the way college football is. I never experienced the other. Mm-hmm. The ones who experienced how it once was, I think are going to have a much more yeah. difficult time adjusting to how it is now. For yeah. real. Uh, you almost need people say this is the only college football we've ever known. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't know the other. Yeah, no. So, so, so I'm in there trying to to recruit a guy for his athletic ability, and I really want him. And then now we're negotiating money at the same table. And then when I get him, I got to keep recruiting him so he'll stay. Yeah, yeah. so he doesn't get mad and leave. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then when I do get him to stay, he pitches a fit at the end of the game and throws his helmet down and really doesn't care what I have to say about it because he'll just leave. Yeah. It's tough, man. Now, who wants to coach in that situation? <laughs> no, now, I, now I know some it. of you are saying, I'll take that check. I got it. But sometimes, yeah, you know, it, it it's a lot, especially if you can get a similar check not dealing with it. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. So and and look, Alabama <clears throat> does have a lot of leverage in that world because they are so good in the yeah, history. A lot of people want to be a part of it. They, they want to be a part of it because they know that's where where it'll take them if they they have. Of course, if they want to go to that next level. Yeah. Uh, those those programs that come to mind, you know, that that are around the country, that does help. They have that on their side, but I know that's still got to be exhausting. Mm. Yep. On that note, Dartmouth, the men's basketball team, has voted to unionize, bro. <laughs> yeah. A well, first, I don't even know if you can do that. A first in college sports. <laughs> They're attempting. That's, yeah. a, that's a better way to say it, isn't it? Yeah, uh, I, I said this may be the only way. I know a lot of people will think, well, if they unionize, we're going to have, you know, these players and walkouts and work stoppages and all that. But mm-hmm. If the college players do unionize, then they will have to follow what their union says, and yeah. that is actually a step back to what they have now where yeah. they're all free agents. Right. So I would say proceed cautiously, my friend. Yeah. Their vote was 13-2 to two in favor of joining Service Employees International Union, <laughs> SEIU Local 560, and they have to march the 12th to file an objection to the union election. Um, the school does. So, Which, uh, again, I don't see how they can unionize when they're not employees of the school. And why would the school care if they're not employees of the school? Northwestern football team tried this, yeah, and I can't did. remember how it, yeah, how it turned out. I don't remember either. I know yeah. it sounds good. Hey, we're going to band together. We're going to make more money. We'll force everybody to pay us more. But if you're one of these guys getting these big checks now, you're all against this. Absolutely. Because they're going to take your money and make no. you very average pay uh, with everybody else. No. And is Dartmouth playing, paying anybody anything anyway? Right. Say. It's yeah, Ivy League they, trying to be sharp. They're 7-21. Yeah, go win a basketball game. When yeah. there it is. There you go. But, yeah, I'm, 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 I agree. I've never been uh, – unions certainly serve a purpose, but for the reason you just said, I never want to be yeah, in a situation not... where, okay, so I now am in a group where we're all going to try to be equally mediocre. And and the guy that's not working his rear off is going to get the same money I get for working my rear off? No, thank you. I, I can see where the the mm-hmm. professional players want to have a union to represent mm-hmm. them. I got that. Uh, they still have, you know, different competitive bidding for salaries, sure, obviously. Sure, sure. But in the situation with college players where they're not being paid, I don't know that – who who are you going to unionize against? Uh, know. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't follow what they're trying to do. I think it may go into what y'all just said. It may be under I'm trying to be sharp. Yeah. It's an Ivy League school. Look at me. I'm being sharp. how much smarter I am I'm than everybody being, else. Look, yeah. we unionize. We, we have no NIL money, but look at this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Watch me be sharp. I've unionized. We're going to get 50 cents a game. We were getting 300. Yeah. Right. 15 minutes past the hour, 866-WE-BE-BIG is the number. More of the Rick and Bubba show, Lord willing, continues right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.
We have a quick poll. Everybody's got one. Voice your opinion on the Rick and Bubba official. Somebody say quick poll. Quick poll. Our question, who is patient zero? Uh, uh, here on the, here on the show, who will bring it down yeah. when it happens? Who's yeah. the person that will force uh, a complete quarantine? <laughs> uh, someone's already emailed said, if you get quarantined, why don't you all just stay there at the office? Meh. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we, we have, a, <laughs> we have a, another plan for that, uh, and, and we will work a plan. Uh, we'll all be quarantined. I, I think we've got as good a plan as anybody Yeah, we do have, have a plan. I mean, we, we go all the way down to <laughs> zombie apocalypse level. We do. You know what I mean? we got all so, the we do. Now, do we want them to give a second choice or just one choice? On the quick poll, I, I'd like to. You like pick. two choices? Well, or or just whoever comes in second in the quick poll would be the the audience's second pick. Because I don't Instead want them all just to say hams and that's all what you're saying. Right. You know, we got to have some variety. Okay, so this. give us give us your primary Thank pick you. and then a second pick. Okay. Okay, and so that's and, and how was our picks? How did it end up? Who, who, um, on average, who was going to get it and who's second? okay? Um, out of uh, uh, the six here. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five that have Helms at one. Okay. I have one. Uh, Rick picked me. And then coming in second, it's uh, really all over the road. We got one Rick, one Adler, two Speedies, <laughs> one Greg, and one Bubba. Now, I do want so to give you some information. Would be, you would be the winner then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, I want to give you some information. My wife chiming in. She's, no, I don't think she's happy about all this. She said, thanks, guys. I'm not even walking into the main hospital, and we are taking people's temperature before they enter. But you're probably right. I come into contact with 50 to 150 people at work each day. Wow. And, Hams, let me ask you this. When she she's comes a lactation home, consultant at a hospital. When she comes home at night, what procedures do you do? We're not currently doing her. any procedures. She, she doesn't have yesterday, to Yesterday, she came in and brought me a bag of ice for my calf. Um, yeah. So I don't, I, I don't know. Does she take her clothes no, We off? probably need to do no, this. Serious business. They say you're supposed you to strip off. Well, like, yeah. They yeah. say you're supposed to strip didn't, off didn't, and throw Well, this keeps even getting yeah. better get for me. In the shower. Yeah, it didn't come out oh. the way I wanted. <laughs> what I meant is, yep. does she take her but work your, clothes off? But your off? next move is going to make you more susceptible again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Correct. So, so, but, but should she be doing that? Should be, she should be. Just Careful. changing clothes in the garage. Yes. Yeah, oh she yeah, comes absolutely. Up. Uh-huh. Mud room absolutely. or something. Yeah. Something I need to add. We don't to have mine. a mud room. <laughs> something I need to add to mine. This thing we saw today, where they claim it lives on boxes for a while. <laughs> we get at least four boxes a day. To me, you know, I've told you, my wife is propping Amazon up for years. Yeah, <laughs> right. Have so you seen that's no a factor. If that's true, I, we get more cardboard boxes daily, probably than anybody in this room. Yeah. I can tell you that. Well. Have you seen they're cutting everything except medical and emergency supplies? I mean, I need to move Greg on my list. But anyway, that's <laughs> does anybody, after the information we've given, does anybody change? No, I'm good. I'm I kind of want to change be mine to speed, Rick? my second to speedy, but you're already in the lead. Right. So and you know why? Because you're going to sneak out. Right. If, if I could, uh, the, the leading uh, cause for me is kids. Uh, for Helmsy, it's Bubba. I mean, excuse me, for Helmsy. <laughs> that's weird. I was looking at Bubba's name. For Helmsy, it's hospital. Uh, for Adler, uh, let's see. Adler, you basically said he's trying to be so careful it's going to bite yeah. him. He's overdoing it's it. Almost, awesome. It's almost a corona version of trying right. to have something. Yeah. For Rick, yeah. he's careless. Right. And, and this, you just careless. That's not true. You, okay. I'm just telling you what it's doing uh, We're here. not compared to how careless I usually am. For Greg, he's Aaron boy. Uh, mm-hmm. He's 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 going into the stores. He's in and out, in and out, in and out a lot. So we feel like he might catch at that. For Bubba, it's the love of food. Okay. All right. To the phones we go. Hello, Rick and Bubba. Show your uh, quick poll. Who's patient zero? Speedy. Okay. Speedy. You, have a, you have a second? It. Speedy because of his impaired immune system because of the smoking, and then I'm <laughs> going Hamsey because of his wife. All right. Hi, Rick and Bubba. Show quick poll. <laughs> Who's patient zero? Bubba. Bubba. Bubba because he went to the ham fest. Okay, that's a good one. No, okay. I, I'm, I hadn't been in a while. Hi, Rick and Bubba Show. I don't think we have time for a second. Okay, Hi, Rick yeah. and Bubba Show, your vote, please. Hamsley. Hamsley. Rick, Rick and Bubba Show, your vote, please. Uh, speedy, passing the six, Adler. <laughs> hey, Rick and Bubba Show, your vote, please. <laughs> Adler, because he's so weak and small. <laughs> Rick and Bubba Show, your vote, please. Hamsley. <laughs> uh, Rick and Bubba Show, your vote, please. Hello. Hello. Hi, Rick and Bubba. Show what's your vote, please. I think you're all going to give it. I think a guy in like a, a trench coat is going to come in and start coughing on everybody. We <laughs> <laughs> have to get in first. The United States of America. You know we're we're in the middle of it, trying to get on top of it, minimize it.
21 minutes past the hour. How about you? Thanks for being with us today, tomorrow night, Crestview, Florida. Uh, a man church coming up with Kevin Derryberry. Hey, I just talking about Jesus, Bubba. He'll just be talking about how much he loves it. So, I'm going to stop doing that impersonation, Bob. Uh, I'm going to get through tornado season. <laughs> what? And then we'll look at it. <laughs> So anyway, Kevin will be speaking and uh, uh, singing for you uh, tomorrow night in Crestview at First Baptist Church for their next man church, and they'll go into the curriculum they're doing now. They've been at the strategy for a few years now and appreciate their feedback. And then Starkville, Mississippi this weekend, the Man Church Conference. Uh, Granger Smith, I, I can't wait to hear him teach and, and tell more about his story as we interviewed him on a Rick and Bubba University, the podcast, and, of course, his book, Incredible. Uh, James Spann also has a book about his life and, and his story. Uh, incredible. He'll be speaking uh, this weekend. Uh, Scott Dawson, a big friend of the show and uh, outstanding speaker. He'll be speaking. Andy Blanks, uh, who uh, heads up all the curriculum and, and edits and writes and speaks and teaches and is just fantastic. Hopefully no one will do anything to make him feel secondhand embarrassment. Uh, I'll get a chance to speak and uh, Les Bradford will be MC and the real Greg Burgess is going with us and the whole team and church team will be there ready to go with all the new resources there in the lobby uh, and uh, and start well this weekend can't wait few tickets remain Starkville. if you want to grab those you can at the manchurch.com all right so a couple of things major league uh, the mlb the show what is that yeah! major league baseball the show yes, that's the 24 that's video game video, video, video game video game come on richard all right yeah. so is everybody it says now it's unveiled it's new female player game mode. Don't get this for the at first all. time ahead of the video game's annual release. Bubba, yesterday we talked about. Uh, were you still here? We talked about that EA Sports, the college football coming out this this summer. They got ten thousand college players signed up at six hundred dollars a pop and a free copy of the game, and that Arch Manning declined. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So we, but anyway, he's so, keeping his powder dry. I hear you. Six hundred bucks mm -hmm. for him in video games, probably a small token. But it was interesting they got that done. And well, that, here's the good news: he's not playing for anybody, so you never miss him. Correct. That's true. Yeah. Too. Well, and also, uh, Speedy made the point. It also shows you how much money's in these video games if they're popular. Mm -hmm. They just shelled out six million dollars before they even gave free games away. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and 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 so and, and they know that's going to be. Pumps. They knew that's going to be chump change. Yeah. Yes, sir. So this one I'm not as familiar with. And when it says a female player, it says it's paying homage to women in baseball mm -hmm. after unveiling a new female player mode. So is this the, the, is it gonna be the, one the go league in, of their own? You can go in and create your profile and, and be a woman playing. Do, do you play against other women? Or no. You, probably I do whatever you no, want to do. Just, you would do whatever, yeah. Okay, wait a minute. So this is not like a mo where you can go do the female, a league of their own, and play okay, women against women? Yeah, you can. Yeah. You, there, oh, there I are. see. You're, You're right. You're player. playing with them. Okay. Uh, and now, now my boys love this. They'll get online and play each other. They want to uh, be women? No, they love this game. Oh, the game. MLB, okay, yeah, I, I MLB 24. I got you, okay. Or, or MLB the show, I should say. Uh, I've heard lots of screaming back when they lived at the house that um, from, from each room. So if playing. I create a player, I now can be a chick. Yep, you've, yep. Got, that, I, you've got that opportunity. See, when she hits a home run, don't pat her on the butt. Greg, thank you. Buddy. No good games Greg, allowed. Greg. Greg. <laughs> yeah. So really, this is designed to get women interested in Major League Baseball. It is. And, and, uh, and more people buy the small game. Small children that, mm -hmm. you know, girls. That yeah. They're, you know, they don't, I don't think they have softball games out there, so they no. probably want to try yeah, to introduce yeah. them. How about they when I first do maybe a softball. I think Major League Baseball is trying to get Taylor Swift to date a baseball player. <laughs> <laughs> how about what? How about what when, that'd be a smart move. It would be. <laughs> when I looked at this, I first thought, and I actually thought it might be kind of cool. I mean, look. This is I'm fine with this, just whatever, as long as dudes are not playing as women. But but I was um, but I kind of thought, which I thought would be kind of cool, because I love that movie, A League of Their Own. Yeah, it's good. I play. thought they might have added to it that you could go yeah. back into that era. That's what yeah. I thought, and too. actually have the women leagues playing each other mm -hmm. when they replaced Major League Baseball, hmm. which I thought that was a that'd be a cool idea. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah um, it, when you do play as a woman in the game, Tom Hanks has to be your manager. Though. Correct. <laughs> and there's no crying in baseball. No, they say is the first thing they tell you. Not yeah. at all. Yeah, so so that uh, we we will we will look at that and and see how that uh, that plays out. I, I don't know if that'll be extremely popular or not, but probably so. Probably probably a good idea to, mm -hmm. to try to get. Uh, well, if you're trying to get, reach get, out to get, more get, people to buy your game, get yeah. more get more females yeah, uh, involved. There it is. So that that's uh, there there you Did go. Did y'all ever watch the the I don't know if you call it reboot? It was a series on Amazon, I think it was. 
in the league of their own. Did not be good. No, nope. eh, it, it, they went into some areas. Right. Uh, they they didn't, didn't. That was unnecessary. Mm-hmm. Um, did, did some of the players take a locking to each other? Oh, did they ever? Okay. Of course. The league so, of own, I really like that. Buddy, I was, yeah. this was good until they, you know, forgot, they go down. I forgot Madonna was in League of Our Own. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Her, her, her and Big Row. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, did we, I, say hey, speaking row. of women. I, I, I just want to drop a flag right here on where we're about to go. So don't, I don't, don't do this. I don't even think we need and, to go there. And, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm just going to say, look at listen, it. if you go there, I'm leaving. I'm just going to say, I'm seated. No, don't. I'm seated in silence. That's all I'm saying. I'm going to oh, my no, office. No, no I, I don't know. So well, if, I, not if, if y'all are giving I me am. a caution flag. I, no, I'm I just know where it's going to go not with that anything. One. I will yeah, add here to the caution flag. I'm, I'm not going to say nothing. All right. So, Adler, so, stop. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm not showing anything. Only y'all can see that. Okay. All right. Yeah, that? Yeah, okay. Okay. Y'all got to admit, that's that's scared me. That would get your attention. Just stop. Hey, just stop. Everybody stop. Wasn't it? Okay. She can throw that ball. Okay, okay, now I we're in. It. Oh, wow. It's even silent. New level. <laughs> and it's silent. I was just simply so, saying. I'm not defending right y'all anymore. I She's think. Right she, I, no I, hitter. I was told that, I told that there was a really good softball pitcher. I now know that this is not college. It is high school in Hemsley. I agree. That's different. Yeah. Uh, and it, it, it appears that this player is very good. Yeah. And like uh, us, you know, anytime you see someone that, that maybe has, has, maybe a little on the heavier side, and when they're athletic and overcome that, it draws attention. Greg says one of the things he's always enjoyed seeing are very athletic, heavy people. Yeah. And and it is something to see. It really is. Remember the diver we had that day? Remember him? Yeah. yeah. I mean, he was incredible. Chris Farley could move. Yeah, I like, uh, Greg, I think you said this, uh, uh, people who are a little bit heavy that have tremendous rhythm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They can dance really good and are pretty light on their feet. I hope TLC ain't missing this opportunity. How, um, what Greg, you got? Is, don't, is she, don't, is she don't, highly recruited picture. at this no, point? No, Greg, no, what? no. Greg. Hams, what's the story on her? And I, I didn't know she was Hams in Hams won't, he can't We're not involved in this. Told you I'm out. Yeah, you know, do your own research. Speedy's but. out, Hams is out. So, you know, uh, the, you I know don't, TLC don't need to miss this. You know, they got that running theme. What would this be? I mean, you could call it a thousand pound picture. Greg. It wouldn't be a thousand, Greg. Greg. Well, that's just playing off the other one. Where, where does she play at? Where's this at? A high school. I know, but where? where is it? Speedy, what? Where, I don't know what we're going to say. No, it, it's not important. The bottom line was I thought it would be a heartwarming story. I agree. I would like to see I agree that it probably it. won't be, and so we won't do it. Yeah. Okay. She say, brings I, the heat, though. I'm not going to say I want to see her throw. Have you seen any of the highlights? I haven't. I haven't. Yeah. But uh, I understand she is good. But yeah, as Hamsey pointed out, no hitters. we need to know the classification. We need to know the competition uh, and all that. The but, only reason somebody sent us this story was hoping that Greg no. right here would pile on. Right. That's the only reason. You're right. Y'all aren't, um, y'all aren't curious. I would like to see how she can throw. I would like to bring up. I am. And hopefully change sadly. the subject that a league of their own, mm-hmm. uh, the new one. Who dirty Nick, skirt? Nick Offerman. Do you know who I'm talking about? Nick Offerman. Oh, from from uh, yes. Park and Rec? Yes. yes. Yeah, he's the baseball manager. Well, he's see, now that Tom pulls Hanks, me in. But, but don't let it pull you in. Okay, don't. Because you'll be out real quick. Okay, I got you. But All they right. had a lot of potential with that. And with him, he's really good, by the way, in that role. Oh, he's he's great. But they lost me about episode three. All right. I well, heard he was in The Last of Us. Did y'all see that? Yeah. I haven't seen that episode yet. I think he is in it. I, I quit watching. That was a weird, weird... <laughs> Are you proud of me? I yeah, that's good. Get back good hey, good work. Right. Good that. work, Ham. <laughs> I just wanted to see her throw. We'll be back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Impact. Uh, by taking extreme measures, uh, really unprecedented measures, uh, with pandemics of the past, uh, Congressman Gary Palmer uh, joining us. You know, anytime we can get some information from uh, from the federal government uh, that can give us some updates, we certainly want to take that opportunity. And Congressman Palmer, friend of the show, was kind enough to do that for us today. Uh, uh, Palmer, welcome back to Rick and Bubba. Glad to be on. So you, you guys are washing your hands and keeping your hands off your face. Yeah, we, well, yeah. It's semi. We're doing the best we can. We're, we're doing great. Uh, now I will say this: uh, I did have a nice, uh, delicious meal last night of bat soup I got from <laughs> Wuhan. Uh, but other than that, I've really been safe. Uh, so we we have ourselves some unprecedented things. Now it's not meaning there's never been a pandemic, and it doesn't mean that we haven't had diseases that killed 
uh, people at a, at a higher rate than even COVID-19 is killing them. But it's highly contagious. It's unknown, which means we're, we're having to learn about it as we go. Uh, do you agree with the measures right now that, you, that you're seeing uh, that are happening with the federal government? Do you feel good about the things that we're doing? I do, and um, I think there's some folks out there that would would uh, want you to believe that, that we were not trying to deal with this early on. Um, we were. I was actually in a lunch meeting with the president on January 27th at the White House, um, and um, he had he told us in that meeting then that he had been on the phone with uh, Xi Jinping uh, and that Xi Jinping had uh, told him that they had it under control. Uh, the president offered to send in whatever help they needed and uh, and tried to get Xi Jinping to allow the CDC to come in, and uh, he wouldn't do it. And it was just a couple of days later that the president banned all travel into and out of China. And, of course, he came under severe criticism for that, but it turns out that was the right move. And the other thing people need to understand is that this is new. We've never seen anything like it. Uh, and we, uh, early on, because we couldn't get into China, we were pretty much totally dependent on whatever leaked out of there. Uh, and thank God that, that one doctor did leak information about it. Of course, they uh, he died. But um, we we didn't know what we were dealing with. And, and I think now we've got a handle on it. Uh, we're taking the right uh, steps. And it's going to have a se- severe impact on the economy. But... Uh, We'll get through it. You know, you know Gary, I, I, just on a, a bigger scale, and then we'll get down to the details of, of what's happening. But, you know, I think for a lot of us, uh, you know, we were kind of caught flat-footed by this. And I know some people, well, you did, you should have done this, should have done this. You know, isolating a pandemic, uh, trying to, to find out exactly what's causing it, to develop a test, to manufacture a test, to get a test out, then to have people who can actually read the test – and get you the results. I mean, we were just not really geared up for this. So I think overall, considering what we've done, we've done a pretty good job uh, given the time we had. But I, I think long term, and this is what I was really getting to and the, the point of this, you know, we, we have we put a lot of uh, faith in our, our planes and our ships and our missiles. But I think it has shown that we maybe need to reallocate that. We have some weaknesses and, and we let this one get by us. Well, there are a number of things that this has exposed and something, and I don't want to sound <clears throat> like I'm trying to take credit, but I've, I've been talking about the fact that, that um, a single country supply chain uh, yeah. was a very yeah. dangerous place to be, uh, whether it's uh, pharmaceuticals or, or uh, yep. rare earth metals that, yep. that your cell phones and the avionics for our fired planes depend on. Or, or just anything, and, and we're, that has been totally exposed now. And uh, one of the things that I'd recommended that looks like we're going to do is create a series of tax credits and exemptions for companies to move their supply chains back to the United States. That's going to take a while, um, and at a minimum, move them back to allied nations and, and diversify the supply chain, especially on drugs. All right. Well, and, and, and Congressman, here, here's the point, and you're making it, and I, I want everybody, it, but I want to make sure everybody hears what you're saying. Five minutes past the hour. Thanks for being with us today. Uh, more to cover on the program. We might squeeze in some more phone calls before the hour is done today. Fieldofgreens.com. Fieldofgreens.com. Uh, go to uh, the website directly or find the link at rickandbubba.com. Uh, got into a conversation this past Sunday uh, at church. People saying, hey, we're, we're all in on Field of Greens. Thank you all for introducing us to it. You're welcome, game changer. If you're not on Field of Greens, uh, look, let me tell you, give it a try. 
Give it a try. I don't know any other product in this uh, in this category uh, that is giving you a 100% money back guarantee if you don't absolutely love the product and also if you don't get compliments from your doctor and you don't see it making a difference. Uh, it, it's really not that complicated to know why it makes a difference because the human body, we've known this for a long time, uh, is designed to run more efficiently uh, if you got the right fruits and vegetables as the fuel. But, Rick Burgess, my hand is up. A lot of us have a hard time getting uh, the fruits and vegetables in that are recommended. And then even if you start trying to do that, do we have the expertise to know the right fruits and vegetables uh, that are medically chosen to support heart and vital organ health? I don't. I don't know that. Uh, but Field of Green says we got it covered. Uh, I take uh, two scoops a day, one in the morning and one sometime later in the day. Uh, and love it, and boy, have I seen a difference. And you will, too. Uh, you can save 15% right now on your first order and get free rush shipping by going to fieldofgreens.com. Simply use our promo code, Bubba, or find the link at rickandbubba.com under the sponsors. If I can help you in any way, email me. A lot of you do, asking for suggestions on what to mix it with and blah, blah, blah. If you need something, let me know. Uh, all right, so first of all, tremendous growth from the show on the last segment. And uh, so I want to I want to thank all of the uh, all of you and and just uh, we I think we showed tremendous growth. Uh, now speaking of things we're not all that familiar with, uh, now I love the and how do you say it? I did a rod. Is that is that the correct pronunciation? I did a rod. Yes. Yeah. This is when the sled dogs mm -hmm. race. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Yes. We've had a five time I did a rod dog. champion who was forced to kill a moose in self-defense on Monday mm. after it injured one of his dogs during this year's race, according to Associated Press. And we're talking about Dallas. I don't know about that last name. Seve? How would you say Sevy. that? Sevy. Sevy? Sevey. S-E-A-V-E-Y. Sevey. So Tom Seaver. So Tom Seaver was spelled just like that. So I'd say Seve. Dallas Seve. Dallas Seve. Mm-hmm. Uh, he uh, told rule officials uh, that uh, he had to shoot the moose with a handgun around 2 a.m. Monday morning oh after it became entangled with the dogs and the musher. Mm. Race rules indicate that, uh, how do you say it, CV? Mm -hmm. CV? Gut the animal and report the incident to officials at the next official checkpoint. Mm. Any other mushers who encountered CV on the trail would also be required to stop and help him gut the animal. Mm. Alaska State Troopers were informed of the situation and efforts were being made to salvage the animal's meat. Bubba, probably not an unfair uh, stereotype we have is that maybe sometimes we don't stop. If we're not involved, well, especially I mean, if we're trying uh, to get to the beach, but I would ask the question: If if you're in a race, uh, do you, you know? will, will you stop? I mean, can well, anybody prove I didn't? Hey, so we discussed this. But he's out. He's Rick. Think he's out on the frozen tumber. Tum. I can't say it now. Uh, tundra. Tundra. Thank you. At two a.m. And there's no telling what you run into. Oh. No. All right. So listen to this. So we talked about this in the kickoff. Yeah, hour, I heard it. And I pulled up the standings at that point. He was in 11th place, and you could tell by the miles per hour his speed on what he was doing that this really held him back big time. And we asked the question: Could he catch up? Well, he is now in first. No way. So he he is that good. He, he is that Dang. good. Did yeah. the moose and, kill any of his dogs? Uh, no, they injured they one. They did injure one. And is I don't it? know if he gets to replace a dog or not or how that works. We got backup but, dogs? Well, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. You know, we, we were, that was the main question so, is, like, if you lose one, do you just have to stay with a pack or do you get to pull one in? Like, is there a reserve dog somewhere? He had, fifth, like, some people have 15 dogs, 13, 16, 14. I wonder if they choose that number and that's what they're good with and go with or – did they all start off with 16, yeah. and now they've lost some along the way? I, oh, I yeah. don't know the answer to that, but I know this. Who's in second place currently? Jesse Holmes. He's from Alabama. Well, really? how about that? He's from our state. We gotta, right. we gotta, we gotta what about the him. guy that had to stop and help him? Dallas. What about the guy that had to stop? Oh, I don't know. Or did uh, anybody have to no, stop? No, no, nobody no, stopped no, no, and no, helped no, him, no, but no. It, it is rule a rule that you yeah. do have to stop and help. Now, the, at the end of the story, it's not the first time this happened. At the very end of the story, y'all look at it when it happened before. Uh, it was involving uh, a multi-year champion, I believe, yeah. and she she got in bad shape. I think maybe it killed a dog or something. Mm -hmm. I can't right, remember. Right. It, was, it was a moose, though, I believe. Now, but uh, why another, have I got a field dress? Another racer, Jesse Holmes, right. said that That's he also from Alabama. encountered a moose at a similar point in the race and said he had to punch 
a moose in the nose to get out of there. Yeah. Good gracious. Yeah. Yeah. Why did the moose, what? because the dogs are a threat maybe to their their offspring? I, I don't know. They come alongside. They, they're like, they're just, don't like dogs, some of them right? are in the trail. Well, they may think it's a wolf. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, they, they have like to deal dogs. with that. Yeah, it got, man, it gets all tangled up. And Those moose and elk, I mean, we've seen what they Before can you do. know it, there was guns. And all right. That day at tor- one tour of speed beards. his truck yeah. was made me eat. Very really bad. All right, in 1985, to Bubba's point, Susan Butcher said she had to defend herself with an axe from a moose before another musher came along and killed the animal, but not before the animal had killed two of her dogs and injured 13 more. Wow, it was going Took nuts. out the whole pack. It wow. Going absolutely bonkers. Here's a video package on this recent event, okay, if you guys okay. want to see it. Right. Here's a pack. Through wildlife, as early this morning, five-time Iditarod champion Dallas Cb says great. he had to kill Cb. a moose in self-defense. The Iditarod says the moose was, quote, entangled with the dogs and musher. It happened when the team was about 14 miles out of Squetna and on the way to Finger Lake. CV continued to the checkpoint but dropped an injured dog. It was flown to Anchorage okay. to be evaluated. CV reported the kill at the Finger Lake checkpoint. Uh, uh, Mark an in-reach message and um, it down and, uh, Mark, and told me to get it. it off the trail because it was on a downhill. Right, I mean, it fell on my sled. This is a dog. It the trail, so I got it as best I could. They're ready to go. Early. The Iditarod says every attempt is being made to salvage the moose meat, as you can expect the unexpected on the Iditarod Trail, with all teams crossing the 100-mile mark with still a long way to go to Nome, where Alaska's news source will have you covered. We expect leaders to be coming in off the river into the... All right, so if he, he started off with 16 dogs, now has 15, and right. his speed is better than anybody. Uh, he right, so he, good if you can stop and gut a moose and go back to the front yes, yeah, from 11, impressive. you're really fast. But this thing about having to gut the moose, I, I know. I think Alaska. that's where you, they just say, "Look, we're out here racing, and we're not going to waste meat if you have to defend yourself." Who goes and gets the meat? Because they can't take it with they them. Said, uh, well, they said he he stopped to address they reported it, it though. and so they said if any other musher goes by, they have to stop and help him. Right. So but, once but, he's gutted it, yeah. he leaves it, and then somebody goes and butchers it and didn't, takes the meat. Didn't out? they say that the the Authorities were working with him on what on, I think in Alaska, Trying whatever you kill must be consumed. Got it. Mm-hmm. So, but I'm, all I'm asking is, I don't have to get it, cut it all up, and put it in no, bags and put it on my on my sled. I just got to gut it so it doesn't spoil. I guess. And then somebody else goes. I guess. I don't know. I'm it, not up on my in, Iditarod rules, Rick. One of That's a shame, isn't it? Sadly, heaven. it's a thousand mile race. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, a, a thousand. Long way. And they're, they just with completed a hundred. A thousand. How how fast? I wonder if could you. Field dress, or I mean, like a moose, mm-hmm. not very. <laughs> if you buy yourself, that's a lot. To the, I don't, I don't to the be point gross. where it meets the rules. You better have required. a good blade. Go back, go back to the nail guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've done that. Nasty. And that, that's oh. what you're talking about. You kidding? That that's that's, that's a whole different animal uh, animal than, than field dressing a white tail. Oh, right. Yeah. At least he can just go report. How it. bad is it? It's bad. Greg, you've yeah. done it. Real bad. Oh, it's terrible. Huh. Like I, I don't know that I want to do this again. Bad. Yeah, you yeah, had, I don't, I don't care if I ever do it again. Yeah, but I guess my, to his point, say they come back and they ask me. I know what you're thinking because this is the way my mind works too. Birds, did you field dress it? Yeah, kind of. Do they ever go and go? Well, you didn't do a very good job here. Well, they, we're, Alaskan, we're deducting time. Alaskan state troopers go and then and recover the meat and, and all that. But he I'm just got, he just got he, he just got to go report it. Hey, yeah. this happened. Did the best got I some could. Meat on the ground. Got it, but and then I'm, they go retrieve. But I'm long gone now. I'm could, gone. Could I got back go. in first place. Could they get there and look at That's my the job I did? And said I don't think this meets the the standard of of, of, of properly gutting the animal. He's the largest some. nail guy ever is under 700 pounds. Male mooses can be up to 1,500 pounds. Wow. Oh my goodness! That's insane. That's a big animal. He's got some phenom big, dogs if he's already back in first. That's your big, <laughs> that's your big boy. Unless the other two guys came across a, a, some type of animal they had to deal with. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Raise he's your, won it before. He obviously knows what he's Raise doing. Raise your hand if you've ever eaten meat uh, meat from a moose. I have not. I have not. I had it in chili uh, once or a soup once. Really? I think. Wait yeah. a minute. At these wild game cook-offs. Yeah. I'm One, an emailer says they leave it and troopers come and get it. That's and then they is. donate to family shelters. That was in the storm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, I just didn't know, like, yeah, the, 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 he doesn't have to have it cut up and all yeah, that. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. I was confused about like the meat because of the extra weight. Right. You know, yeah. you, you would think the dog's going to pull all that. You guys remember Iron Will, the movie? Oh, yeah. 1994 classic. <laughs> Iron, <laughs> Iron Will? Iron Will. Iron Will. Iron Will. It's about not, the idea. Right? I did Iron not Will. recall that. <laughs> what is that uh, about? We'll take Big your thing. phone calls to wrap up the hour and look at any stories that we might have missed. 
when the Rick and Bubba show continues right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. We will say the problem, which we hopefully all agree is problematic. We don't need to be that dependent on China, and, and we see the issue right now. However, you can't just make it so. We shouldn't have so much dependence on China. It doesn't magically happen. You mentioned, and so therefore we must take steps to make it possible for us to bring that, because business is not going to come back to America if they can't make a profit and they're burdened with taxes and regulations. That's the reason why we lost it to begin with. So we have to do things to create the environment yeah. that we can go back to manufacturing our own goods. That's exactly right. And um, and this is a little off the beaten path, but to your point, Rick, uh, there was a, a study, a report came out from the Gallup organization uh, about three or four years ago that showed that prior to 2008, there were 100,000 more businesses opening in the United States than were closing. We we're very entrepreneurial. It was a, a robust environment to work in. But by the by, 2014, it was 70,000 more businesses closing than were opening, and it was largely because of of, of the regulatory environment that had been created, the uncertainty about our uh, regulations and taxes, and and I tell people all the time, money is like water; it will always seek the path of least resistance. So yeah. these companies, including pharmaceuticals, left the country. Uh, they they started coming back, and thank God. Uh, President Trump uh, took on China the way he did because this would have been a whole lot worse than it is. This is the Rick and Bubba Show. Watch more at blazetv.com slash Rick and Bubba.
as uh, we work our way back uh, with little David Allen Cole. Uh, phone calls, 866-WE-BE-BIG. We'll take those now. Uh, and we'll chat with you, America, and find out what is on your mind as we wrap up the hour. Uh, Wednesday Bible study back today. Uh, Post show be noon central, 1 o'clock Eastern, as is the norm. Uh, we'll have fellows here in the room uh, that have been coming here for a decade now uh, here in the other studio. Uh, so then uh, we'll put that out as an archive. Most of you uh, watch and, uh, and listen to the archive versus the live option, but both are available for you. And uh, if you so desire today, I think we unpack. Yeah, we do. For 2 Corinthians chapter 10 today as we walk through this letter from the Apostle Paul to the, uh, the really uh, seems like a handful church at Corinth. Uh, let's go to... Uh, let's go to Brett out of Huntsville, 100.3, the river. Uh, Brett, go ahead. Welcome to the show. Hi guys. Hey, hey, Brett. Um, hello. Um, the gentleman on the phone said that you might not be aware because, uh, you guys probably don't watch the show. Mm -hmm. Um, but the sister wives show, um, I just saw on my Facebook feed actually that, um, uh, Janelle's son, uh, Garrison Brown, uh, committed suicide, and he was only 25. Yeah, I saw a headline and, on that. Yeah, not familiar. Uh, I'm, I'm familiar with that show. I, I haven't seen it, uh, mm. the current uh, lineup, or, or know these people. But still, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's tough. And, and still also, the fact you referred to the man on the phone, which is Greg, is a gentleman. Uh, both of those surprising today, but um, but yeah, I, I'm not familiar with the cast. That's horrible. I, I hate that to happen to any family. Yeah. And um, mm. and you know that 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 sister wife set up. Uh, I'm certainly not drawing a line between that and this person's difficulties, but I'm just saying it can't be uh, it that, can't that, be normal. You know, not mm. not not mm -hmm. God's design, and feels a little. I don't know how anybody can live in that arrangement. Mm -hmm. uh, right. And uh, I. And it, it's shocking that there are actually women that would agree to it. Yeah. Right. But, uh, and honestly, I don't know what the guys think. <laughs> right. <laughs> Multiple wives. Uh, but anyway, there you go. And I'm sad, sad to hear that. Uh, we continue. Let's go to Glenda uh, out of Atmore. Glenda, go ahead. Rooms available if you want to join us. 866-WE-BE-BIG. Glenda, go ahead. Good morning, gentlemen. Hello, Glenda. Um, I am always... I am always interested on your uh, group critiques of things, and I have a challenge for you if you haven't already addressed it. There is a movie that was released last year. It's actually like a docu documentary type thing based on true actual facts, newsreels, the whole spiel, about how this gentleman by the name of Joe Lowe and the Prime Minister of Thailand established connections with multiple billionaires and millionaires around the world uh, created this fund and then embezzled hundreds of millions of dollars from the Malaysian government. Um, there were strong connections with the movie uh, Wolf of Wall Street, mm -hmm. Wolf mm -hmm. on Wall Street, whatever that movie was, sure. and um, their contributions. And it's really uh, riveting. I've watched it twice. I've learned things both times I've watched it. I'd love to hear you guys Critique it after you've watched it. And what's it called? Uh, Man on the Run. As Man. a matter of fact, this Joe Lowe uh, gentleman was actually on the run until last yeah. year. Okay. Because he was an international fugitive, right? Yeah. And you spell Absolutely, yes. You spell Joe J H O L O D. Interesting. Double. Correct. Yeah. And what what mm, uh, what correct. platform? Netflix. Yeah. Um, I think I watched it on uh, IMDb. Okay, so there, it's on different it's formats. It's a free streaming. Okay. Yes, right. it is on different formats. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Glenda. I'm not familiar it's with it. It's absolutely riveting. What scares me is how such a poor country, their people are starving to death, and these political figures are walking around with, you know, million-dollar airplanes and yachts. Oh, and, that's, that's been going um, on. You know. Yeah. That, that's been going on uh, ever since the first person was declared king. Uh, yeah. that, 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 yeah. that's, that's been a human the problem wolf of Malaysia. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. The, when you give uh, human beings the power to oppress people, uh, they'll always make sure they're not part of the oppressed. All right. Uh, we you continue. can watch on Netflix. Netflix. Right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right, Glenda, thank you for that suggestion. Yeah. We'll, we'll check it out. Uh, Larry in Texas, Larry, welcome to Rick and Bubba. Go ahead. Monkey grass, green acres, gentlemen. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, Larry. <laughs> What part of Texas, Larry? 
Uh, above Houston. Above Houston. All right. Welcome to the show. Yes, sir. Um, I just wanted to talk about if you guys had heard that Miss Beyonce tried to apply for like the CMA or something like that, and she was denied. Really? So yes, sir. Well, I thought she put a country album out. Is it country or not? I don't know. Obviously, they do not think so. But hmm. also, I wanted to add, uh, you guys never did say anything about dipping your Wendy's French fries in your Frosty. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I'm not yeah. a big sweet, salty combo guy. So it's, you're right. I knew yeah. it was out there, and people love it. It wasn't for me, but I know many people loved it. Yeah, I've dipped everything and about everything at some point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tried it once. Yeah. yeah, I haven't heard that Beyonce story. I, I, but But could it be something like, she didn't make the time frame to be considered this year. Maybe she could be next year. Because I look, I've listened to country radio. What we call country now has definitely expanded. Yeah, there, there's been an expansion. Yes, right. So I yeah, don't, if she was denied, I, there's probably a technicality for it. Not, sure, not, not right in who it is or what she's singing. Because I'm sure she'd be successful in anything. Jr. Out of uh, Sweet Home Alabama. Jr. Go ahead. Jr. Hey, fellas, how y'all doing today? We're great. Fantastic. We're great. You're okay, buddy. Okay. I just reflected on something Fauci said years back. He was talking about if you wore two masks, that you would not catch COVID. And at the same time, he said if you wore two swimsuits, you could actually pee in the swimming pool. Okay, oh, okay. JR. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Listen, he's really proud of himself. He was giggling yeah. with it. He gave himself a little. <laughs> I shall laugh at my own line. Uh, so uh, yeah, that uh, there's so many <clears throat> things that, that 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 we were sold that have just they you know what we got to get better at. If something sounds outrageous when they say it, just because they have a title doesn't mean it's not still outrageous. Yeah, right. You know, I, I look. I, Check it Y'all probably y'all probably had the same experience I did. Uh, the people I knew that were pharmacists, they were laughing at Fauci from go. Mm -hmm. They were saying this is completely absurd, especially involving masks. They said this is totally absurd. And then and then some of the things they were saying about the vaccine and about yeah. the virus, the pharmacists were like, this is laughable. And, and just watch. This is all going to turn out to be hogwash. Yeah. And they, they seem to know it from the very beginning. Well, I mean, we, we've we known how you treat viruses, Rick, for a long time. Yeah, right. And uh, mysteriously, this virus had to be treated different. Well, the, the thing they were saying is... <laughs> I mean, it was it was deadly. I give you that. Yeah. We all lost oh, friends. Oh, sure. It, but yeah. it's still a virus. Well, that and they were saying that is they're telling you how to protect yourself from bacteria infections, yeah. but that's not going to work with a virus because mm -hmm. of the size of the virus compared to bacteria. Right. Uh, and, I mean, they were saying that early. Yeah. Uh, top of the hour, thanks for being with us. If you leave us, uh, have an outstanding day, and we thank you for your time. You got more Rick and Bubba. Enjoy that. If you'd like to find Rick and Bubba content, you can on your own time by going to rickandbubba.com. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba.